Hey there, Gaudi in here welcoming you to the Insomnia Game Theater, where even the most nocturnal of night owls can perch themselves and relax. So won't you stay a while and listen? Phenomenon. This summer is a phenomenon. Live from the Insomniac Game Theater in Chicago, it's the very, very late night show starring Phenomenon. Featuring Blue Bears, Beans, and Games and Prizes. Tonight's guests are Master Tonberry, Becky, and introducing Karen. With the very, very late night show band, I'm your announcer, Thorngar. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's Phenomenon! It's me. Hi. Hello. How are we today? What's up, everybody? Yeah. Tried to the Rudra. Never got a official localization. So there is no release I can play for that. I can play jank-ass fan translations, though. Hi, everybody. Slight Asher. What's up, Rose Guard? Night Dreamer. Buddy Cthulhu is here. Or of the Dawn. Zero three K. How you doing? The Pizzy Wizzy's here. There's a Regison out there. A Solar Cook. Roseguard, I hope you get your power back soon, man. I really do. Oof. I'm just glad everything you have is fine, you know, except for a fence. But you said it just fell down, so you should be able to take care of that. I saw Finn out there. He's looking for some uh, techie questions. I saw him out there. I see him. Who else is here? What else we got? Let's scroll up. I think I saw an Oshimi. Yeah, there he is. We got lurkers. Wow. 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 Question is, what is a We got a sump already? The question is, who cares? For name snug. For name's nug. That's right. We got nugs. What's up, Bonnie Cthulhu? Thank you for seven total months of support, man. Keeping that sub going. Getting them finny bears. Gotta love it. Roseguard's waiting for dark so he can get groceries. That's when I prefer to get them. Not because of the heat, but because I don't want to deal with people. <laughs> That's the real reason. The real reason. I'm like, nah, I just want to go when there's not people. You know, that's the best time to go. Pandemic or not, it's still the best time to go. So yeah. <laughs> uh, if I didn't say hi to you, I'm sorry. I just didn't see it. But hello. We're playing everybody's favorite RPG ever made tonight, Ephemeral Fantasia. Hi. <laughs> what other suggestions do you have, Zero, there? Treasures of Rudra was a game I wish it got translated, but it didn't. Only got a fan translation. And those are always sketchy. Those are always sketchy. Um, there's some very rare exceptions I'll make for those, like Final Fantasy V. But with that, I would just use the GBA translation and patch it into the Super Nintendo version. Because the Super Nintendo version, IMO, is the best version of the three. There's three versions of five. There's a Super Nintendo version, which never got an official translation. There's the PS1 version, which has load times and weird sound effect glitches. And the GBA version, which has inferior audio quality and colors. So every version has its problems. So IMO, the best way to play 5, is to patch the Super Nintendo version with the GBA translation. My opinion. In my opinion. Can you share the map you made in the tabletop channel? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Traditionology does that a lot. Just the... Uh, 
be forewarned if you have any of your players that are in this community, they might see it ahead of time. Traditionality has banned his players from looking at that channel <laughs> ahead of time. You get pre-made meals delivered. Oh man, that's gotta be expensive. Wow. I'd probably do that too if I could afford it. I do it sometimes, you know, like I order food. Sometimes, but not very often. You hope EF2 goes out soon. Pissy, please. Pissy. They're hearing some Zelda and chill album right now. End of next month, we're starting our Zelda marathon where each game is going to have a different look. We got to hype this up like every day. 10 games, much more casual. Two days a week. Zelda 1, Zelda 2, Link to the Past, Awakening on Switch, Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, Wind Waker, Twilight Princess, Skyward Sword, and Breath of the Wild. That's what we're going to do. Uh, and each game is not going to just be a casual play of the game. Each game is going to be some kind of challenge run or different style of gameplay and potentially different sprites or character models if available. Uh, Breath of the Wild will do like a survival challenge so you can only use what you find. Can't buy stuff, can't sell stuff. It's gonna be tough. <laughs> we'll have incentives as well for each game. Blindfolded? What? I never said that, no. <laughs> no, I never said that and I won't do that either. Blindfolded means I can't read chat. Why would I even be streaming? <laughs> uh, I should see the first Italian translation of Salt and Sanctuary. It was made with Google Translate. Oh, wow. That's comically bad. That's comically bad. What's up, Dark Cuckoo? How are you? Sounds like a challenge to you? Sure. To me, it sounds like um, a giant waste of time. I stream because I want to hang out with you folks, not because I can't hang out with you folks. Just have Lickety sit in front of the monitor the game's on. It's like a 27-inch CRT. She's a big cat, but she ain't that big. <laughs> uh, they translated strike defense as defense against protesting workers. <laughs> That's pretty lousy. Oh, uh, what the hell? It drastically changes the context, doesn't it? Uh, just a little taste of how we can change the games. Uh, I showed this before, but some of you might not have seen it. So I like to show it. This is a photograph that I took um, of my TV that I use to play retro games. And that's Ocarina of Time. Uh, and that's Malin. So you can play as Malin that game but I mean that that'll just be like a cosmetic thing it'll be like a cosmetic thing it won't um, have any bearing on what you guys unlock incentive wise and yeah I am looking for details on challenge runs that are out there um, or ROM hacks that might be good and twitch safe you'd be surprised how many ROM hacks are just like some 15 year old that put a bunch of juvenile adult humor into the game just like swear words for no reason and really bad jokes. There's a lot of those out there for like tons of games and I don't want anything to do with those. <laughs> They're all terrible. You spent five hours today, Cuckoo, trying to get an EU4 achievement run. Is that that Europa Universalis game or whatever? The one that's like Crusader Kings? Link to the Past has some good ROM hacks. Um, I'm getting a Plando made for that one. That and Ocarina of Time are have people are making me Plandos. If you don't know what a Plando is, it's a um, it's a pre-constructed randomizer. So someone randomizes it and places where all the items go and makes sure that they all fit logically. And I told them to make them as hard as they possibly could. <laughs> So that's going to be interesting, but it's not just going to be that there'll be incentives. So if like we hit a certain amount, I'll do like, oh, I can't heart pickups do nothing. If we hit a certain amount, 
I'll take quadruple damage. If we hit a certain amount, I'll have to do 100% run with it, right? Like, I'll have to get everything, including heart pieces. So, you beat Sonic Generations this weekend. I haven't played that. What is that one? Teammate you're trying is decently difficult. I get you now. Yeah, uh, yeah, Solar Cook, a lot of ROM hacks out there were just like people trying to learn how to do it, you know? They weren't really taking it seriously. Like, I'm not going to say they're bad, but I'm not interested in them. I'm interested in ones that are professionally done if they exist for what games? Zelda 2. I don't even know what to do with Zelda 2 yet, to be honest. I'm not even lying. I have no idea what to do with that game because that game's already a mess. <laughs> That game's already a mess, just playing it normally. Uh, I have, like, no info for that yet. The only thing I have so far is we'll change the sprite, but that's not really making it any different. You know what to do with Zelda 2? Put it in a dumpster fight. <laughs> it was intended to be an anniversary title since it came out 20 years after Sonic 1. So it came out, like, 10 years ago? Something like that? I mean, eight years ago? Sonic Generations. Yeah, I've not played that. I haven't played a lot of Sonic games. I've played Sonic 1 through 3, Sonic and & Knuckles, and a little bit of Spinball, and that's it. I don't think I've played any other Sonic games. Mm. Ooh, excuse me. Yeah, we gotta figure out what to do with Zelda 2. Wind Waker, we're going to have a bid war. We're going to have a bid war for Wind Waker where you guys will use, you know, bid wars to determine which character model I use. And it'll be <laughs> not Link. So it's three. It's a list of three will be the bid war for Wind Waker. Um, what is the one? Okay. I think I already know which one people are going to vote for, but we'll put pictures so people know what they're voting for. Well, bidding on, right? They know what they're Thank bidding on. You. Yeah, you tell them, Beetle. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Let's see. Dude, I had a picture of it. Let's see if I can find it. Boy, there's a lot of. There it is. Okay, I found it. Bye. I found it. All right, so the bid war will be for three character models for Wind Waker. Um, it'll be either for Tatra, which is the, little, the pirate girl, the pirate captain, Granny, so Link's grandma, or this custom-made one called Linka, it's just, who has no canon significance whatsoever. It's just a made-up thing, but it is kind of cute. It's pretty cute, so yeah. So yeah, it'll be between those three. It'll be a bid war. <laughs> uh, it should be fun. It should be fun. Yeah, that's the kind of stuff we look forward to at the end of next month. 27th, I think. I think it's going to be the 27th. I'm pretty excited for that. I hope it goes well. We'll continue to do Nexus content and D&D as well. Because I don't want to break that up. Really don't. I don't like that two years in a row I basically put the next list on hold. I don't like that. I think I fall behind too much when I do that. And honestly, I really like doing the next list stuff a lot. And I think you guys like it too. So I'm just gonna keep it going. Send Granny to beat up a burb. Rough night lurk mode. Thank you for the lurk, Orlana. I hope it uh improves. It's like every day you come in and say that. Damn, I hope it improves. I really do. It's crazy. Um, where's my notes? There we go. The Dark Souls Marathon logo is up on merch now. I don't think it's going anywhere, so no mugs though. It's glitched. The mugs are glitched. Don't ask me why. I try to add the mugs and there's like white lines through the logo. I couldn't figure that out. It's busted. <laughs> I'll try to figure it out. But everything else is on there. Mouse pads, stickers, shirts, hoodies. Check it out. It's pretty good. 
Reg, did you? That's your first Becky summon, really? It's your very first. That's surprising. That's surprising, Reg. You got your custom roll. You did, yeah. I pinged you with it yesterday. I don't know if you noticed. I don't know if you noticed, but I did give it to you like right after that stream. Do do do. All right, let's change this tune. Let's change this to uh, this. Sure, we'll go with that. Resgar guys, custom logo, custom logo, custom roll in Discord for one hundred thousand channel points. One hundo thousand. D and D episode fourteen is up on YouTube, by the way. If you live in Denmark, you're fucked. Though, I think I have one person from Denmark that watches me sometimes, and I don't think they watch D and D. But that's really obnoxious. Copyright claims partially blocked. Video cannot be seen in Denmark. <laughs> what the fuck? Great. Thanks, YouTube. You fucking suck. <laughs> you suck so much. Uh... View the blocked territory. Denmark. Yeah. That's going to happen for a lot of these, probably, which is annoying, but there's nothing I can do about it, really, without just cutting out huge chunks of the video. So, yeah, d and has gone really well on this channel. On YouTube, it has not done anything at all, so I don't know. I'll keep doing it, but it's like the sub count is going down, so I don't really think people on YouTube want to see this. But I don't know. I don't understand YouTube. I'm still very new to it. I have no idea how it works. Uh, let's see. Next month, September is starting again on Twitch. I love this platform, but I am not very excited for September. I will still plug it. But it's not that great this year. <laughs> it's like you get a discount if it's your first time paying for a sub. And if you pay for multiple months, the discount is bigger. So cool. That'll help some folks out there. But it's not really that exciting. <laughs> it's not really that exciting to me. I'm like, eh. All right, cool, I guess. Whatever. Uh. What is exciting is when we play terrible video games and get to laugh at how terrible they are. What if you previously gifted a sub to a channel? Uh, no, it's just for when you sub to a channel for the first time. That's all it's for. When you sub to the channel, not when you gift the sub. When you do a paid sub f to the channel for the first time, which I think it starts on the first or the second. YouTube is like TikTok, they want small bits of funny or wow, right? Yeah, I know. The thing is that their sessions are five to six hours long, Reg. I don't remember any of that stuff. I rely 100% on clipping for that. So it's just out of my wheelhouse, man. I don't know how to do any of that stuff. I don't know how to keep track of any of that stuff. I don't remember any of that stuff. So it's one of those things that I just need help with, which I've been trying to do for two years and it's just not working. <laughs> I'm not getting any help with it. So I don't know what to do with it. I'll just keep doing what I am doing. And if it ends up just being like, it continues to get worse, then I'll stop. But, um, so far, it's all right. So far, it's all right. Oh, it's on the wrong thing. One sec. I have this cool passive switch on the uh, 
my AV routing. So when it detects like a component signal, it switches to component. When it detects X S video, it switches to that. And I was messing with my Nintendo 64 last week. And it was set to S video. And I forgot to turn in the auto detect back on. You meant if you were gifted a sub. No, Queen, it only applies to when you pay for a sub for the first time. That's what it's for. It applies for that. So when you pay for a sub on a channel for the first time, it applies for that. Look, it's everyone's favorite game. It's Femoral Fantasy. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. All right, cool. It's working. It's working. Am I getting audio? Yes, I am. I hear the buzzing. Holy shit, this game. <laughs> I have DQ5 for PS2. I, I was trying to see if I could patch a, a dragon or a game on a, on the hard drive, and you can. That was 10 years ago. It's still on there. I will never play it. <laughs> uh... Let's see, this is our save file. It wasn't last time, Reg. It was like two or three years ago. Because people were... What was it? It was like two or three years ago, like people were able to gift subs to their own channel. And if they had a higher cut of sub revenue, then they were literally making money in the long run. Like Twitch had to like do like an emergency downtime to stop that. It was pretty crazy. And I, I don't know if it was last year or two years ago, it was better. It was like, if you get gifted a sub, you can continue the sub for the next month for $1. That one was cool. I did that on a lot of channels. I did that on a hell of a lot of channels. Like a dollar just for another month of sub? Sure, I'll support these people. Because they were still getting their full cut. It was the most successful September. Yeah, it was good. Hi, Zordon. How are you? How are you? Look, we have General Bags. He's in the team. We have General Bags. We have the Gold Pen from Penn Island. Penn Island's a good place. You ever been? Also, I think Reg did this. Hold on. Reg did this. God, my stream deck's so far away. Yeah, it's better. That's better. Look, like Reg, it's your friend. It's your friend. to murder. Okay? He deserves to be punished. Rick is an accomplice to murder. Remember that. Do it. Remember it! I might just deal with myself. I don't know. Great. Good. Good. Awesome. Did you guys see this cool D&D book? That was sent to me. Look at that. Isn't that neat? Draco Nomicon. And I will have an unboxing to do next week from Ryu Olsen. And possibly another one. But yeah, is this neat or what? I've already started reading it. <laughs> It's got a bunch of rules for 3.5, which don't really apply, but it has a bunch of, like, not rule information, which is really cool. The lore stuff is the stuff we like. Bad rank, no earn it, baka. Baka, you be be you book, baka. Magnumer, it was Magnumer that sent it to me. Yeah, what's up? Ew. 
All right, so we're going to try and stop uh, Dollar Store Sephiroth now that we have General Bags. I don't think it's going to work, but I am going to try it. I am going to try it. For my notes for day five, all I have is the stuff, the statue ceremony at eight and the wedding at nine. And that's it. That's all I got. We go ice skating. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we could finally get in the got in the graveyard and got that gold pen. Now, okay, we went to the fortune teller, right? And they said that we need to help somebody who's smart. Like that they didn't phrase it very well. Might as well go do it again to refresh our memories. But that's going to be the next kind of person that I try to waken up. Right? Because that's what we've been doing is trying to awaken people from the time loop. All right. You were the best fortune teller. Oh, I have no money. <laughs> I put it all away. <laughs> Damn it. I forgot about that. <laughs> I put all my money away. I can't even afford a 30, 30 cost fortune, which is, you know, the, the currency in this game is called regrets. All right. They're called regrets because it's the only thing you have at the end of the day when you play this game. But it's this world's currency. There are regrets. Mm -mm -mm. So the question of the day, everybody. I want to hear this from everybody. What is the worst game translation you ever saw? Hello, Claire. Did you fix the watch yet? God damn it. Claire. Claire, why do you do this to us? Withdraw. I need... 30 regrets. That's it. I just need 30. All right, let's go. Every penny ever spent on this game is regret. <laughs> uh, yeah. Castlevania 2 says Buddy Cthulhu. That one's pretty bad, isn't it? That one's pretty bad. You know what one's pretty bad is Breath of Fire 2. You know what else is pretty bad? This game. All right, so they want me to help a man who's stubborn, who can only think with logic. He has gold, which will probably be a big help, which is probably the gold pen. His logic will end up helping you. Okay, so we're going to try and do what we did last loop, which is Shadow. What is his name? Like Magic Scientist Anal or whatever we call him. You know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Dark Cuckoo, you have no mouth and you must scream. German version. Part of the game is in French. I have... Wait, what game? It's called I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream. Is that the name of the game? I've never heard of that. Interesting. That's a weird name. I have no mouth and I must scream. You haven't played Breath of Fire 2 or Thousand Arms from what you've seen. Final Fantasy 5 PS1 is comically bad. It's pretty bad, yeah. I don't... It's not the worst I've seen. But the question is, what's the worst you've seen, right? So, And you're right, it is pretty bad. <laughs> it's based on an old short story. Okay. It's a weird game, too. I would imagine so with a name like that. Point and click. Oh, okay. It's like one of those point and click adventure games. Neat. I'm down with that. I like those old kinds of games. These houses are empty. There's a lot of teddy bears in these houses. Reg says, you asked a refund, eBay refund for this game based on the sole fact that it was ephemeral Fantasia. The seller said, fair enough, and paid you back some for your suffering. Nuh-uh. I really want that story to be true. 
<laughs> I really do, Reg. All right. Don't play me like this. I really want that story to be true. <laughs> Damn it, Reg. I really want that story to be true. Oh, this is the wrong way. No, it isn't. If only. Hi, Lich. Worst game translation Lich ever saw was Dragon Warrior 7. I'd really like to play the 3DS version of that someday. It just looks so much better. What are these things called? Hydro. I think these are new. Hydro. <coughs> Hydro. There is no redemption of this story. Only damnation. Oh, it didn't kill him. Okay. Why does it look like he's wearing a using a baseball bat? What the fuck? <laughs> Dude, we don't use baseball bats. He uses a baseball bat. I guess that's what you do when you're the general. You don't need fancy swords. You think it's easier to graduate college than beat this game blind? That's just uh, apples and oranges, but hmm, that is a thought experiment. <laughs> PS1 FF Tactics could get pretty bad. Yeah, some sometimes the, the translation is very awkward in that in that game, as we just recently saw here. Death Hyoko sounds amazing until he realizes it's a chicken drawn by a child. Yeah, that is what it looks like. That is correct. I'm just trying to get a couple levels for general bags here. Because we're going to have to use him, I think. To get anywhere. Alright, you weird... Celestial people that never, ever... Come out of hiding. Same clues as always. What you can't tell if it's before your eyes. We can't give up our love of music. No, that doesn't help me. That has never helped me. Ever. I've went all over this town playing music and it never did anything. <laughs> Maybe there's songs that I just never got that I was supposed to get. It's a, you know, it's a, it's a maybe, it's a probably thing. You need a large income to shop here. Uh, okay. Sure. That guy just told me I'm too broke to hang out. Freaking rude. I'm too broke to hang out. Why do those look like that? Why do those look like that? I don't like how these things look. <laughs> Why do they look like that? <laughs> you have to ex ask how expensive it is. You can't afford it. You right. It's weird. I think the general makes an earthquake every time we win a battle. All right, I don't want to be here. This place is poo balls. It's poo balls, all right? It's balls of poo. Is there anywhere to go right now that has any meaning? Maybe if we bring the gold pen to the hunter village. Because they're like, I want to die. Question is, what is a phenomena? The question is, who cares? Just figured I leave this here to let Ooh. you know it is my 14th month. Wow. Will we ever escape from Dollar Store Sephiroth and save Diaper Princess? Dollar Store. We Sephiroth. may never know. Yo, Suntop. Thank you, man, for tier three. 14 months. That's pretty awesome. I don't need to know about the gold bird. I already killed it. I beat its ass. There's a flower on top of this house. That makes a lot of sense. 
They don't seem to care that I have the gold pen. From Penn Island. Thank you, Sun Tom, for tier three. I wanna wanna show some hype for that. I'm gonna do it myself. I'm gonna do it myself. Yes. There we go. All right. There's nothing here. While the time is pointlessly ticking down in game, we got a wheel spin. Let's go. We got a wheelie spin. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? You gonna get reg? You gonna get me? You gonna get chat? You got reg? <laughs> Bam! Got him! <laughs> reg, your your leg shields aren't working anymore. <laughs> it hasn't even Bye. been an hour. <laughs> Bye, reg. <laughs> That's the noise that it makes when you ban rag. It's like a farting noise, like a strange fart, a little toot. Let's go see if dude is in his room. I wonder where General Bags is right in front of you. Rip. I like that sound. That was from uh, Final Fantasy Tactics. He is in here. What's up, bro? I got this really cool pen. Just leave me down. I want to talk to anyone. Why not? Why not? I have your pen. He thinks he's the only one that has the gold pen from Penn Island. Well, he's wrong. I wonder why this pen is so special, though. Am I supposed to use it for, like, forgeries? I don't know. We do have our very enjoyable goat vomit doors, of course. No, yeah, we never tire of those. There's nothing going on here. Oh! Combat. Combat. Ruse, Pendulum, and Doug. Yes. Those names all make sense. <laughs> they just make sense, all right? He learned bashing. Cool. Hits three times with a staff could cause paralysis. That sounds good. That sounds good. Um, let's check his stats. I want to see if he has good stat growth. Maybe? He's probably going to have comparable attack to me. His magic and magic defense kind of suck. Your ephemeral Fantasia name is Flower. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow, that one's great. Uh, let's go to the shortcut. You are SpongeBob Goldwall. Amazing. It seriously looks like SpongeBob, all right? It really does. This thing says something. No, 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 no. It says vroom vroom. And then this guy's like, there's nothing here. Are you sure? You sure this isn't a door right here? That's very obviously there. The entire game, and we can never go in it. Oh, thanks, Queena. Yeah, it was fun. I was, I was glad to get that one out there, that D and D episode, because I spent a lot of time on the map and all the notes and stuff for it. It was a lot of work, and they're not even done there yet. There's still more to see. It's locked, and it's locked. Frick. Bam, bam, bam. What? Is that? Oh, that's Ruse. I've never seen him stand like that. 
Why do they just look like aliens from the movie Alien? That did less damage than normal. Have we lost any characters? I mean, there's one NPC, a major NPC, so technically, yes. Technically, yes. But not any player characters. And I honestly don't think I'm going easy on them. I just roll bad and they just steamroll everything I send their way. <laughs> I just roll really bad in combat. Anything different in here? Oops, I blew it. Okay. Okay, she's still in jail for getting drunk. Brad is slice-o-matic. Oh, yeah, he just tears it up. What's up, Dark City? Oh, yeah. Where's the exit? This way. It's locked. It's always locked, dang it. That's right. You tell him. Goose. Rags back! There's a super secret name in the list of EF names. Roseguard. How it usually goes with our group is we steamroll bosses, but we have problems with mooks we meet in forest. <laughs> I see. Zither almost died twice in one fight. And that was like 30 sessions ago. Dual hands are OP. Holy hell. They're scary, scary, scary. I was going to have three of them fight them. And when I saw that they were having trouble with just two, before they ever saw the third, I just deleted it. I was like, this is way overtuned. <laughs> Forget it. Two is enough. Wow. You're a demon flower. You are elf. You are elf. Not Alf, but Elf. You could be Alf, I guess. If you really want. If you try hard enough, you can be Alf. You are Roar. We will hear you roar. Alright, so it's almost time for the wedding. We'll do the statue ceremony. Why not? It's like in 10 minutes or whatever. Which is 10 seconds real time. Do, 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 do. Hey, there, Rita. Oh, it's seven now, not eight. Well, we're going to sit here for 30 seconds or 60. You don't want to be Alf. He eats cats. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. We already got seven on the sub count tonight. Very cool. Very nice. You hit that daily milestone. Five. I go for five every day. It's my personal daily goal. I feel like I'm doing something right if I can do that. Among many other things. You had a goblin once who ended up with a character sheet because he survived so many er arrows. He rolled terrible on damage every time. He was named Lucky and he became a legend among goblins. <laughs> uh, that's the perfect name for him. That's really good. Mm -mm. Your party of five has adopted a cow, a little girl, and a flail snail. That's awkward. What a motley crew that is. <laughs> I always put a question of the video on my YouTube videos too. So every YouTube video I pin a comment with a question. Some of them are fun. Unnecessary panty shot on adolescent girl. Thanks, EF. It's great. Appreciate it. <sighs> what was my question of the day on the most recent one? Some of the most memorable NPCs you've encountered. 
There we go. But yeah, this one is up. If you want to check it out later, episode 14, check it after stream or on a day off, which is tomorrow. No, not tomorrow. Um, two days from now. Fast forward. All right. Now we go to the wedding. It's a statue of Snuffleupagus. Um, it's blocked in Denmark because YouTube. I'm sorry if you're from Denmark. You can't watch it. It's, blame them. <laughs> it's their fault, all right? You're teaching the girl wizard cantrips. Oh, that's neat. That's kind of neat, actually. It's like you're creating your own origin story for a PC. I like that. What do you have to do to get your own 30-foot tall statue in the middle of town? Pay off a politician. Why is it blocked in Denmark? Because of music that is copyrighted in Denmark. I'm gonna stop for the wedding. I'm going. I'm going. We're gonna destroy him. No, we're not. We're really not. Feels moving wall. <laughs> moving wall. Like, I could probably fix that block. But it will require another five and a half hour encode and a four hour upload. And then it has to process HD, which is like two hours. I don't like video editing even a little bit. <laughs> it sucks. I'm not a fan of it. Live content is my, my stick. Okay. Yes, Rena. What do you want? TBFM. No, I don't want to play the song. Oh, shit. I got to play the song, don't I? God damn it. Which is the one that I need to play? You you keep getting flower, Rose Guard. <laughs> I mean, your name is Rose in it, so I guess it checks out. <laughs> He keeps getting flower. <laughs> um, hmm. Let's just do this one. Who cares? Doesn't matter. All right, time for the finger pain. Not Doug again. Roar and Doug and Tree Waifu. You are a Tree Waifu. All right. Okay, I picked that one because it was the shortest. That's all. Sarcastic clapping. There's a wonderful song. A tremendous performance in a melody that seems to be from another world. Mm hmm. Superb gift. Apparently, that was an amazing wedding gift, that terrible song. You're not going to challenge him again. Yeah. Yeah. We have General Bags. He gets to get, he gets to die. Fast forward. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, we're fighting. There's too much of a gap. Oh. You like his hat, Solar? It's pretty good, right? It's pretty good. It's impossible to win. Like, we need to do stuff for story before we can ever win. Is he gonna die? No. Absolutely not. <laughs> Bonk! Uh. Yeah, you show him, General. Yeah, zero. Four thousand. 
<laughs> Is that all? That was impressive. What? How did Bago survive that? <laughs> He's cheating. All right, he didn't survive that. All right. He dodged. That was the best attempt yet. We survived an extra turn. Time is run out. Yep, and now we turn to like ice for some reason. Wee, time will freeze. General Bags is dead in the ground over there. That was different. Look, we have looped. We're on loop 15, everyone. He's using a game shark, yeah. I have been awaiting your arrival, Sir Tree Waifu. And for you as well, Sir Talking Instrument. Ha ha! Sir Instrument, what a laugh, General. My name is Patimo, nice to meet you. Waking up this morning was wonderful. That's because my memories and experiences were intact. So surprising. After discovering the frightening existence hanging over the island, I've become even more cheerful. That's because you're a fighting man. There's nothing more frightening than an unknown enemy. So right you are. I know the enemy now. All that's left is to gather my strength and fight. Sir Tree Waifu, I beg of pledge to help save the princess. Okay. That's progress right there. That is progress. You may come with. Let's go. I, I, I can't see that as anything but progress. True, true facts. Uh, Excuse me. All right, let's go pay a visit to Claire and get our stuff back and start again. It actually put me in the right spot. Our Jameis is blessing me. You are shaker. Oh, okay. Do, 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 do. Hi, Claire. Nah, you're good for now. I don't know if we want to take Claire or Rummy. Probably will take Claire. Maybe. I don't know. Because I think Rummy has, like, more story impact. You know? We have, like, no money. Like, no money. Beep. We'll keep those flowers in there for now. Where was the key for the general? Um, we had to disguise ourselves as one of the scientists. And then trick the other one into giving us the key. And then we went into the reactor and had the key and we had to fight our first, literally like our first boss battle. <laughs> And, and, that, and then it worked. Then it worked. It just works. I don't tell you. It's pretty weird. And then we got something called a gold pen from Penn Island. Good. Gold pen from Penn Island. <laughs> uh, and... <laughs> We're supposed to shadow probably that scientist now. Because it mentioned specifically somebody who focuses only on logic. Right? Let's bring Rummy with. The first member is Bags, the second is Rummy. Okay, cool. Sure, whatever. This is our team right now. Claire, fix the watch. Do your job! She's not doing her job. Penn Island, yeah. We like Penn Island, don't we? You ever been to Penn Island, everyone? <laughs> you been there yet? It's pretty cool. I think it's a fun place. Mm -mm -mm. It's so big. <laughs> right, please. All right, I'm going immediately to save and then go in the palace. Okay. Remember, we can't forget to save. I do that all the time in this game. It's like derp-tastic. Where's... 
Which save do I use? I use uh, this one. Obligatory. Nice. All right, we save. Let's go talk to the scientists. Hello, I like food. Great. So proud of you. That's all he says. I like, I'm a gourmet. I like food and I stand on bridges and stop people from crossing so I can tell them about all the food I like. Uh-huh. That's super. Did you say something? And then this thing... No, oh, it doesn't say vroom vroom anymore for some reason. There's nothing here. There's this door that I want to go in. All right, that's the wrong scientist, but I still want to talk to him just in case. We have his key. We can rummage through his room. We're going to do that first. Oh, come on. I just hit the zone edge. <laughs> this game... It doesn't even let the zone load in. It's like, here you go. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> there are always things to laugh about in this game. It's locked. Wait. I don't have his key anymore? Do we need to reload? Did it, no, it didn't let me put his key in the storage, did it? I'm trying to remember last... Was anyone here last week? It would have been Monday. I think I tried to put his key in storage and it didn't let me. Does anyone remember? I can just see the question marks floating above all of your heads right now. Okay. <laughs> to the VOD, I guess. <laughs> exactly, Sammy. That's exactly what's happening to everyone right now. Loading the VOD. All right. It would have been like near the end. Why is this playing at two times speed? You know what? Actually, that's pretty cool. You do that. Why is it 480p? I guess it doesn't matter, does it? Skip, skip, skip. Go to the point where I deposited all my stuff. Right here. Okay. Okay, here it is. Is this it? All right. Slow down. Slow down. You're going too fast. Watching the VOD? Absolutely. Why the fuck wouldn't I? I'm the one that did it. <laughs> I'd be a dumbass if I didn't do this. Jailson's key. Did I try to put it in? Can't move the gold pen. Okay. I was right. Cool. Alright. You cannot store the pen. So the, the not having it is not a point of alarm. Alright, he should be in here. He's not. Where the hell is he? Oh, now I'm really confused. Oh, now he's in here. Dots. I'm in the middle of the Oh, God! is what is a phenomena the question is who cares something went wrong something went wrong something <laughs> yo night dreamer thank you for five months in the twitchy prime rib there very good all the hype yo thanks thank you thanks for the the sub hype i like when people do that 
I like when people lift each other up for showing support. That is very cool to me. <clears throat> All right, so I don't know what the hell this pen is for. Not even the slightest clue. Not even the slightest clue. Okay. So now we just have to talk to NPCs. Wait, there was a boy that wanted the pen. Let's go talk to him. If I can remember where he is. I think he was by like the bird statue. It's for writing, duh. How are you, Night Dreamer? Thanks again, dude. Might the pen be for writing? N Sammy, you've been such a good mod for so long, and now you're backseating me. Wow. Wow, man. I see how you are. This is who you are, isn't it? Just rules. Don't you forget it. There was like a kid running around. He's like, I want to pen. I don't know where the kid is. I have no idea. Maybe he's in here. That's a kid that talks about monsters in the palace. Interesting. He, that means he can actually see them. Where the hell is this kid at? I thought he was up here. But it doesn't look like I was right. Alright, maybe he was on this side of town. Something went wrong. Something's going wrong. What went wrong? Yo, look, man. I have your pen. It's cool, right? You want a gold pen? You must have the exact same pen since you insist. Right. Yeah, it, I already got the pen. Talk your way into holiday pay? I will give you holiday pay for modding rating, yes. It's, it's uh, the same as what you're getting right now. <laughs> oh, feels bad. Oh, feels bad. If only. If only I was like one of those Twitch streamers that had like 10,000 subs and then I could literally pay some of my mods. I'd be like, yo, I'm going to need your help. I have money. Here you go. <laughs> Give me a hand. Uh, that's a lot of subs. Could you imagine 10,000 subs would mean that you'd be able to negotiate for a higher cut. First of all, so it'd be more than half. That'd be like, that'd be like $300,000 a month. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's staggering. All right. Does any of you say anything about the pen? I know there was like a little kid running around that said he wanted the pen. I just don't know where he is anymore. That man is giving you slimy looks. Okay. I don't know where this kid is at. BGG gives full medical and dental to his mods. I'm on the internet, therefore it's true. Oh. Okay. Good. 10,000 subs. There, this kid. I want that super cool pen. Uh, well, that... That ended that lead. Why the hell do I need this pen? I wrote down this guy's schedule. For whatever it's worth. For what I saw. And every time I saw him, he was in his room. He never leaves. But that was only like two days. 
it was only like two days. Something went wrong for Rab. Oh yeah, that one was pretty good. Yeah. That yeah, that one was really good. This DQ eleven like never stops getting good. It never stops getting good. That one was pretty good. Yeah, I remember this one. Why did you No! Wrong one! I copied it! God, sometimes the clipboard doesn't work. There we go. Snappers, what are we waiting for? I have a thing or two to show you. Snappers, what are we there waiting we go. for? I have a thing or two to show you. Hey, <laughs> Abstinence. The fucking wind noise. Something went wrong. <laughs> Good. Good. I take back everything Number I said. Six. Come here, Robert. There it is, the stick. We have a record to break. Oh my god. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you cut off the scream, damn it. Ah, uh, almost. Almost. The clip cut off the scream. Damn. That's close. <laughs> she got him with the naughty stick. All right. Why do I need this pen? You need a spanking. That's right. Why the hell do I need this pen? Let's go take a visit to the bandits. Whee! Why not? Here we go. Cutscene. They attack me. I beat the ever living crap out of them. They're laughably easy. Yo, cut it out. Ay, ay, ay. You need a spiking. Who's giving the spankings, though? All right? That's the real question. They actually give a lot of money. That's weird. They give, like, 1200 all right, let's see if anything's different here because uh, General Bags is here, but I doubt it. Well, we're gonna do the other cutscenes with General Bags. They don't even recognize that he's here. We're in the same business, right? I'm a thief. I'm a thief! Bagoth is hitting kind of weak. I need to let him sample from the nut bag. <laughs> uh, you're right, though. We're trying to get him up there, you know? <laughs> Yes! Oh, man. Never change, Sammy. He is hitting pretty weak. It's whenever you get a new teammate, they sent, they give them to you at, like, level Sample one. Sample my goods! Number of 06 nuts for bagger. All of the nuts. Healing nuts. Yo, Magnumer, thanks for 28 bits. Let's see here. I went to Dragon's Dogma. Very cool. All right, Bag's got a level. Dragon's Dogma. Now you go in here and you get a cutscene. Right after he told you don't show up, I show up and he's like, no, it's fine. Just don't cause trouble. Okay. Cool. They don't acknowledge that Bagoth is here. It's really weird.
Yo, it's Millie. How's it going? How's it going, Millie? Smile. Alright, so we... still nothing going on here with the bandits. Let's go to the graveyard. On day one with the general. And he used the pipe in the study. This is the right way, okay. General Bags has given me permission. You're damn right he has. You're damn right. Don't you forget it. Nothing we found. Fine. What does this guy say? I think this guy's just like, why are you here? That's all he says. What are you doing? Is literally. That's it. That's all he said. What are you doing here? Uh, you know, Robin, Robin, folks. Well, awesome. I'm glad that it's helping you. You guys help me, so. You guys help me, that's for sure. This didn't help. All right. Why do I need a gold pen? I don't know. Really? The only stuff that happens is on day two that I've ever seen. Sammy, are you singing songs to us? We're being serenaded by Blue Sammy. I feel like we're privileged right now. He's serenading us. Great. Were there other places I couldn't go? The reactor? Can I always see if he'll let us go in there? I guess. Yeah! <laughs> you scared me to Cronus. How's it going, man? <laughs> you scared the hell out of me. <laughs> That's the first time I heard it, so I wasn't ready. That is different reg. Yeah. The game music opened up. That's what it was. Yeah. There you go. You just made the game better. It's locked. Let me in! Dang it. We're not having any luck here, are we? All right, let's go shadow the dude. Let's go to his room. According to my schedule, he sits in his room and he says dots and tells me to go away. That's it. That's all he does. Oh yeah, we gotta use a fog sphere. There we go. Okay, important dialogue. I'm in the middle of research, don't talk to me. That's it, that's all he says. Can I use this pen? Wait, where is it? It's gone. Oh, I have to get it again. Well, that's fun. It wouldn't let me put the pen in storage and I have to get it again. That would explain why nothing was working. <laughs> I'm here back. I'm gonna need a snack. I'm gonna take like 20 seconds.
This is the first time the game has taken key items away from me. The first time. I just assumed I still had it. That's why I was running around talking to everyone. Eagle Air Raid. What's up, man? Eagle Falcon, welcome. Everybody coming along. Hope you had a good time over in Eagle's channel. Playing Final Fantasy 14. How was your stream? If you're new here in Phenomenon, we do retro games, we do RPGs, we do D&D &D every Saturday. Hopefully it sounds good to you. Hit that follow button. If it sounds good, we'll get to hang out with you again. Eagle Ur Raid. <laughs> Ur Raid. Question is, what is a manamana? Dude, thanks. The question is, who cares? Rabbit Amiibo. Eagle Thai Eagle R R Raid. Ancient Eagle is closer. Step. Ancient is closer to that second wheel spin. That's our ninth. Thank you very much, Rabbit Amoeba. 16 months, too. Pretty dang cool, man. All right, so here's our plan. Wait for night, get the gold bird. Make the pen. And then see what happens. Yo, drunken wolf. You forgot about the belching doors. We prefer to call them vomiting goats. Drunk a wolf, gifting a sub, 23rd total to the community. We're at 10. We're at 10. We're gunning for reg again. Here we go. Let's do it. Oh, I got to play the music. I forgot to do the music last time. That's part of the, uh, the ceremony, right? It's part of the ceremony. Here you go. I like this song for it. They're going for you, reg. He survived. He survived. All right, I want to see everybody get in on this booty. Wow. <laughs> well, there's another five. <laughs> All right. Stand by and putty, because we got another spin. Wow. Thank you, Dragon Wolf, for five gift subs. Summon back. <laughs> Where's my pen? Where's my pen from Pen Island? Oh, it's right in front of me. You'll take that? Okay. Raggy survived. All right. First, we'll do this. We'll do this. We'll do this. I went to the wrong screen. And then when we do putty, I want to see everybody doing it. Not just a couple people trying to get global. All right. I want everybody to do it. I don't want to just see a couple people trying to get global. Everybody gets an equal opportunity to get destroyed. Let me smash. Starting with Drunken Wolf, and then probably Regis in second, because he's always the catalyst for waking my ass up. Scrub. Damn, Becky's getting a little personal there, Reg. <laughs> Uh, all right, Slane. Thanks for stopping in, man. I hope you can fix that sleep pattern. Here we go, everybody. It's time. It's time for spams. Let's see everybody get in on this.
Or just a couple people, I guess. <laughs> I see you, Tack. There's Eagle. I don't know what that is came by you. And it should have timed you out. <laughs> Buddy Cthulhu, there he is, Drunken Wolf. I see solar. Who else? Who else? I can't tell. I couldn't tell. Still scrolling. <laughs> <laughs> Still scrolling. ATB active. How are you? There we go. There we go. I'm just going to make those. Uh, why aren't the emotes working? I don't know. Mod tool, symbol protection. There we go. Let's turn that on. It is just like Manamana. chat breaking. All right, cool. Manamana. Cool. Yo, what the heck? Another sub gift. Thank you. Wow. Question is, what is a Manamana? Whomever you are. The question is, who cares? Why aren't emotes working? I see them in chat. What do you mean, Queen? Is you, are you having issues with uh, your BT TV? All right, where are we going here? We gotta go to the burb. We gotta go to the burb. On screen chat? Oh yeah. What is a puddle? A putty? Or a puddle? Putty. I think it's like a Japanese... Like, flan pudding thing. It's still trying to catch up. Good God. try to reload the emotes. I don't know, it doesn't it only works like half the time with on-screen emotes. All right, let's go kill the bird. I think it's only here at night. The highest of nerds. What's up, man? How are you? What's up? I'm being poked. Oh, hi, Chaos. Yes, I, I see you. You, you. you broke chat. Chaos K. How are you today, by the way? How's it going? Hopefully, your uh, work issues are resolving for you at this point. I want to see Chaos Kitty having fulfilling works environments. Custard and pudding with caramel sauce. That does sound really good. Jibu. <laughs> Jibu. Where's the burb? It might only be like midnight. There's like a shadow you can see flying around.
Can we push the graves like Zelda? That'd be cool. Your shifts have gone a lot better. And you have this week free? Oh, that's great. That's great. We're literally just killing time here. Until the burb shows up. And we kill the burb and we get the pen and we start talking to Dr. Anal. Which is uh, Blue Sammy's nickname, by the way. Okay, by the way, trying to tell everyone to go to bed. We just started. Don't tell everyone to leave. What's your deal? <laughs> Hi, East Peace. How are you? How's life? You are Peoria. That's the name of a town near me. Well, it's not really near me. It's in the same state. Peoria. <laughs> Pint. Some interesting names we got in there. All right, it's nighttime. There should be a burb somewhere. Where is Burb? I know I seen it. It's like a shadow that floats around. Yeah, I'm in Chicago, so they're quick. I'm in Chicago. You were a ghost. Oh, I guess I died. <laughs> how was your stream anyway, Eagle? How your uh, how your uh, podcast been going? Eagle does like a tech podcast. It's kind of cool. You said you never had luck finding any of those laptop hard drives, right? The 2.5 inch ones. Do, do, do. You'd egregiously invite yourself over. Good luck with that, even during non pandemic times. Nothing against you, but I don't want anyone coming over. I don't care who they are. <laughs> Nobody's coming over. <laughs> I am very reclusive. If somebody showed up randomly at my apartment, I'm not going to lie, I would call the police. I'd be scared. Like, that'd be terrifying. Yo, Moncappy, how are you? Unless I, like, personally knew them. And there's only a couple people in this chat that I actually personally know. But if somebody randomly showed up uninvited from this community, I would be terrified. That's a really scary thing. All the ones that are available are SAS drives. Ah. You can get that? I mean, it's the thing. It's just like, I don't have anything against anyone, but if you show up uninvited... It means, number one, you somehow got my address without me telling you. Number two, you thought it was okay to just show up randomly without telling me. Number three, I have no idea what your intentions are because of number one and number two. That's scary. <laughs> it's really scary. <laughs> Red, you're not coming over, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Sammy's not lying. I told Sammy if he ever like just showed up at my address because he has it, or at least he did. I deleted it once we were done. That I've been trained in how to disarm firearms and knives from people with my bare hands, and I would use it if I had to. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I literally told him that. He's not even joking. <laughs> mm. You need to go back to sleep. No, you're not allowed. I mean, the fact of the matter is I don't like going out or having company. It's just not who I am. That's part of why this works for me. 
because it facilitates that stuff for me. Without me having to go out or have people over. Oh, these enemies are annoying. Let's just not fight them. You don't answer the door if you don't know who's there. Yeah. Like, I don't... I'm not trying to be unfriendly. I'm just extremely full of anxiety and... I'm very reclusive, and I enjoy that kind of solitude. Where's the bird? Geographic closeness. Yeah, there's a few community members here that live pretty close to me. Like, there's, more, there's a couple that I knew before I started streaming, like Tack. I used to work with him. And I think he found my stream because I posted it when I still had a Facebook account. If I'm not mistaken. Alright, how do I get this bird to spawn? Maybe it has to be midnight. I think that's what it is. Might just have to be midnight. Hello, burb. Donde? I went to one Twitch Chicago meetup. Just one. I'm not sure I'll ever go back. I didn't know anyone there and I was just on a borderline panic attack the whole night. It sucked. <laughs> I'm like, nope, we're not doing that again. That was, that's like my nightmare is that kind of social scenario. It was just pure nightmare fuel. Your name is Sea Lion. Nah, I'm not talking about Illinois, Neil. I'm talking about the Chicago area. I know there's a bunch more in Illinois in general, but Illinois is huge. I've had people like, yo, I, I live close to you now. Let's hang out. And they're like 90 miles away. Like, seriously? That's like a two hour drive, one way. <laughs> what? <laughs> Let's maybe not. <laughs> what the fuck? In some states, you could cross the entirety of the state in 90 miles. <laughs> what the hell? Fuck that noise. I don't even like driving five minutes to go to the store. Worst game translation you ever saw, Chaos Kitty says. Fan translation in German of Breath of Fire 2 Super Nintendo. To be fair, Chaos Kitty, the English translation of Breath of Fire 2 was terrible. So if they based it off of that, then they were already in a losing proposition. Because the English official translation of Breath of Fire 2 is bad. Really bad. You enjoyed your drives down to Chicago? Yeah, aren't you um, in Wisconsin, Eagle? Till you get to the tolls? Just don't use them. Take different routes. Which makes it take longer. There, there's the burb. I see you, burb. Let's go. Let's do this. Get down here, <laughs> bad burb. No, I want to fight. Oh. Magic dog. Okay. We got magic dogs now. Castlevania 2 was pretty bad, yeah. Someone said that earlier, yeah. Alright, let's heal. Let's go, Burb. I'm trying to fight you here. You're supposed to... No, that's the wrong way. Will you get over here? All right, cool. We got it. 
dare it. That was annoying. Oh, I forgot this is the thing you had to use magic on. I wish it would tell me which one of these is the strongest. Boulder. Oh, cool. Yeah, there you go. Just do magic. It gets it kicks its ass. Secret of Man had a bad translation. You're in South Dakota, Nate. Oh, hi, Nate. I'm sorry if I didn't say hi. How's it going? Gold feather. We got it. All right, cool. So now we immediately go to the guy. And we're like, yo, make us the gold pen from Penn Island. Son of a submariner. I remember that. I remember that. Who's that? I'm being raided by a complete stranger. Look, it's whack a smack a rack a dick. Hi, buddy. How are you, my friend? Thank you for the raid. De -de 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 -de. Come back in six hours. Okay, you got it. Good luck with this dumpster fire of the game. Welcome, Racco, and anyone else coming along? Hope you guys had a good time over there. What are you doing, Ragadaglo? Shout yourself out! Actually, don't. Have someone else do it. Let's show some community support. Let's have a mod shout you out. <laughs> Let's have a mod shout you out. There you go. Reg's got you. Octopath. Man, I want to play that game again. I like that game. I think it's a good game. Uh, Excuse me. I made that for you, chat. I never beat Octopath. I didn't even get to do anyone's chapter two. And I was like 80 hours into it. I was savoring that game, and I think everyone got bored. <laughs> I was like, yeah, maybe I'll just, you know, play this on my own. You know. Blah. This guy's probably sleeping. Yep, he's sleeping. Your favorite game OST? Oh, it's so good. This guy gets a bed, and this poor sap has to sleep sitting up in a wood chair. What a Spartan lifestyle. Yep, Sammy's right. When I played Octopath Traveler, I played it on release, thinking that that would be a draw to the channel. Like, yo, we're playing this cool new RPG. We play RPGs. We like this stuff, right? No, nobody really showed up. For the same reason, I don't watch streams of games I haven't played yet. They didn't want to get spoiled. I learned a hard lesson <laughs> from that. <laughs> don't play RPGs on day one. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't work for me. It might for others. That would be interesting, right? I think everybody would, you know, at that point be cool because it had been out for so long, right? If it wins the next list. Octopath Traveler is so good and you don't mind watching even if it's spoilerish. I mean, to be fair, I also had a smaller community at that time. I was averaging like 25 to 30 a night. And then when I started playing Octopath, it was like 10. It was very, very, very detrimental. <laughs> Like, huh, maybe we're not, maybe not. The game is about two and a half years old now. About two. Because it was like the summer of 2018 when it came out. So it's about two. Maybe like. 23, 24, like 25 months, 26 months ago. Oh, that's cool, Necronus. Yeah, that's a good way to do it. Do, do, do. 
All right, so day two. Let's look at our schedule. Our schedule. Where's Claire? Oh, she's at the bar. I always forget about that. Claire goes, she goes bozing at night. She's not in your party. Well, if I wait six hours, then I miss the holy ceremony, and I need to do that. I need to do that. So what I'm going to do... No, we're not going to change members. I think we're going to do it this way. I want to see what happens when you take general bags on these cutscenes. Because we've never had them in the party for them before, right? And then after the holy ceremony, I can go get the pen and see what we can do with that. How does that sound? How does that sound? But I I don't know if I should take Claire. How did I end up with bags? So there was like this... Somehow, I don't even remember how I triggered it, but it, like I triggered a cutscene where you can tell him he's about to die in the reactor explosion. He's like, oh no, and he actually goes with you. <laughs> and then you go to stop the reactor overloading and you don't have a key and you die and get game over, legit. <laughs> so I was like, okay, we gotta get the key. So we somehow figured out that I needed to knock out one of the scientists, steal his key to his room, steal his outfit, disguise ourselves as him, then trick the other scientist into giving us the key to the reactor. I don't remember the, how I triggered any of that, but I did and it worked. And that's all I really got. <laughs> it worked, but yeah. All right, let's do Claire and bags. I was watching um, End Earth before stream. She's playing that new Crystal Chronicles remaster. I'm not getting that. They didn't fix the game. Like it still is all pretty much all the same problems. You go do a dungeon. Oh, you're still two weeks. So you do the same dungeon over like three or four times and then move on to the next. And that's like the whole game. I, uh, it was like the most boring part about the game for me when it first came out. And it looks like the remaster still does that. It does look fun multiplayer though. I'm just trying to think like what RPGs are going to be coming out like this year or just came out, you know? They're worth um, looking at. I'm not sure. I am uncertain. Wasteland 3. Oh, that's right. I do want that. I got to beat Wasteland 2, though. Maybe I'll start playing that after stream. Oh, wait. I can't really do that anymore. Not after stream, but... I was playing games for myself on Tuesdays. Right? Sometimes. But now I edit videos for YouTube. So I don't have days off anymore. <laughs> is that on Game Pass? I don't have that. I don't even know what that is, to be honest. I think it's an Xbox thing. I don't have Xbox. But I don't like subscription models for games at all. It means I don't get to keep them. Do, 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 do. Microsoft Store thing? Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, I don't want that. I, it's not for me. Like, I, if I'm going to get a game, it's because I want to keep the game. It's worse, Queen of... Wow. Like, I think Game Pass is great. Because it does give people access to a lot of games that they might not otherwise be able to afford, right? So long as they keep the sub. I think that's awesome. But when it comes to getting a game for me personally, I want to own the game. As much as you can own a digital copy of a game, that is. 
Trails of Cold Steel 4 comes out at the end of October. Really? I gotta try those games sometimes. I've never played any of those. It's renting a game with extra steps. Yeah, that's what it feels like. Like a permanent rental until you end your sub. Or something like that. You still buy guys from PS3. I haven't bought any PS3 games in a very long time. I couldn't even tell you the last PS3 game I bought. Oh, Demon Souls was the last PS3 game I bought. And someone bought me near. I won't say their name with respect to privacy. I don't like to call people out when they give me stuff unless they're like, tell people. Like, okay. All right, so we're gonna do this. $68 a year in games at launch usually cost that you're not gonna complain. Right, like I said, I think it's a great thing for almost everybody. I just don't personally like it for me because I almost never get around to playing a game right when it hits. It like almost never happens. I get a game that sits on my list for a couple years and I finally get around to it. And game Pass doesn't facilitate the way I play games. <laughs> trident flower. Why the fuck do they call mushrooms trident flower? <laughs> oh, this game. Game is so confused. <laughs> oh my god. You are Sam, Rachidactylus. Congratulations. This game just doesn't know what it is. It has no idea of its own identity. Alright, so we're gonna chill here until like morning. So maybe we'll fight a couple things and get a level for bags. Maybe we'll catch Rummy bathing. <laughs> Bestial Priest, Soldier, and Roar. This thing's still fine us. Oh, he's getting stronger. Getting stronger. Does anyone else know any other RPGs that are coming out? I guess Cyberpunk, technically. When does that come out? Is that November? Or is it next year? I don't even know when that's coming out. It's a flower, but it hasn't bloomed. Belfin, so what we think are the most prevailing theory about this game is when you say lost in translation, yeah, because this game we're pretty sure it wasn't localized at all. It was just directly translated without context. So that makes sense. If everything you said there would make perfect sense. Because we don't think this game had any localization whatsoever. Just direct translation, word for word. Which is why there's so many names that are like nonsense. <laughs> Bravely F Default 2 is due out this year. Hmm. Oh, I just... There's so many RPGs on the DS and 3DS I want to be able to play and stream. So many. At that point, I just play it on my monitor and hold the 3DS like it's a controller, you know? <clears throat> Where did Kefka and Castle Figaro say son of a submariner? It's when the castle goes underground the first time when they escape from him. The devs throw darts at a dictionary and just settled on enemy name. <laughs> uh.
That thing has feet and a head. Creepy. Your pup likes to chase lasers. Oh, that's great, Belvin. Mog's still into his fun habit of just being far too aggressive with me. Look at my hand. The dude just doesn't stop. He has no idea what he's doing. My other hand's like that too, by the way. <laughs> God damn it, Mog. Uh. Yeah, Mog is a problem. Was he a wild cat at first? We don't know. He was picked up off the street, but it doesn't necessarily mean that he was always on the street. He doesn't act like he was a stray. He just acts like he doesn't understand boundaries. Like he's, he's, you know, he's litter box trained and he knows where to get water and where to get his food and all that stuff. I don't know. I don't know. I don't understand Mog. He may have been abandoned. I don't know. Regardless of what his past is and how much of a giant pain in the ass he is and a big problem, he's not going anywhere. He's here to stay. So hopefully he will learn as he ages because he's only two. But my other cats weren't like this when they were two. <laughs> chainmail armor? Yeah, I need chainmail for Mog. He'd probably just bite through it. Oh, the Yakuza RPG's coming out this year. Okay, cool. You only have wildcats and they've always learned. The German translation only says son of a dot 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 because the joke doesn't work in German. Why is Claire silenced? This is confusing. Not that I'm using spells on her. This is like Mog, like he... I don't know, with Mog it's weird because... He can be really nice sometimes. Like every once in a while, he'll wake me up and like start headbutting me and want like head pets, like really rough head pets and chin scratches. And he'll do that for like 10, 20 minutes. And then he'll go off and sleep somewhere. Most of the time, he's just. Bye. Woo! <laughs> Way too aggressive. Hi, <laughs> Vasol. How's it going, dude? How's your sleep? Hopefully it's improving. Bam. So that's what that is. He slams his stick into the ground and it makes spikes. Weird. Well, he's leveling, so... Pecking order. He definitely pecks me. That's true. He gets good stats. I need to upgrade his his weapon. I'm gonna. Ch we have twelve thousand regrets. Twelve thousand regrets. Wow. That uh, website I really like. You know, you know how we always get uh, rated by RPGFan.com, and one of our subs, Kapok, hangs out here a lot. Their website's finally back up. I use the, I've been using that website for like 20 years to learn about RPGs and stuff. It's finally back up. I was like, yeah, all right. All right, is Rummy bathing? Probably not, but I'm still checking. She's not, okay. She's not bathing. Feels bad. We wanted fan service. You want a Mr. Popo emote, huh? Oh, it has saved a game. We'll wait till like 7.30. I don't think she's going to be here though. This is her secret bathing spot. 
Interesting cast, Kitty. That's not even like close to the English then, is it? Oh. Oh. You know what game I want to come out? That um that one the Quebec studio is making. I think they made the messenger. They're making an RPG as well now. I forgot the name. I want that game. That's the game I want. That's the one I want. All right, she's still not here. I don't think she's gonna be here. Mm. Son of a sandworm on Steam. Why would they change that? Yeah, that's pretty messed up, Viserl. I don't know how you function. I'd tell you right now, if that was my sleep schedule, I wouldn't have a Twitch channel. <laughs> People would never know when I would be live. They just wouldn't have a clue. All right. Holy ceremony. Here we go. And then after this, we'll go get our pen from Penn Island. Let's see if it's any different because we have the general. I'm fast forwarding because we've seen this 8 billion times. One of the few good things about this game, you can fast forward cutscenes. Come on. Look, it's a stone. I have this stone. I am so cool. My name is Dollar Store Sephiroth. I painted on my abs because I'm too lazy to work out. Do, 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 do. He didn't even comment on it. Well, that's disappointing. All right, let's go get our pen. Let's get our pen. Some of these NPCs look like Yuffie for some reason. It's weird. Needs to be an obligation external to yourself. Gotcha. All right, we have gold pen from Pen Island yet again. How did you go pen right? Ah, uh, you know, with ink, you push it to paper. And then it leaves the ink on the paper. And that's how it writes. You're welcome. You've learned pens. This day. Hello, where's boy that wants pen? Ha ha! How does pen left? You're fired. You're so fired. All right, we're gonna try to find the boy. We're also gonna go talk to Professor Anal, also known as Blue Sammy. People, leave oh no. Is this Penn Island? It might actually be, yes. All right, the boy is not here anymore. So my brilliant, not smart, brilliant plan is just shattered. He's not here anymore. I 
it's not him. Yeah, I don't know where that kid went. There's a kid that said he wanted this pen. But he's not where I last saw him. So, Professor Anal, let's go. Yeah, so I was talking about Professor Anal, Blue Sammy. So, yes, you did hear your name. Bye, Dark Twad. What's up? Um. <laughs> All right, you don't say anything, even though I have the pen. Can I use it as an item? Just got done eating dinner. What did you eat? Hello, I have your pen. <laughs> I haven't you made a research. You don't talk to me. It's not working. Question is, what is a phenomenon? Yo, it's an answer. The question is, who cares? Remember the world 13 months ago. I don't know. I have terrible memory, so legitimately couldn't tell you what I was doing 13 months ago. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, right, Sam. Thank you, man, for 13 months. I didn't remember the world last Monday. Whew. Nothing was found. Why not? <laughs> Jeremy Luffy 2, if you miss a hit on an enemy, there's a written Watts. That's a super old word nobody uses anymore. Did they use it 25 years ago? Also, what does Watts mean? I mean, that's literally what I was thinking, Zanashra. You're not wrong. That is what I was thinking. What the fuck was I doing 13 months ago? I don't know. Would have been July of last year? I have no idea. <laughs> uh, very funny, Sammy. It's not translatable. Ah, okay. I see. I see, Miss Chaos Katie. Let's see. If I scroll down far enough, does it tell me when? It does. Oh no, this just tells me when I highlighted these, not when I actually did these. I know where I can find out. Let's go, let's go to the past. I think this will tell me. I search my own analytics on this website. You can sort by year. Watts is a dwarf that keeps happening in the Mana series. That's true. I was doing the Zelda Marathon in July of 2019? I don't think so. I don't think that's right. That doesn't sound right at all. Because that's something I do in like the fall and the winter. Uh, let's see. July 2019. Okay. I was playing... Dragon Quest Builders 2. Um, Danganronpa 1. Talos Principle. Oh, I was actually doing the three heart challenge for Zelda, so you were right in a sense. <laughs> do do I was doing the three because I waited months to do that I remember just to get a break from it but it was mostly DQB2 um D&D &D, Danganronpa 1 and Talos Principle that's what I was doing cool Very cool. Puzzle, exactly, Ragadaculous. It was Puzzle, wasn't it? All right, I'm trying to think of what the hell this pen is supposed to do for me. So far, it seems like it does nothing. It seems like it does nothing.
Like, are there NPCs that want the pen, or... I don't get it. I got the pen again, but why? <laughs> what the fuck is that supposed to do for me? It's locked. Fine. Let's talk to literally every NPC. That's the shittiest solution I have, and it's the only solution I have. I don't want to go in there. You sent up a pan style pizza crust, give it a pre cook, then finish baking with it. Baking it with a filling used in cheesecake as a topping? Is it a cheese pizza? No. No, it's a cheesecake with weird crust. <laughs> it's not a cheese pizza. Uh, <laughs> uh. Have you trying drawing mustaches of everyone with a pen? Not yet. That's their secondary plan. Permanent marker like Jigglypuff. Nice. Nice. They're they're gushing over Snuffleupagus over there. Gar is going to a party. All right. <laughs> Hello. Doing them crunches. What am I stuck on? A stool. Yo. Why do I... Why do I have this pen? Excuse me. She doesn't know. She's complaining about beast howlings. Rummy's normally in here, but she's just con conspicuously absent now. What else happens on day two? Nothing. We can't do the meeting anymore with the general because he's in our party. Hello. It's Barry B. Taylor. What's the watchman on the west wall defending? I don't know. He doesn't let me in even when I have the general. Which is a thing. She had too much to drink. He blew it. They'll come save him. I'm sure they will. I'm sure they will. Bedtime already, Durian. Yeah, yeah, early riser, my friend. Thanks for hanging out with us. Dun, 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 dun. What are I doing with this goddamn? <laughs> That's basically what I'm doing. Uh. <laughs> Eagle. That's literally like what's happening in this game. Just walk around. What am I supposed to do with this pen? I don't know. Write a letter? I don't know. <laughs> 530 comes early. Oh, that hurts my soul. Just thinking about that. How do you properly do alerts you may or may not have tried before? The same way you do any other alert. I don't... What? I want to help you, but I honestly don't understand the question. The specific number of bits? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Or the equivalent donation amount if it's over a hundred. Sorry, I didn't understand at first. I think I'd get you now. But yeah, those numbers are just the, the amount. That's it. That's all they are. Well, hopefully that makes more sense. Sample my goods. Like this. And don't forget to vote. <laughs> and you didn't vote! <laughs> Oh, fuck, dude. Jesus. Fucking vote. 
God. Why can't I enter? I have the general with me. Oh. Thanks for 28 bits. Please vote. It slows everything down when I have to add it manually. <laughs> Please vote. Thank you, Reg, for 10 bits. What did you vote for? Chrono Cross. You want the super cool pen? I have it. Here. Just take it. It doesn't do anything for me. I have the pen. You can have it. I don't want it. It doesn't do anything. Hmm. Needs an ephemeral Fantasia too. Har har. This game failed so bad that almost everyone that was on this team doesn't make games anymore. If that tells you anything. That's awesome, Chaos Kitty. It says shit instead of shot. <laughs> yeah, you wanted to do Triforce Heroes, another very one of the worst games I've played, actually. Oh god. Ah! Oh god, please no. 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 I vote for Monokuma. Is that how this works? No. Kappa Chicken. You didn't vote. Thanks for 45 bits. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> Let me go buy some fog spheres. I don't think you understand that we have to add these votes every time. Every time. So just put the number in there. If I'm not consistent with this, then people aren't going to want to do it. Because they're like, well, it didn't count that time. Why should it count this time? Just put them in there. <laughs> Uh, it was for mana chemia. Oh, okay. Oh! Number oh! one, three. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Cross code with 44. Thank you very much. Oh! <laughs> I like that alert. It's silly. It's silly. That's a beetle. I think it's, that's beetle from like uh, Wind Waker. All right, the magician guy isn't here, so. Hmm. You have been unleashed. <laughs> uh, there's a kitty. She's impressed with the tough men. All right, I'm gonna try something. We're gonna try this. I think it's here. No, here. Monokuma is from Danganronpa. Yeah, that's correct. He's the uh, the villain. The, the bear. The bear. Neo Gunner has an emote of him, and so do I. I have some. I think. I might. I may have gotten rid of it, because we don't play them. Why can't I? There. Yeah, there you go. You found it. <laughs> I made a finny bear version. There you go. You guys got it. You're you're on top of this. You know what you're doing. I don't need to tell you how to do this. All right. I want to see what happens if I take General Bags to the ruins. I feel like we're just gonna have to keep getting this pen every time, but never actually understanding what the hell it's for. That's tonight's progress lock. Figure out what the heck this pen is for. You were memeing. I'll meme you. Okay, well, General Bags can't do anything with these. No, that, that's wrong. That was my theory. Number 013, number 013. <laughs> You're wrong. 
Uh, thank you, Zanajra, for 56 bits. A lot of our emotes, emotes, alerts. Look, it's SpongeBob and Don. There's Don. Hi, Don. <laughs> oh my God. SpongeBob. A lot of our alerts I designed so that you could react to things I'm saying or, or what's happening in the game or whatever. People like doing that. It's more fun. Ow, Jace, that hurt. It's SpongeBob. I'm telling you, man, I wasn't making it up. <laughs> I'm saying, dude. Ugh. It's freaking SpongeBob. <laughs> Let's give it everything we got. It's punishment time. That's why we are playing this game. Dot number 09. That's such a good cackle. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yo, Eagle, thanks for 48. World of Final Fantasy getting some lovin's. Can this thing die already? Wow, he killed him with 24 damage. I guess it, it's gonna die. Mm, he got a level. Do, 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 do. All right, this didn't work. That theory's out the door. What if we go to the palace? The, or as we like to call it, the passel. I think it's too late. Like, normally we would have the meeting with General Bags now. But I think it's too late now. Yeah, no. It just doesn't happen now. Why did you steal SpongeBob's pants? Because he wanted to cosplay as Goofy. That's it. That's the joke.jpg. That's all I got. You can you can use that however you want. <laughs> oh God. All right, let's see if having general bags lets me go in these rooms. <laughs> Cash Kitty's like, I'm out. I can't do it. I can't handle it. <laughs> you, I have the general. Let me in. All right, let's try one of this. All right, Claire, you're booted. All right. Nope. Still doesn't work. All right, Bags, you're out. Nope. Still doesn't work. God damn it. All right. Sometimes that works. Like, it changes things. Yo, it's Mr. Is Games. How did your stream reversary go? Confirm the origin of fire. I remember that. Yeah. Confirm the origin of fire. Yeah. Harvest Moon is a Nintendo had a ter terrible translation. I remember that. <laughs> that makes it sound like it's some epic RPG. Like you're going on this grand quest of anthropology to discover who created fire. <laughs> Confirm the origin of fire. All right. Sure. Wait, I have an idea. I need to test it. The fog is gone. Fuck that. Using another one. What if I talk to General Anal? General Anal. Not General Anal. Whatever the guy's name is. Scientist. Dr. Anal. That's it. We're going to Dr. Anal. 12 hours wears you out? Yeah, me too. Me too. You, I have your pen. I don't talk to me. I'm researching. That didn't help. All right. My theory is fucked. Theory's fucked. I'm going to wait till 6 p.m. on day two 
According to my schedule on 6 p.m. on day two, I don't have anything. All right, so. I've done, I, when I first went full time, I used to stream 10 to 12 hours, six days a week. That was stupid. That was stupid. <laughs> Don't do that. All you're doing is being live all week and not really growing. You're just not growing or expanding your content or doing anything interesting. Now I'm like seven to eight, five days a week. You know, if I really feel like it, it'll go longer than eight, but that's rare now. All right, he's still in here. All right. He went to the bookshelf now. Okay, so. 6P room shelf. Amazing. Same fucking dialogue. Uh, don't bug me. I'm researching. Wait, let me see if I can give him the pen. What if I do this? Okay, go right here. You know, and then I... Nope, all right. I don't know what the hell this pen is for. You can play video games for a long time, but you can't be entertaining for nearly that long. Yeah. Catch your breath. I have the pen. It's right here. Damn. Mm -mm 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 -mm. That is a quote from June 18th, 2018. <laughs> what the hell was I talking about? Uh, they're always out of context, too. Yeah, Jim Dilson. This thing doesn't vroom vroom at me anymore. All right, let's go get our teammates back. That's a true statement right there. Don't ever be sorry for shoving a katana up someone's ass, right? You're giving him a free Katenema, all right? I want that pen. I have the pen. It's right here. Just take it. I don't want it anymore. There, take the pen. You, you can have it. I don't want it. It's giving me nothing but misfortune. The statue is really bizarre. All right, let me get my teammates back. Gonna hit it up on demand. New Bill and Ted. Oh, did that come out? Wait, you can just watch that without going to the theater? Like, right as it comes out? That's cool. That's neat. All right, this is where I wanted to be. Um... Okay. Um, I was just about to look at something. What the fuck was I going to look at? I don't remember. Shit. I forget. God damn it. Don't you hate when that happens? <laughs> oh, man. Alright, can I already fix the watch? Nope. Alright. She didn't. She didn't fix it. It costs like 20 bucks. Wow, that's expensive.
Going to the theater is rare for me. The last time I went to the theater was at RPG Limit Break last year. And that was the first time I had been to the theater in many years. Do -do -do -do. We went with like 15 people or something and saw... What was it called? Avengers like Endgame or something like that? I don't remember. I think that's what it was called. Oh, I know what I wanted to do. Here. This is what I wanted to do. Okay. This is totally legit poll with no joke answers at all, but there's a poll live in chat. Have fun. There's a raccoon! There's a raccoon in your bathroom? Wait, what? What? <laughs> what? Did I read that correctly? What the hell did a raccoon get in your bathroom? Something about this story doesn't add up. Why am I in here? Why am I in here? I shut sand, that's why. Well, there's plenty of raccoons around me, but they don't ever try to get inside. They just go to the dumpsters. They don't need to try to get inside. Tell the raccoon to shit or get off the <laughs> Uh yeah. Yeah, that's that's about right. Hello, what do you do? You say, woo-ha! That's the noise you make when you're sleeping, apparently. These games don't make any sense. I bet poor Rag is just cackling his ass off right now. He knows exactly what I need to do. And he probably also knows that it makes no fucking sense what I'm supposed to do. Smile, he says. Never seen a video of the raccoon getting some cotton candy, then looking baffled and disappointed when it tried to wash it. <laughs> no, I have not seen that. Uh, can't say that I have seen that. Nope. Right, let's go to the fortune teller now that we have the gold pen. I don't think it's going to change anything. But I'll try. Yo. I'm your best fortune teller. He's stubborn. He can only think with logic. He has gold. And his logic will help. If this, there's nothing logical about what they just said to me. Your mom had a pet raccoon. I've heard of people that have had them as pets. And that they are extremely difficult to have as pets. <laughs> Shade, that's awesome. He gets spooked and tries to scurry away, then tire himself out and just lay there staring at you, wheezing. <laughs> You've had a possum come in your house, Magnumer? What the hell? They're dumb as a sack of bread. <laughs> oh my god. We used to call the raccoons that raided the dumpster your old job, the sanitation engineer. <laughs> All right, this guy at 9 p.m. 
All right, so D two nine P room nothing. All right, he still does nothing. Let me research. You should go away. Okay, maybe one of these days he does something. I have had a loop counter since the first stream of this, Queena. Yeah. For reference, for people that want to know how we're coming along. <laughs> See. <laughs> No killing raccoons. It's not okay. Don't kill animals. I don't like that. A baby garter snake? Oh, those are harmless. Just going across the carpet? <laughs> it's a baby snake. That's funny. All right. What are the, what are the results of the poll? Will Finn make progress? Three votes for yes, zero for no, nine votes for Rummy's butt. Thank you everyone for your official, totally serious poll that has no joke answers whatsoever. It's good. <laughs> uh, most garter snakes don't even have teeth. So they'll try to bite you with their just little gums and they're just like, nah, and you're just like, okay. Good for you. <laughs> Just, they're so harmless. The only way they survive is that they just put their mouths on things and swallow them whole. They don't need to chew, so they don't have teeth. If they do have teeth, they're probably as soft as rubber. Ineffective danger noodle, yeah. They eat rodents, yeah. You killed a rattler once, but it was living by a church where kids played. Yeah, those are dangerous, especially around kids. Those are really dangerous. When they become like a danger to you or others, a severe danger, you kind of got to do something about it. Oh, they're all dead. General base good never. Mm. You'd have a cottonmouth in your backyard in the Carolinas. Are those uh, venomous? I don't know too much about snakes. The only snakes that were ever really around me were garter snakes and uh, fox snakes. They are venomous. Gotcha. Yeah, that's pretty dangerous. All right, 9 p.m. He's or midnight. He sleeps. He slept. Day three, 12 a.m. Sleep. We're literally stalking this guy because I don't have any idea what to do. <laughs> We're just stalking him. Uh, what's up, Mr. Pinary? How are you? Do, 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 do. Anything here? No. Anything here? No. He's sleeping. He's sleeping. Well, this game has got so much action, doesn't it? Barfing goat doors always keeping us company. That's good. Cotton mouths are very venomous, says Racka Wacka Smackdalus. I see. <laughs> How am I? I'm good. I am always blown away at uh, the amount of company that shows up for this silly game. Must be doing something right. Mm. 
Black Widows. I don't think I've ever seen a Black Widow. All right, in a minute and a half real time, it, it'll be 3 a.m. and he might move. Maybe. Possibly. He needs logic. If you're unsure about a snake, says Shane, they'll ask an Australian friend to rate it on a scale of one to woe there, fella. <laughs> uh, that's, yeah, that's the scientific method, of course. <laughs> oh, man. God, oh, jeez. Is that when you know it's a Black Widow Magnumer? When it has like red and yellow coloration on it? Did my camera just flicker? What was that? I saw something on the corner of my eye. That's a coral snake. Oh, okay. Oh, you're talking about a snake. Okay. It's three. He didn't move. All right. Your neighbor's woodpile had Black Widow's nesting in it. Light a bonfire and see deadly spiders flee in every direction. <laughs> Fuck that. I'd never go to a bonfire there again. Uh... Cow killer. Cow killer. That sounds terrifying. Cow killer. We're totally stalking this guy legitimately. That's why I'm just sitting here waiting to see what he does every three hours. It's an origin black wingless wasp. What are they, just swarm cows and like... You know, I don't want to know. There's probably video of it out there and I just don't need that, it, that visual in my brain, ever. You've been stung by one? Jesus. Australia's messed up. <laughs> I wish Laura Lana was around. We could ask her about the weirdest critter she's encountered. <laughs> she's probably got stories. She's probably got stories to tell. Velvet ants? Oh, okay. They're a wingless wasp. So they don't actually kill cows. Nature's ass. <laughs> Sword on wasps are nature's asshole. You right. You right though. Might as well get into a fight just to get some experience for bags. I have your pen. It's a pineapple pen, right? That's what Necrona said on Twitter. He said it's a pineapple pen. It's your pet island. Because of how painful their sting is. Okay, it's 6 a.m. He's gone. All right. 6 a... We need to figure out where he went. As we violently open the door. Where'd he go? 
Where'd he go? He vanished. All right. Your dad saw a snake kill a kangaroo and then the snake got killed by a spider. Well then. All right, what happens on day three? A lot of shit. The holy ceremony at 12.30 p.m. Wedding announcement ceremony, I think is the evening. That's it. That's all I can really do there. Cast Doom. What? Reg, I don't get it. <laughs> what does that mean? What does that even mean? Alright, that guy's just gossiping about Rummy. He said he vanished. Oh. It's a Final Fantasy VI joke. I get it now. Okay. I get it. I always make people explain the joke because I usually don't get it and then it ruins the joke and then I become the joke. I don't like this pattern. <laughs> All right, this is uncomfortable. Doink, doink, doink. That's the joke. Dot PNG. No, it's JPG, right? Come on now. Should know better. Not the best, but I'm good. I am good. Where did Professor Anal go? Where would he be at this time? How many progression points in this game have relied on combat? I don't think any of them have. To be honest, Seahook, I don't think a single one has. You can't enter. Why not? Why can't I enter? Where's Professor Anal? That's one thing that makes this game so hard. Majora's Mask, when it's time for an NPC to go somewhere, they go there, right? They walk. They fucking walk. In this game, they teleport. They teleport. So you have no idea where they went. You just don't have a clue. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with that information? Alright, the magician's not here again. I don't know what that guy's for. It's weird. It's really dangerous in your mind. Mornings are great. Sure. In Final Fantasy VI, the Doom spell is insta-kill. Which is the joke that Reg is making. The days when every other objective in a JRPG was now talk to every person on the planet to advance the plot. That's what it feels like right now, yeah. 
I'm not really sure where the hell this guy went. I don't have a the fungiest clue. Star Tropic Syndrome? I've not played that. Mount Younger. Is that literally called Mount Ground? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, sure. Game's so dumb. <laughs> oh man, Mount Ground. You must find a name that man named Steve Carlson and give him this curse ruby. <laughs> I will take that quest. All right, just saying. I'm gonna do that quest. <laughs> that sounds like the mission I need to go on. Okay. I don't know where that guy went. He's just gone. He's just gone forever. He sits in his room for two days and then vanishes. Legitimately. That was a noise. That was a fucking noise that thing made. Mr. Binary, just don't worry about it. <laughs> I just don't want to argue. I just... People told you what it does like three times already. Alright, we're gonna go to the forest... Forest thing. Right here. The forest thing. It's the official term. This is where another... Another ceremony happens. I want to see if it changes anything because we have general bags. The internet is being stupid butts poopy face. <laughs> I'm just like, how, how old is he? How old is he again? Stupid butts poopy face. Well, I hope your stupid butt's poopy face resolves itself. Yes, phrasing, bad language, young man. Wow. Mr. Poopy Butthole Bottom. Boy, we're just coming up with nicknames tonight, aren't we? <laughs> He's like, I'm so bad. I'm so sorry. Let's go say hi to bandits, I guess. See if that changes anything. We're back to aimless wandering. I apologize, but... Professor Anal just disappeared. Just gone. Hello. Everyone's getting busy for the job, okay? God. 
Leave it to bone. God. So stupid. General Bangs does not help with the bandit attack. Yo, Werewolf Supermoon, how are you? How are you, dude? That guy says dots. He says woo ha. That's the noise people make when they're sleeping in this game, apparently. It's really weird. That is a hot dog with a face. Now I want hot dogs. Look what you've done. I think that's my problem right now. I'm really hungry and I don't know why. <laughs> Eating all this melon isn't helping. I need more substantial sustenance. What does that say? Old quarry ruins. What is that? Just a block. Is there anything here? I don't think so. There's a treasure. Might as well get that while we're here. 300 regrets. <laughs> that was it? Oh! All right, let's kill a shaker. Where's the mover? Where's the mover? So if you haven't asked the answer the question tonight, folks out there, the topic of the day is what's the worst translation you've ever seen in a video game? That's our topic. It's not a hot topic though, so. Sorry, we don't have those. Look, a treasure. Sand barrage. Direct attack of the enemy caught often misses. Oh, all right. And here I thought I got something important. Not this time. <laughs> Nothing was found. This is the old quarry mines. What was that called? Sea hook zero mission or something like that, right? I can't, or zero wing. I think it was zero wing, right? Zero wing. That was the name. I want to ask like the things, the questions that are crossing my mind. Like I already know the answers to. <laughs> Cause I just keep thinking, I keep asking myself like it's some kind of rationalization. Like, how long does it take you before you say enough is enough and you look shit up? I can't look shit up. And everyone would, everyone in chat right now would tell me that they would have looked shit up a long time ago. It is Zero Wing Heimlich? I thought so. That was like a Genesis game, wasn't it? I don't need to be in here. There's nothing here. Let's go. It has cool music. That's about it. Zero wing. All your base are belong to us. That's zero wing. And then somebody turned it into like a music video. And this was 20 years ago. Like back when memes were still new. It's like one of the first popular ones was that the zero wing thing all right we're gonna chill here until back when memes were jokes i mean they still are it's just a different type of humor that we're probably used to it's almost time for the holy crown ceremony it's right here patimo bruh it's right here
That's how the music goes in this game. Makes this like depressing sound. Exactly, Sammy. Yes. Goes Taberu. That's what it does. When he jumps, you don't like the view we get of his face. Me either. I don't like it either. I don't like it either. Is it an ace burrito? Yo. 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 Is that an ace burrito? He was playing Persona Banamana. 4. Banamana. You scared me. You scared me. The question is, what is a manamana? <laughs> the question is, who cares? Ace bur hype, ace bur I do, ace bur hype. Ace bur hype. Bur I do. <laughs> she said that weird. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. From Ace's channel, I'm Phenomenon. We play retro games, RPGs, D&D every Saturday with Ace. So you should be there for that. That sounds good to you. Hopefully you hang out with us. Okay, here's another awkward cutscene that we've seen 80 billion times. I'm going to fast forward it on the PS2. Woo! If it makes no sense to you, that's correct. It also makes no sense to any of us. Let's see, who do we got? CZ, Kirby Dance, Clover Friend, Gerg. Thank you, man. Gerg, thank you for that 20 months, dude. Give food. Yes, please. I need something that's not melon because it's not working. Okay, he got a crown and he just leaves her there. No one says anything. General Bags, you are disappointing. I feel like I've got yet another useless companion. Darn! Kia, what's up? And Nefwetum. How are you, Nefwetum? How you been? Oh, it's an in-game feature, Aquina. This game actually has that built in. I don't think you can... Also, my PS2 isn't modded. Oh, it's soft. I guess it's it's not even soft modded. It's just a memory card thing. So I guess it's a soft mod, right? But there's nothing actually installed on the PS2. Or modded on it. Okay. 6 p.m. the banditos attack. The banditos doritos. Well, technically 7.30, but 6 p.m. is when the cutscenes start. Okay, we go back to stalking Professor Anal. I'm doing well, Kia. It's good to see all you folks. I hope you... Uh... Have you guys seen this yet? Any of you that just came along from Ace's channel? We got a little like, a video that I use for my channel trailer, but I've also been using it for raids. Check this out. It's me! a lot of drop frames. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, anyway, hello. Hello. Are, you, are we still here? I guess. It was like, as soon as I played that video, all my frames were like, fuck you, you can't show anyone that. <sighs> Thank you, Comcast, for continuing to be the most unreliable internet of all time. 
Do 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 do. Here he is. Cutscene. Oh, this is unexpected. Okay. This is like 6 a.m. This is like 12 p.m. Cutscene. We all dropped all the frames. That was Comcast. It just went to zero for like five seconds there. It was pretty bad. It was pretty bad. It couldn't handle my trailer. <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> hey, we're still here though. That's all right. If it gets if it like gets really bad all over the bit rate, but I think it's not going to stable for now. So we'll just carry on. You, you're that musician. Why have you come so far to see me? You want to talk to me? All right, I'm off the clock now. So what do you want to talk to me about? Tree Waifu has explained the true state of things. Interesting. For a story created on the fly, it's quite unique. Maybe you should be a novelist instead of a musician. A predator may be there. Watch out for those bolts. They shoot those harpoons. It'll take your head right off, Sea Hook. Watch out. Audio video desync? Bop, bop, bop. Well, my uh, mixer isn't desynced, that's for sure. Bup, 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 bup. I'm watching the view meter go bup, 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 bup. <laughs> Uh, it's fixed if you pause start. Okay. It's so inconceivable and there's no basis for it. Magic that causes time to loop is nothing more than a myth. Game and camera is out of sync for you. But... Just hit pause and then play Kirby, and that should fix it. Which sucks because you might get an ad, and I'm sorry if that's true. But it sounds like it's fixed it for others. It's fine now? Okay. Okay. That was really weird. The way it just dumped to zero, it might not even have been Comcast. It might have been Twitch. Because usually when Com I lose frames from my internet, it doesn't cause desync for people like that. That might have actually been Twitch that time. Eh, you know, what can you do? Just, we just we just keep on keeping on, right? We keep on keeping on. First of all, your theory has a big hole in it. Let's just suppose there's some being who can cause a temporal closure. Blame both. Okay, fine. <laughs> Well, putting aside that you've said it's a snuffleupagus, this being has the co to control the magic that manipulates time. Do you have any idea how much magic, how much power it required to do that? My calculations of magic use a measurement called MP. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, let's put that on the list. <laughs> Uh, in character references to quote MP. Oh. Come on. <laughs> On this island, you're approximately 400 islanders. Say it's 30 MP per person. Apply that to all the islanders. That's 12,000 MP. That's 12,000. One, two, zero, zero, zero. This is so ham-fisted right now, okay? <laughs> From my research, I've concluded that even the most powerful life form can store at the most up to 999 MP. This is seriously awful. <laughs> you want your internet to go to garbage so you can't watch. <laughs> oh my god. 
There's such a being is unimaginable. Yeah, this is not a bad game, Kirby. It is the the bad game. This is probably the worst RPG that's ever been made. <laughs> because they actually tried to make this good. And you're just getting a sample of this. So for those of you that are new to the stream or this game, I did a little experiment where I decided we're going to write down everything they've done that's bad game design, right? Like objectively bad game design. This isn't just like my opinion of, oh, I don't like turn-based combat. No, like the design of each element being bad. And in four hours, I filled the page. The first four hours of the game, I filled the page. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, yeah, yeah, there's a lot wrong with this game. <laughs> We're almost two full pages now. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh Jesus. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts. To cast magic spells, you must expend willpower in a process I call pressing the circle button. <laughs> Do you understand? If you do understand, rather than pursuing some trivial illusion, you should focus on reality and start composing. Talk to him again? Okay, sure. We did just save, right? Definitely. If a number of beings come together and through some ritual, combine magic forces, it's not absolutely impossible, but... Do stop with these bizarre tales. When the wedding is over, we can sit down and talk about this in depth. Goodbye, uh, yes, that's right, Mr. Tree Waifu. Wait, you're still here, Tree Waifu. That didn't work. I thought we progressed. <laughs> oh. I, yes, I am still here. I have your stupid pen. What a good debater. We ended up being convinced instead. What if we reload? Hold on. I got an idea. Did something happen? We just don't know what. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. All right. We're going to reload. Beep, beep, beep. I'm going to actually not continue to talk to him and see if that changes anything. Something went wrong. Yeah. Yeah. You right, though. I do like that OPL lets me soft reset. That's pretty cool. Unless the game, it's the game doing it. I don't know. But I can go back into OPL real easy peasy. Real easy peasy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bum, bum, bum. Da, 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 da. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right. I actually, if, some of you, if you didn't see it, I did this experiment um, a couple weeks ago where you can force a video mode with OPL so you could run it, make a PS2 game uh, run at what is it hold on this one you can make it run at 480p so I did that but it made the game run at double speed it looked so much better but it broke the game the game runs at double speed <laughs> my OPL looks cooler than your OPL I think mine's out of date but I'm not sure I'm actually not sure. Oh. Alright, we're gonna do this again. Fast forward. She gets dizzy, he takes the crown and completely ignores her. Nobody says anything. It's really weird. Ah! Goods. Oh boy, here we go. Yeah, werewolf it would. <laughs> it would be twice as fast. Doc, thanks for 28 bits. You forgot to vote, I'm assuming. So if you could let us know which game you want to vote for. Do, 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 do. All right. All right. 
You need a spanking. I forgot to vote number 008. <laughs> you spanked yourself. Uh, let's see. Lufia. Okay. All right. Is any of the mods able to add that? Thank you, Rackadactylus, man. I appreciate your time. Thank you, Doc, for the bits. 28 and 29. <laughs> All right, we're going to save before talking to him. And yes, if you're new to this game, when you open doors in the palace, it sounds like goats are vomiting. Okay. PS3 passively upscales PS1 games to 480p. Yes, it does. But it does the scaling a bit fuzzy. It doesn't look so hot. And it's purely emulation as well. Okay. So instead of continuing to talk to him, we will walk away and see if that changes anything. Just put, he's going to tell us about MP again, and it's disgusting. Salvo Bates, do it. All right. Thank you for all the votes, the, the bits tonight, everyone, and the, the subs. Heck yeah. Thank you very much. Need 12,000 MP. So what he's saying is we need to drain his MP. Leave. Just pick, pick leave. You're still here, tree wife you. We ended up being convinced instead. It didn't work. All right, so one more reload, because I am going to talk to him again. I want that to be the actual action I take. I just wanted to see if it would change anything, and it didn't. It didn't change anything. We got to convince him somehow, right? They say logic. They said, use logic. Okay. I thought logically if I showed him that I had a copy of his own damn pen, he'd be like, what? How did you get that? You know, one of those things. I probably, Shane, will have to do that for Chrono Cross, but I'm not sure yet. Because Chrono Cross is one of those rare cases where the game plays in 240p and the menus are 480i. And if you are using like a digitizer or a capture card or an upscaler, it has to redo the HDMI connection every single time that you open the menu or close it. And it just like... It causes problems. It causes problems. I mean, I know I can get it to work. I just have to figure it out. Like It's not a problem getting it to work. The PS3 might bypass that, potentially. Yes, logic. Logic, werewolf. Logic. I have your pet. It's right here. All right, I can just hold triangle. Talk to him again. Some ritual. Yes, I'm still here. There, I have your pen. Damn it! Tossing the pen in a well. <laughs> Uh, he's a good debater. All right, let's go talk to Professor Jailson now. All right, that guy still talks about how cool this pen is. Stab him in the face with the pen. I mean, he wouldn't be able to ignore that evidence. That's true. That is incontrovertible evidence. All right, Professor Jailson. Go to jail. Sorry for your backseat, Kappa. Crappa. Crappa. Yes, I am, Jailson. Wait, did you say something? Yes. I said, help me... Help me figure out this quest. Crappa, there you go. 
You came out of this way, but there's nothing here. Okay, I have an idea, actually. The bandit attack is going to happen in-game in about f four hours, which is four minutes real time. Professor Anal is standing, like, right here when it happens. What if we talk to him and we're like, watch this, the bandits are going to attack. Let me do this, video game, all right? This is a plan. Let me do my plan. So we're going to sit here for three minutes, all right, everybody? And we're going to stare awkwardly at each other. That feeling when Phenomenon forgets what he said five seconds ago. Fuck, I thought it was time. <laughs> Ah, uh, thanks for 36 bits, Ace. <laughs> Damn it. Something went wrong. Uh, Good. Good. <laughs> Number of 06. <laughs> God damn it, I thought the pop-up in game was uh, the, the event. <laughs> Thanks for 36 bits, Ace. Please let us know what you want to vote for. <laughs> A 32 for Magnumert. God damn it. The game debated me. I was going to win, too. <laughs> I was totally going to win. Okay. So it's like another minute or minute and a half. You can't win this E right, Kirby. It's just that's the hard truth of it, isn't it? <laughs> There's no winning in Ephemeral Fantasia. There's only the moment when it's over. I don't consider being released from prison winning. That's just finally the nightmare is over. All right, we're going to ice skate. We're going to practice ice skating while we wait. You do a lot of this in this game, just waiting. Waiting for that clock to do things. All right, here we go. Let's talk. I never seem to be able to get comfortable in bright places like this. It's dark and rainy. I got so much research I still need to do. I wish I could return to the lab right now. But how can I turn down an invitation from Sir Snuffleupagus? Oh, come on! Fishing mailed. I thought we would be able to talk to him and be like, yo, bandits are coming. They're gonna kill everyone, alright? No, you're not coming with us, Plosi. You're her you're horrible! And horrible. The only winning move is not to play. It's true. All right, let's sneak his room. 
and steal stuff. No? No? Okay. Alright, that plan failed. I thought, okay, maybe if we sneak in his room when he's not in there, we steal his pen. You know, one of those things. One of those things. These guys keep saying the same thing. All right, let's go do the bandit attack. Let's go do the bandit attack. Bam, 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 bam. We have Omega, Omega, Alex. Let's double Omega, Alex. <laughs> Why are they frozen? I love that her buffs cause the game to lag. <laughs> Got him. I just don't want to know what they're using to attack me when they do that. It's very uncomfortable looking. It's some kind of appendage that protrudes. And the rest is up to your imagination to figure that out. Yeah, he reveled. Cool. What's up, Priya? How we doing? How you been? He can never get comfortable at times like this. All right, what about over here? Can I go in here right now? You can't eat you. Why not? I don't think you can ever go in that door. You been good? It's good here. All right, here we go. Bandits. Oh, it's 7.30. That's right. He says the same thing. He says the same thing. Doo, doo, doo. You can't eat you. Why not? Why not? What if I want to? What are you going to do about it? Doo, 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 doo. Oh, we're not gonna make it. We're not gonna make it. And yeah, there's the cutscene. Wait, what? 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 Oh, maybe they attack at 8, not 7.30. Well, anyway. You've been on a diet and having success. I always consider a diet not a diet, but changing your eating habits, like, perpetually. It makes it, for me, at least personally, it makes it easier to, to stomach. Like, I just stopped drinking soda one year. That's it. I just don't drink it. But maybe once a year I'll have something. Maybe. That was like 10, 20 pounds right there. Just changed your habits, right? Okay. So he's like, yeah, we're going to show you the queen. She doesn't wear a diaper anymore. And then he grabs her boob. All right, watch this. Watch this. Just shamelessly grab some under boob here. It's pretty bad. Spectators gasp. There you go. Just gets a handful of boob. Just a big old handful. I, I don't understand. Like, <laughs> it's the bandits. And then the bandits have really upbeat, uplifting sounding music while they're murdering civilians. Really strange. Everyone save Snuffleupagus at the princess at all costs. You need to protect the rail. It's usually General Banks that said that. That's slightly different. We'll let this one play out. Let's see if it's any different, but I don't think so. Now be good and hand over a princess, you handsome devil, you! Same, same text. You can stop the posture now. What else would we have for? We want ransom money. No, you don't. You just want our diapers. 
She's the princess that wears diapers and puts capes on her diapers. I have an idea if he dies again, by the way. <laughs> Dead. Okay. Bye! I have an idea. Bye! I have an idea. You ready for my idea? He looks like Sephiroth. It's Dollar Store Sephiroth. That's his name. His name is Dollar Store Sephiroth. You can also call him Snumpleuffagus. I don't care how many times I see it, still amuses, doesn't it? He's an incel as well. He gets all grabby with the princess all the time. He's a total incel. Alright, I'm gonna reload it and do that cutscene again. Because I have an idea. Yeah, it didn't work, did it? Actually, I'm not gonna reload it yet. I'm gonna go talk to Professor Anal. Interesting blood physics. You like that? I think they really appreciated Fist of the North Star. <laughs> He's sleeping! I'm gonna try something. I have an idea. Let me just talk to this guy first and see if anything happens. Doink. Sephiroth for Lesseroth. Oh my god. Thanks, I hate it. Dots. He's sleeping. He slip. Alright, so I'll reset. Here we go. We're gonna reload. We are going to reload. Do 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 do. Bimbo Fantasia. Tiny knife brigade gets slaughtered. Lessons in why you need a bigger sword. I want to watch that documentary. I want to watch it. Come on, go faster. There we go. All right, what time did we save it in game? Six. No, it's day two. Five. Okay, perfect. Here's what we're going to do. You, General Banks, you're fired. Okay. He's not in the party anymore. So he should be in the cutscene, we hope, maybe, think, maybe, possibly? I don't know. Possibly. So we're gonna ice skate again. We're ice skating, right? You know, this is what we do when we kill time. We're just gonna ice skate. He's fired! It's all right, we can get him back. <laughs> I just wanted to see if he'd be in the cutscene if I did that. You, let me through. There's nothing here. I'm going to stand right here and just wait. Then just wait. That's enough of that. I don't even know if that gets DMCA'd. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't use that anymore. Uh... <laughs> Oh, I should go talk to those NPCs again real quick. And then I will go stand by that door. You're true. You're right, Magnumer. It's true. Was I guess his name Easy Peasy? Esposit. Oh, I thought it said Easy Peasy. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> it's close enough. I gotta take a break between all this research. Alright. We talked to all the NPCs, nothing happened. So, here we go. 
We're gonna go stand by that door. Princess's finger looking good. Yeah, he said that. Other other NPCs in this game talk about how they want to bury their face in Rummy's breasts. Pretty much word for word. There's a lot of things this game has done wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Shane, when are you going to make a video game? Because it's going to be the best, worst game ever. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> Shane would make the best, worst game ever. It'd be a point of pride. What has this game done right? Uh, the music? Is decent. Fast forward cutscenes is right. <coughs> That's about it. That's really about it. It's the highest compliment you've gotten all month. Dude, you know it's true. If you had, like, the team and the funds to make it happen, you would make the best, the worst game ever. It's totally true. What's up, Broken Crow? How you been? It's been a hot minute. What is that rummy quote? Uh, it's from a uh, review that someone did of this game. Word for word. It's what it says in the review. Word for word is what it says. Let me see. Here you go. I got this for I actually turned it into my uh, thumbnail for this game. I use it for my thumbnail for this game. Uh, let's see. Well, we got to scroll down a bit on Twitter here, but uh, let me show you real quick. Uh, burp. That was a mighty burp. I have mighty burps today. There you go. There you go, Priya. That's my thumbnail I use for this game, and there's the review. Word for word. <laughs> oh, my God. The review? No, it was on Metacritic, Magnumer. Taking time away from Twitch to sort out real life stuff. Gotcha. Hopefully you've gotten everything uh, taken care of for yourself. You like that, Priya? <laughs> She's like, oh my god! <laughs> oh, the epic face palm. How much did someone pay Andrew to write that? Ugh, I don't think we'll ever know that answer. <laughs> Let's hope he found a better waifu. Yeah. 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 Uh. He's just write down a few fanfics. I think Reg actually did some homework for us and he went looking for those fanfics. I think it was Regison that did that. He actually went looking for for fanfics of this game. <laughs> uh, ah, you got a job coming up. That's good. If this game ever gets into RBG Limit Break, one of the commentators needs to read out this review. Oh, yeah. Did he find him? I can't remember. I think Reg said he was like, uh, he, he had a promising lead, we'll say. Your life is no longer the same. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> okay, so General Banks isn't here. Have you noticed? He's still not here. All right, so that didn't work. My idea did not work. Ding. Yeah, it just General Bags is not in the cutscene at all anymore. It's kind of weird. Did you enjoy the new show? Oh my god, I get a handful of boob because I'm Dollar Store Chef for us. Okay. Great. Alright, that's the end of day three. <sighs> day four. We have no events left in day four at all. Because they were all around general bags. 
whom we already saved. So, so the music is oddly cheerful. A lot of things are oddly X in this game. Beep, beep, boo, boo. All right, let's go get General Bags back. <laughs> Do you want to change members? Yeah, we're going to go Rummy and Bags. Let's go. Fix the watch, Claire. We have to make new events. I hate everything about what you just said, Rig. We have been watching this for 73.25 hours and we have not found the end. That's not bad. Wow, I'm doing way better than I thought. Uh, there. Save there. Peepo blink. So normally General Banks is in the reactor. You can't eat you. Why not? You. The general is right here. He could tell you whatever he wants. I guess not. Whee! Bebo blink. Bebo ass blink. This long, long has it taken some people to beat this game? I don't know. What was BGG? 100 hours? I think. Krayson was longer than that, I think. Most people use a guide for this game, is the thing. Because they realize how freaking... To use some very harsh language, they realize how bullshit this game is. And they use a guide. And I don't think anyone can hold it against them. <laughs> Damn it, I can't go in there. All right. Ow. Doug, why are you attacking me? I need to use a fog sphere. I keep forgetting about it. It's it's such a huge time save. Maybe I should just not be using him. The party cannot be changed. Well, that's weird. Huh. All right, let's try that again without him. Is he in here now? Can we stop the reactor overload before it starts? Still not working. He's supposed to be there, right? Day four, midnight, demon reactor. That's not really where he is. Right? Yeah, that's what I've written down. <laughs> Visceral, wow. What channel was that? I feel bad for that poor person. Oh, seven sins, okay. That makes perfect sense. There's a lot of overlap between him, me, and BGG, and Grayson even. So that makes sense. You're the one that told him to play that. What the hell is wrong with you, Reg? All right, let's reload again. We're going to try a different way this time. You don't hate you don't hate him. What game are you playing right now, Reg? This is why you get banned all the time cuz you do shit like that. I wouldn't even be surprised if you had been you. Don't do that, Ferguson! Don't tell people to play this game. 
Hey, Vito Doki Doki? Yeah. That doesn't seem like a game that would fit his channel at all. Doesn't surprise me. Grayson never held up his end. Grayson played this before BGG, I thought. Dun, 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 dun. All right, let's try something different here. Let's try it this way. Also, hello, RPG Chick. How are you today? The deal was for Grayson to play Final Fantasy 15 again with a different perspective. Oh. Yeah, that's a different thing. I don't know if he's played that. I really get to watch him. Come on, stop RG jumping. Offline speedrun practice. When is that uh, Ragnarok thing that I applied for happening? I can't remember. I have the greatest memory in the history of the universe, as you know. Do 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 do. The last week of October. Why did I immediately go outside? That was weird. Oh, okay. So I'm going to forget about it again, is what you're telling me. <laughs> Damn. Well, hopefully I get an email or something. <laughs> Sorry. I have the greatest and best memory. 25th or 31st of October. Yeah, that's like an eternity away as far as I'm concerned. October! It's a little October. It poke me again? Cool. Cool. I'm still down to do that stuff if I'm needed, that is. I don't like to make assumptions. How can I turn down an invitation from Snuffleupagus? No, 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 I'm ice skating because I'm the coolest man ever. What's up, Aura? How are you, dude? How are you? Yes. Do, do, do. Octobit is what an octopus plays when an octopus plays blackjack while occupying multiple seats. Octobet? Oh. I read it as Octobit. Like it's a little October. Like a wee bab. <laughs> uh, you are a flying centipede. That's what you get, Reg, for suggesting this game to Seven Sins. Your punishment. Octobet. <laughs> I like that one too. <laughs> oh man. I like that one too. Worst game translation or has ever seen. What game? You, you gotta say the name in the game. You can't just give me a random string. What game? Worst game translation you've ever seen. Artonelico 2. Oh, okay. Is that the only reason? Because of that one, like, typo? So that's the only reason. It was that one line. 
that they mixed west and east. There's a lot of issues. Okay. All right, here come the red lines. Do, 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 do. All right, General Bangs is supposed to be in the reactor. The game has an entire retranslation patch. That's impressive for all the wrong reasons. <clears throat> you can't eat you. Why not? Why not? Dude, 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 dude. He's not in here. Why the fuck isn't he here? Doesn't make any sense. You get a hundred upload? Wow, dude, I am super jealous. I get 20. I get 20 upload. And it's never consistently 20. It's usually much less. Ten? Ugh. Ugh. You can you do Fine. Fine. Where's General Bags? He's not at the reactor. You get like one upload? Whoa. You can't even stream with that. I mean you could, it would just be really bad. It'd just be really, really bad. It's locked. Of course it is. You don't pay for super high speed stuff to be installed in a temporary place. Oh, okay. I didn't realize it was temporary. You have <laughs> Yes, I also have <laughs> I don't know what that means I probably don't have whatever <laughs> Means The trappings of using acronyms and assuming everybody knows what they mean. Do, 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 do. All right, let's see if General Banks is down here. Oh, he's locked. Sounds like a howling beast. There he is. He's sleeping. Huh. Weird. I didn't expect that. Do you need good old bag of help? No. Hurry up and compose your song. Mm -mm. 0 0.88 upload. Wow. Wow. It's temporary. Oh, okay. Well, that's cool, RPG chick. I hope you find something nice for yourself. Yeah, I basically will always tell people don't use acronyms in an open chat room. It's always a terrible idea. It's just like you're making an assumption that everyone knows what that means. A lot of the times it could mean many things too. It's gonna have a dedicated weeb room. Can I move in? Not the weeb room. I don't care about that. <laughs> Hopefully you got good internet there, whatever it is. Uh, I'll live in the cat's room. There you go.
All right, 3 a.m. Do something. No, he doesn't do anything. All right. No, I don't want a wee broom. I don't care about that. Tanked in it with the future roomy. <laughs> Uh, no, Reg, your internet sucks. I don't want any part of that. <laughs> Thank you, but no. I'd rather not sabotage my job. You said you had seven upload, Reg. No. No, thank you. That would mean that my YouTube uploads would take like five times longer. It would take like 12 hours to upload a YouTube video. I would delete my YouTube channel. And yes, I said it before. I hate video editing. <laughs> it takes too long. The whole fucking... The whole fucking process takes forever. Boink. Take two years to put one up. My YouTube videos are like 30 gigs, I think. Let's see, what was the last one? 40 gigs. 40.1 gigs. For the most recent D&D video. It takes a while to upload. Not my shitty upload speed. It takes five to six hours to encode it. And then like three to four hours to upload it. It sucks. It's why it's like, I understand it's why streamers who make a lot of money just hire video editors because it just takes too long it's a massive waste of time temporary shitty upload is free right now ah well it's hard to argue with free isn't it yeah that's the truth kirby dancer it does take up a lot of space i on this machine we're streaming off of right now it has a external hard drive that's 10 terabytes and I've been putting all my YouTube videos on it and all my streams are on that for like almost a year now. And there's still over six terabytes free, but it takes up a lot of space. It really does. Oy, oy, oy. Stream recordings. This folder has 2.5 terabytes of data in it. <laughs> God damn. Woo. Uh. Edit your modem's provisioning? Teach me how to do that. Let me, I want to do that. That's probably not legal, is it? <laughs> Isn't that just like stealing internet at that point? Uh. I'm still annoyed that they sent me a bad modem. They sent me a modem that won't even route DNS through IP6. And it's supposed to be their most state-of-the-art, top-of-the-line modem right now. They're like, we, you could try this modem for free for like three months and send it back for free if you don't like it. And I'm like, oh, you're fine, whatever. I'm going to go through your steps until we get to the point where you know you have to fix the problem. And it's worse than what I had. <laughs> like, it's not even close. And what I had was just kind of like not even middle of the road router and modem combo. Like it wasn't one device, it was two. Man, Comcast is cutting corners everywhere they can. Because boy, they're really starving for money, aren't they? <laughs> what a terrible company. I only use them because I'm forced to. There's no fiber out here. I'd have to move to get it. Damn it, where is he? Ah, oh, he disappeared again. Alright, let's go check the, uh... What do you call it? The... Reactor.
The modem is great. I disagree. <laughs> it doesn't even let me set a DNS server. AT&T has fiber, but not in the area of the town you're in. Yeah, same. It's like... I think they might even have it in the next town over, but not in this one. There's nothing here. Is there homebrew from firmware? Is there a way to put my own firmware on it? Probably not. But I would rather do that. Can you put your own firmware on a ISP's modem? Is that a thing you're allowed to do? It's locked to the ISP. Super. All right, so there's supposed to be like a crazy disaster on day four with the, the reactor blowing up. Which it might still happen. I don't know. That's what I need to find out. I definitely have IP6 out here. Cause as soon as I got that modem, so much shit broke on the internet. Tons of things broke. All right, he's not here. So where is Professor Anal? I don't know. He vanished. On day four at eight, 9 p.m., the reactor blows up. Let's see him down there. Let's see him over there. I don't think you can ever actually go down there. Is this a music themed JRPG? Not really. Like there's a music f mechanic to it, but you can literally never push any buttons when you're playing those songs and it doesn't affect anything. So not really. I just know as soon as they sent me that modem that wouldn't do IP6, a ton of my stuff that I use just wouldn't work anymore. Like the bots that we use, just... Remember that one day when you guys were giving me bits and like three times out of four, it just wasn't working. Like it wasn't catching them. The bot wasn't catching them. It was because of the modem they sent. <laughs> That's legitimately the reason. Is he here? Is the professor here watching the dances? No, it doesn't look like it, huh? I don't see them. Damn. Raps. Yeah, Eternal Sonata is a music themed RPG. Yeah, that's true. I have that on the 360. Yeah, it was failing to locate Google, yep. Oh, that's the guy that tells you about mass. She's the one that's like, don't talk to me. All right, Jesus lady, God damn. This looks like a safe. I want to steal from it. See, your name is JRPG Party, so I can assume you like JRPGs. If you like bad JRPGs, this is right up your alley. This is probably the worst JRPG I've ever played. And I'm not using hyperbole either. 
Like it just, I'm just objectively speaking on how badly designed it is. The only reason we're playing it is because this community wanted me to. And I was like, fine, if we get 600 subs, I'll play this game blind. That's a challenge run because this game doesn't give you any conveyance of what to do ever. <laughs> like ever. Uh, so we're 73 hours in to this hot mess of a game and we're having a good time because of how bad it is. It's like sitting in a group together and watching a terrible movie and just laughing. That's this game to a T. <laughs> There's a time mechanic. Yeah, it's this bad. So what I did was, and I show this often, I was like, okay, I'm going to start writing down all the bad design elements this game has. And in the first four hours, I filled the page. The whole page got filled. And we're almost at two full pages now. So, yeah, that's pretty terrible. All right, so this guy's still missing. At 9 a.m. They keep saying the same thing. Yeah, they talk about the pen, blah, blah, blah. Am I aware of Lunar Dragon Song? Is it worse than that? From what I know, yeah, I am aware of it. Yeah, because at least in Lunar Dragon Song, you have some idea of what you're supposed to do. It's just really strangely designed. This game, you don't have any idea of what to do, like ever. Have we awakened anyone new lately? Yeah, last stream we woke him up. We woke up bag off, which is, I think, some big progression. I have to, I have to believe that. I can't see it being anything else but that. There's Plosi. Yeah, from what I know, this is worse than Dragon Quarter. It's worse than Lunar Song. Um, It's worse than Beyond the Beyond. <laughs> it's worse than a lot of games. But like I said, as a stream, this has been entertaining. Because everybody gets to see the mess without having to suffer it. <laughs> so I'm okay with it, honestly. I'm totally okay with it. I've come to terms with it. Oh, man. Do you know that we as a community who help make this happy are not apologizing? <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's not going to be the same aura. You've already spoiled most of the surprise, so. You're already out of that whole spectrum. Hoshi? I've never heard of that. Queena. Is that even an English game? You spoiled a lot, Aura. Trust me. You spoiled a lot of this game just by watching me play it. It's Japanese only? Okay, well... I can't consider anything Japanese only. I don't know Japanese. So that just doesn't count for me. What do you mean you warned me? And I warned you multiple times with Cyril that I knew what it was in for. And I haven't been surprised one bit this entire time. I warned you that I knew what I was talking about. This hasn't surprised me at all at how bad it is. Alright, let's see what we got for day four for bags. It just seems like it's RNG where he goes. He might be visiting soldiers, which doesn't matter.
your mind attempts to repress the memory so hard, you'll forget like 99% of it. <laughs> Uh, oh my god. Alright, is he in here? No. I think he's in the reactor. But I can't go in there. I don't even know how to go in there. I think it's on this day that I can go in there. Let's see. He's usually like in this room down here. Yep. So he's still following his path, but he wasn't at the reactor, which is really weird. No, I don't need your help. Aura, sleep well, man. Hopefully you get a some semblance of a good sleep schedule going here. We'll see you tomorrow for movie night. Or not tomorrow, two days. Two days. Movie night's Tuesday. I keep thinking today's Monday. This must have just been a tiring week for me. It feels like it's Monday right now. I think just all the work I put into D&D &D just destroyed me. I just, I am so beat. <clears throat> Probably gonna try and find like a, a nice snack on the next break. <clears throat> See if I have any. There's Lord of the Rings for GBA, which had a game breaking bug that prevented people from beating it without glitch. <laughs> nah, I don't think that qualifies as worse than this. I don't think a single bug makes a game worse than this because they actually tried to make this good from start to finish. And they failed every time. Just nonstop failures, one after another, versus like games that have like a bug that makes it hard or impossible. That doesn't make those worse. Yesterday's Brigands episode was terrific. That's good, I wasn't sure. Chat was really quiet, so I couldn't tell if people were enjoying it or not. It's weird because in D&D nights, if chat is really quiet, it means two things and only two things. One, they're really bored, or two, they're completely enthralled. So I never know what to think. It's like a coin flip. <laughs> I'm like, hmm, which one is it today? I don't know. <laughs> We got ice skate. No, it's two Chaos Kitty. That's what I said for number two. That's exactly what I said. They're completely enthralled. Usually lurk for D&D. &D. I try to do everything I can to get chat active because when you get new people coming and no one talks to them, they're not going to stick around. So I'm always trying to keep chat active in some way for D&D. It's just not easy to do because it's a different type of content, you know. Oh, yeah. That was one of the quotes from last night. I know what it means to pee and poop. <laughs> I remember that. Oh, boy. God damn. <laughs> uh. He's still not here. Where the heck did this guy go? He's just gone on day four. We're still trying to mess with the whole reactor explosion thing, so. All right, so at 8 p.m., General Bags is supposed to go to the reactor. Supposed to. 
Doesn't mean going to, though, right? So we're just chilling here. I know what it means to pee and poop, everyone. If you were worried. If you were worried. I know what it means. You're still learning, Zorda. Hey, you'll get there. Don't worry. We believe in you. <laughs> We believe in you, Zordon. You'll get there, buddy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ah. Reg, that, no. Reg, no. You are not incontinent, all right? I disagree. Maybe you are, but I don't think you'd make a joke out of it if you were. All right, here we go. What's going? Is this guy going to be like, you can't go in yet. I've checked there like every second of every day. The dude just will not let me in. Doink. Is General Bangs going to be in here? Let's find out. Ow. clock he'll be in there maybe maybe and it'll tell me it's locked you have no issues with those things but you do have severe issues getting a drink to go into your mouth you've been hitting the sauce a little hard lately there reg you know having a little simps of whiskey a little simpy simps all right, he's still not in here. The dude has vanished. Professor Anal has vanished. Like for the entire fourth day. He's nowhere to be found. Well, this is awkward. What was that? Oh, I thought I saw like a shadow there. That was weird. You haven't drank anything since your wedding. Oh, you really don't touch that stuff, huh? I can't tell if it's eight or nine right now, so I'm gonna save the game. Uh, right here. All right. Do 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 do. I definitely enjoy my drinks here and there. You stopped when you were like twenty four. Coming <laughs> naturally. Oh God, low blow. Whew. Low blow. Let red get struck. <laughs> He's like, yeah, you're right. He's too. Party level? Oh, I hate when that happens. So you want to know another thing this game does wrong? The enemies scale with you. 
So leveling up actively de-incentivizes you from getting stronger because it makes the game harder. It's a bad call. So normal basic enemies you would encounter in the beginning of the game aren't there anymore. You still fight, you fight stronger enemies everywhere. Wonk. Yo, Monty, what's up? Crab baby, thank you for 100 bits. Thanks very much. I appreciate the support. Do, 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 do. do you have a game you want to vote for on our next list here? Next arenas. If you run for battles to avoid leveling up your party, it becomes... Yeah. Queen is exactly right. If you run from battles to avoid leveling up, your party starts ignoring all your orders. just so busted dropping a slice of download you're sad I figured that out I, I mean I noticed it right away I think well the bot's back <laughs> where has it been Cutscene! Uh, oh! Hold on, I need to write this down. This is important. This was total spitball here. Day four, um, room cutscene. Oh, it's you, kid. What do you want now? I'm sorry, but I'm not in the mood to listen to your crazy pranks today. The wedding's not far off now. Talk to him. Give it up, why don't you? The future is determined by my judgments. Not everyone can understand that. If they knew, they wouldn't have to suffer so. Hey, wait a minute. No, no. I can't use this anymore. I did have a special pen I liked. Your pineapple pen? There you go. I have another one. Cross code? Okay. No, don't be sorry. Thank you, by the way. Why do you have this pen? It can't be a coincidence that someone happened to have a gold pen just like mine. It's because we knew it was going to happen. Yeah. Uh, okay. I will add it because I uh, think the others are away. Uh, you said cross code, right? Cross code, 100. I gots it. It's a pen, Moxie! Fascinated box, how are you? Progress? Yeah, it looks that way, it's on top. This pen is made with the special feathers of the golden bird. It's not possible that anyone other than me would have one. But even before we get to that, how would you know that my pen had broken? I actually didn't know. No, I totally understand it. Yo, look who it is. Question is, what is a phenomena? The question is, who cares? Needed some finny bear while installing Linux on a Chrome box. Fellcrafts. Or Foxcrafts, whichever one you prefer. I always forget. I like Foxcrafts, though. Welcome back. It's good to see you again. Thank you for 10 months in a row. I hope your uh, Linux install goes well. I was supposed to see the scene prior to getting the Golden Feather. Oh, wow. Cool. We're from the future. So this game is a Groundhog Day scenario. You replay the same five days over and over and over again. You retain your levels. Any key items that are... Some key items are important. And your equipment and we're trying to wake up others from the time loop so that they do or you know retain their stuff too it sounds like a cool concept doesn't it but it's just so poorly executed 
Like, if I went up to anyone, you know, like any of you folks, and I was like, hey, there's this game we're gonna play where you, like, you're in a groundhog scenario. It's a JRPG, you're in a groundhog scenario. You re you reset the same five days over and over, almost like Majora's Mask. That's not really a concept we've seen in other RPGs, have we? Conceptually, it sounds really cool, but they just didn't execute it at all. It's just a miserably badly designed game. Sounds good, but nope. <laughs> Conveyance would make this game probably a lot better, yeah. This is Majora's Mask, but really bad, yeah. But a JRPG. Yeah, the way I exp it does sound good. It's like when someone explained it to me, I'm like, that doesn't sound bad. Why do people hate this game so much? <laughs> well, I got two full pages of why. <laughs> I totally understand it. You were right. Well, thanks again, Fokraus. Thank you. For the continued support. I'm much appreciated. You were right. Oh. Is this it? Is this really it? Is this the time manipulating enemy you spoke of? Uh, yeah. This is most interesting. Show me how you're combating this. Okay. The concept was perfected in Lightning Returns? Oh no. What is this thing called? Zenoru. Okay. That's not bad. <laughs> Crap baby. That was the moment Finn <laughs> Uh You're right though. You're right though. Donk. Wow, okay. This thing's easy. It's one of your favorite great bad games. I mean, it's honestly been fun to stream. Because we have a community here that just wants to see the train wreck, right? You know, you don't want to look, but you can't help it. You can't stop. It's a train wreck. It really is. Matthews, how's it going? Touch my hand. Love it. It's growing, yes, we did it, we got progress. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Include <sighs> Anna on the party, sure, why not? I went to work alongside you as soon as possible. Uh Remy, take a walk. All right, cool. Now, can we save the reactor? Progress! Cast Exo. Get out of here! <laughs> the train is visceral. It's a train wreck where the train keeps exploding over and <laughs> over. Uh, everyone loves watching bad games as long as they don't have to play them. I mean, you get the best of it, you know? You get to see someone else have to deal with it without having to do it yourself, and you get to laugh at it. <sighs> All right. What does this guy do? He has a book of magic. He has very high magic stat. All right, so let's change his style to defense. He's level nine. Woohoo. Dragon tooth flame. Okay. So he's a spellcaster. Yeah, Magnum, I know. Yeah. You watched your roommate play this when it came out? Oh, God. Wow. Wow. Okay, can we save the reactor now? I don't know. Probably not. If I had to guess. What are you doing here? You can't eat your... What am I hearing? Oh, my cats are playing. What is that noise? Cats are gonna cat. That's what's happening. Cats are gonna cat. You played this when you were, came out when you were young and dumb. I imagine it was really hard to figure out just what the hell you were supposed to do. 
Okay, it's 9 o'clock. This is when the reactor blows up. It is not blown up. So, I think we've stopped that entire sequence from ever happening. Honestly, I'm probably not going to use this guy. Record information on an enemy and make a chart? The hell does that mean? Does he have like a scan ability? That might be cool. You are Jay Labu. Yeah, that was one of the enemy names in this game. Jay Lamu. That's like... Japanese Jay Leno or something. I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. You tell me. I got nothing. I, I tried to make a joke, so it was probably not a very good one. I'm sorry if anyone was offended. Jay Lamu. What does Jay Lamu even mean? I mean, just the, the enemy names in this game are just tragedy. They really are. All right. What do we do now? I know. Let's go pay a visit to the fortune teller. That's really the only thing that's given me even just the slightest shred of hope as far as conveyance in this game goes. Visit the dang fortune teller. They could get along with Jay Lamb, who was in the cars. Nice. All right. This man is very cunning. I see a man who's carrying a sad burden. His friends, his girlfriend, you, you will bring something huge. Something very large will be taken. Will be taken! Uh, uh, okay. What the fuck does that mean? That was his fortune. I'm just going to pretend and hope he's talking about that stupid bandit. But I don't have a clue. <laughs> what that was supposed to mean? Oh, uh, God. He's very cunning. I mean, it sounds like the bandit, right? The one that gets killed. That's technically in this loop already dead. He has all the red fart lines that come out of his back when he gets stabbed. Mm -hmm. You gonna steal my sausage? Dude, but I've been seasoning that sausage for months. You can't steal that. Wait, I know this was the watch person. No, it's not. I am just gonna do this. A particular set of skills? Oh boy. Skills that you've trained over a very long time. <laughs> oh my god. I need something huge, apparently. Am I closer to the end? I don't know, Dino. I, I honestly don't know. I, I have to assume so, since we just unlocked a new character, but... That doesn't technically mean anything. Jeez, Reg. Why you gotta why you gotta call me out like that? This guy over here. Just throwing me to the wolves. Yeesh. Jeez, Reg. Alright, alright, alright. Day five, all we had was the statue ceremony and the wedding. That's it. I think the rest of this loop is basically just a waste of time. Maybe. If the reactor didn't explode, is there a sword ceremony? This is the first time we've ever been in a loop where the reactor didn't explode. Right? Does that mean there's a sword ceremony? Huh. Also, I bet this guy's gonna be terrible in combat. Book is open, moths fly out and attack all enemies. I mean, I'll try him out, but you can't upgrade his weapon. Mm 
Moth Swarm, let's go. You've never seen it explode. Good. I've seen it explode like 10 times. <laughs> Two damage or 21, woo. Are any battles difficult anymore? Not really, but it seems like every fight I get into, I'm like over leveled boss wise. I don't know. I'm not sure, Monty. This game is so spiky and it's difficulty that I don't really know. He ignored my orders and did a spell. He has a lot of MP. He's ignoring orders again. <laughs> Oh, man. Nice camera. All right, we won. He gained a level. All right, let's see if anybody's in here. It doesn't look like it's exploded, right? If it has, the door will say it exploded. It's locked. The reactor didn't blow up, so there might actually be a new ceremony. Potentially. That's very different. But no one's ever actually told us when that ceremony is or even where. That's a problem. That is problems. All right, we are at day five officially now. There's nothing here except this door that's always here that I know is there and probably is important for something. Oh, my fog sphere wore off. See if he lets me in the basement. Nutbag. You like that, Ryan? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Put in the squall nut in your nut bag. Okay. I put my squall nut in the nut bag. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was I tickled when I first found that item? <laughs> because I am 12, apparently. Oh my god. It's locked. It's locked. The watchman by the west wall is always getting yelled at. Right. Put Squall's nuts in the nut bag? Whatever. Whatever. I'm Squall. I'm too cool for nuts. Okay. Hi, Lickety. There's a cat underfoot. What are you doing, Katie? What are you doing down there? What are you doing? I see you down there. She's prowling underfoot. She's prowling underfoot. Where'd you go, Katie? Yep, she went off to explore other avenues. Ooh. It's a statue of Snapalophagus. <laughs> Put squirrels nuts in the nut bag. Okay, I've been sitting here for like five hours. I really kind of got to use the restroom. So let me play you some tunes, okay? I'm going to play you some tunes. Thank you for all your support tonight, everybody. Remember, your donations and bits go toward voting for games on the next list. Which the number one game on that list will be played after DQ 11, which I honestly think we will beat either Thursday or Friday. It feels like I'm right at the end. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it in my bones. In my bones. Reg, when are we going to get a station ID from you? Okay. Still waiting for that. <laughs> Needs to happen, dude. We need a Regison station ID what we want. The chat demands it, all right? It's a demand. 
All right. Um, let's see. What are we gonna go with? We'll go with uh, one of these. One of these. One of these. T. Let's see, there you go. There you go. All right. Enjoy that song, everybody. We'll be right back after this. Hey, Chaos Kitty here. For a perfect experience on the stream, we need to take some breaks. Get stretches, snacks, drinks, and stay hydrated for maximum joy. So get up and do so. Meanwhile, some nice tunes for you here on twitch.tv slash That's a German kitty purr. Hey, insomniacs, wake up. You've heard these before. Hello, this is Ace Buredo. I am a real doctor. If you're looking for cats or beans. Hey guys, this is Katie Kemp. I will do fucking bill. This is Holy Rusted Metal. We'll be right back with some phenomenon. These are all 100% user-submitted audio recordings. Anyone can and is encouraged to send in their own. But you may say, I have a crappy microphone. Well, so did many of the others who sent in recordings. No matter the quality of your audio, all you need to do is record audio with any microphone. 
Whether it's a webcam, a cell phone, some janky gamer headset, or your top-notch audio studio, we do all the sound effects and music backing. Submit yours to Phenomenon today via Discord DM or email them to phenomenon at gmail.com. Welcome to Insomniac Game Theater, where we don't rag lurkers anytime. Katie, and if you hear me now, that means the break is over. Come and sit down with all the funny bears on twitch.tv slash phenomenon. Come over here. Hurry up. You can't escape them. She's going to say we're on break or welcome back. It's Chaos Kitty. Hi. Hi, we're back. We're playing Ephemeral Fantasia for good or ill, and you're hanging out with us and enjoying the hot mess train wreck that keeps exploding repeatedly over and over. Yay! Let's do that. Let's do that! Was I sitting here with the game running the whole time? <laughs> ah, give me your clothes, Hi, Jeff. your boots, and your motorcycle. Oh, God! Was the game just running the whole <laughs> Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Whoops. I thought I had it paused. <laughs> Did I miss anything? <laughs> oh, damn it. Jam Palmer, are you today, man? Kamino, what's new? I didn't miss anything? Okay. It wasn't like random cutscenes while I was away. That's good. And I'm gonna pretend that I didn't miss anything then. I came back to credits roll. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, yeah. We've been doing those for years here, Priya. Um... They don't have to be creative. We have a lot that are just like welcome backs or be right backs. That's it. A lot of them are just like that. Like pretty just basic. Like we always need more just because just for variety. Like there you go. Here's a really basic one right here. <clears throat> this was like. This one doesn't do anything special. This is I Watch Games Sometimes, and you're watching Insomniac Game Theater at twitch.tv slash phenomenon. That's it. That's it. They don't have to be creative. <clears throat> That's it. That's all. It's just center recording. We do everything else. And Reg's over there trying to make excuses as to why he doesn't have, why he can't do it. He's got a smartphone. I'm never going to accept that. I don't know how many people will try to make that excuse with me. I have a crappy microphone. So what? I've had people use the microphones on their webcams before. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> it makes no difference. I've had people take their like old smartphones into their bathroom and record in there. I told you you have a smartphone. You have one, I know it. You can't hide from me, Reg. We should just ban Reg again. I mean, you're right, Jeff. You're right. How how are things out there, Jeff? I know you've been dealing with, like, fires and shit all the time. And redonkulous heat. Did you finally get your AC fixed? Did you finally get it fixed? I'm going to take a few bites of my food here. I don't know, wire spool? I want to know what that sounds like. Yeah, send it to me. 
Listen, I'm an audio nerd. You say that like you think it's going to turn me away. No, I want to hear what that sounds like. I want you to actually use a wire spool and record it. You said it. You can't get away from it now. You have to make it happen. <laughs> it's cooled down and no, but yes. You bought a portable AC and so you can get the company that won't be booked for like weeks. Uh, so you've, you got the band-aid solution. I got you. I got you, man. I got you. So I think we really just need to save the thief next. I think that's our next bit of progression. You have to find your wire recorder. <laughs> Why did it ban reg work? Oh. It's a minute cooldown. I think that's why. Probably of all the commands, that one should have no cooldown. Just give me a sec here. I need to fix a an oversight. I think the ban reg cooldown should be spammable. All right, go here, cooldown. All right, everybody, ban reg, let's go. Let's see it. Let's see it. You are a textureless frog. Bye, Rankadactylus. Thank you for hanging out. Bet no earn it. <laughs> Look at it go. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah. No, oh, there's a bug flying around now. Get away from my food, bug. It's on top, man. Was that you? Yeah. 233 total gift subs. God damn, man. That's amazing. How do we earn it? Every five subs, I spin the wheel. Like this. Because we just hit 20. Right? Yeah. All right, here we go. You guys ready? Are we going to ban reg today? Let's find out. Bad rag, let's go. What do we get? <laughs> you got him and me, dang. All right. Everyone say bye, rag. <laughs> you got him. <laughs> get bad. Oh man, they're calling for blood. Got him. And I owe one gift sub to the community. Here it comes. Barbara, you know my extra leg shields lowered my evasion too much. Bye. Got him. Bye. Rip. <laughs> uh. <laughs> All right, cool. Cool. You did it. You got him. Look at my little feet go. There you go. We do have a ban emote now, it's true. Exactly. The ban hammer emote. It's adorable. He needs to learn how to evasion tank. Uh, you're right. All right, so where am I supposed to go now? That emote is amazing. It's raining. Hello. Live life and enjoy the festival. My kid has been pestering me. I want a pen, a pineapple pen. Bird Assembly Park.
I'm just like seeing if any of them mention anything about the sword. I don't think they're saying anything about the sword. This festival is hot. LSD, how are you? How's it going? How's it going today? Woke up early due to your cat, so thanks to him, you can enjoy the stream. Yeah! Cat bros out there. Hell yeah. We got some cat bros out there. All right, let's save the game. All right, I was getting some DMs there. So I don't know if there's going to be a sword ceremony. You know, now I think about it. I don't know. It makes sense because the reactor didn't blow up, right? But it doesn't mean there is going to be one. That's the kid that wants the super cool pen. That's the guy that's like always drunk. Oh man, my watch is broken. Fuck. Cat jam, exactly. I like that emo casket he has. That is a kitty that has a has a personality just in his face. Alright, let's put all our stuff away. Put it all in there. That noise is really loud to your ears when I put stuff in the storage. Yeah, that's the game. Sorry. It's the game. Even the audio is unbalanced in this game. Like, just as bad as the plot is. That's the cat of a German streamer. New is the name of the cat. I like that cat. That cat looks cool. I also need to know the story of Cat Jam. Was that really a cat jamming out? Or was somebody just taking a camera with their phone and going like this? around the cat. <laughs> I don't know, but it looks like a cat jamming out. That's what it looks like. Oh my God, this is good. This is what I needed. I just needed food. Scratching the cat on the butt? Yeah, that could be too. That could be it too. What? That's how men are right, bro. The fuck is this all about? Hi, Ash. <laughs> How's it going? How you been? <laughs> uh, the writing in this game is so pedestrian. <laughs> uh, that's how men are, right, bro? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. I guess. Dude. We got gifted a sub. Oh yeah, we've got some gift subs out there today. Oh, I gotta put this number right there. That's the accurate number. That's what gutsy gaming is about. We have two grumpy bulbas now. Nope. Oh God, the bot is misfiring. <laughs> the bot, why are you misfiring? <laughs> oh my God.
Um, I scared you. Do we know any events that happen on day five? We don't. Just the wedding. I have got gaps here. We're dead. What? 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 <laughs> Excuse me? What is... Why did this just pop up? Okay. Okay. All right, let me find a page where I can fit notes. This is a day five thing, maybe. Day five, what is it, 3 p.m.? Below princess room. What is this? Go away, bug. We're directly below the princess's room. All right, sure. Does that mean play a song? All right, you guys ready for Guitar Zero? All right, here comes the painful th knuckles. <clears throat> this just kills my knuckles. All right, here we go, Guitar Zero. You're never ready? No, we aren't, are we? I should have saved. I didn't save, did I? That's okay. And it's always out of tune. Like when I have to push the notes is not when you hear it. Oh, it's so confusing. And I'm not playing emulator or on like a digital display. This is analog. So analog, it's out of tune. <laughs> I'm playing on a real CRT TV. I don't know. I don't know. I've never seen him just say we're right below the princess before like that. It was really awkward. Country! Maybe. You really are reckless. Yes, no. What? This translation is so miserable. GG. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Yes. And you're not terribly smart either. Yes. The very first time I heard your song, I had a premonition of the kind I've never had before. I guess it was just my imagination. Oh. Why don't you try telling her the truth? Tell her that from the first time you saw her, your heart was hers and that you'd never hand her over to that demon. Oh my god. <laughs> That's just pure dots, isn't it? <laughs> she walks away. Like, fuck this kid. Oh no, I didn't mean to cause trouble here. There's nothing we can do. Let's go, tree waifu. Alright, when did I last save? I'm just gonna reset. I want to do that again. Differently. Differently. Reg has cheating powers where he can remod himself. That's deserving of punishment. Reg. Reg. 
I just want more dots. I do like the dots. You're right. The dots are pretty cool. We do enjoy our dots. <laughs> I think I saved like just outside the palace. Because I was going to look for a sword ceremony. Right? But I don't know if that's actually a thing that happens. I don't, honestly, I don't think it does. All right, day five right here. What did we do? We went and changed our party, right? So let's repeat these steps so we can try to get that to happen again. Mm -mm -mm. Scoundrel with a talking sword. Oh, that's cool. I like intelligence items. They're neat. All right, so Rummy and Claire. I don't know what that animal guy is supposed to... Oh, wait. Oh, and then we put our stuff away, right? Yeah, okay. So we're gonna do this again, but we're gonna save right outside the pal right outside the palace. Thankfully we don't have to put our nut bag away in safe storage. We carry our nut bag with us at all times. Where we go, our nut bag goes. Okay, save game. Time for more Guitar Zero. Firmly between our legs at all times, which is where our storage sack is. Right, he's just getting graphic. Wow, God, dude, have some manners. Wow, oh, this guy. Oh, he's gotta push the line. Jeez. Okay, directly below the princess's room. The only reason I knew to do this is because an NPC told me to. He's like, this was an actual conveyance that came from a random unrelated NPC that says, you could play music under her room and she'll come say hi. I'm like, oh, okay. All right, let's try this one instead. It was a decent program version of Guitar Hero. <clears throat> Dots. That's all I got to say to you. Dots. This sounds like the same song that I just played. Just like kind of different. I don't know. Oh no, wait. This is the one that's really long, isn't it? Uh oh. <laughs> it's just so off key. <laughs> Yeah, this is the long one. The one that hurts my fingers a lot. Ow. I'm a fifth grader in like a, ba a school band right now. <laughs> Parks Lady? Yeah, it's Parks Lady. Guitar below zero. I like it. 
We're not special. She just answers all the music, guys. Parks Lady, thank you for the raid. Welcome, everybody. Coming in from Parks Lady's channel. I'm Phenomenon. I play retro games, RPGs, D&D every Saturday. Big channel quality, small community vibes. Is this Guitar Hero? No, it's Guitar Less Than Zero. It's Ephemeral Fantasia. It is one of the worst JRPGs ever made. It didn't work. Okay, so it has to be the other song. You want a little taste of what we do around here? Check out this. Last time I did this, it made me drop frames. Science time! Oh, do I have food? Hi, Rockin. Thanks for the raid, everyone. Eating too fast. <laughs> we did it. All right. Welcome, everybody. Parks Lady, what were you doing today? Crystal Chronicles? What do you think of it? What'd you think of it? All right, we got to get Diaper Princess to come to the ledge. Got to speed run the noodles. Oh, God. Yeah, that was awkward timing. The last time I played that, I just went to zero upload for like five seconds. All right, so she's going to ask me if this works. She's going to ask me if I'm reckless. I'm going to say no. points on this actually matters it just sounds terrible if you don't do it so far crystal chronicles it could be pretty fun yeah you beat chrono trigger too oh that is one of the best rpgs the orange and the white guys stand there listening <laughs> all right so it is this song that you have to play <clears throat> you really are reckless yes no no You're fully aware of his terrifying power. She said something different. So why? Why would you still try to defy him? Uh, why don't you try telling her the truth? You're a hopeless booze hound and you got nothing better to do. Tell her from the first time you saw her, your heart was hers. You never hand her over to that demon. Yep, that ruined the conversation. She says, oh, I'm out of here. Fuck that guy. Because of boobs. I didn't mean to cause trouble. Mission failed. <laughs> you caused so much trouble. <laughs> you just donk. Stupid guitar. Why are you talking anyway? Who told you guitars could talk? All right. Save game. Because of boobs. Yeah. Also because of boobs. I don't know. I just stumbled on this too. So I wrote it down. Day 5, 3 p.m. below Princess's room. Go heavy metal on it. 
I want to go in here. You can't get you. Why not? You know what's fun to do to NPCs in this game? Watch. Boop. <laughs> Boop. This game is so broken. It's so broken. Okay, now let's play a serenade, serenade for Dollar Store Sephiroth. Dang, won't let us. Yeah, her her go-to outfit is sandals, leg warmers, a cloth diaper with a cape on it, and like a cut-off crop top. She has the weirdest outfit. <laughs> uh, you're right, Sammy. I'm sorry. You're exactly right. It's a sitar. That makes sense. Baka. Baka. What's up, Bajiji? What's up, Bajiji? How was, um, what was today? Yakuza? How was Yakuza today, man? <clears throat> Where did we get raids from today? Did I, we shouted them out, right? Yeah, Ace. Uh, Ace and Parks Lady. Make sure you guys check out those two channels. <clears throat> I like to, Ace streams every Sunday, Sunday morning. Well, afternoon, Sunday afternoon. That's where I was before my stream. He was playing Persona 4 Gold. Parks Lady's doing uh, Crystal Chronicles now. I almost never get to hang in Parks Lady streams anymore, though. She's usually live when I am. <clears throat> Steaks is a weekend relaxation dinner. That sounds awesome. That sounds awesome. <clears throat> Oh, I just saved. What am I doing? I haven't had steak in a year. Maybe longer. I might have had steak at RPG Limit Break, but I don't think so. I don't think so. I was trying to be relatively frugal that week. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure I didn't have steak now that I think about it. Had a surprise take last weekend for helping a guy replace his work computer. Oh, that's cool, man. All right, so I'm not really sure what to do at this point. Just go to the wedding, I guess. Right? Just go to the wedding at this point. And then we'll go to loop the next loop and try to rescue the thief. I think that's what we're supposed to do next. I think. The fortune teller's clues have always been really vague, but this last one has taken the cake on vagueness. She's like, it's a clever guy and he has a burden and he needs something really big. I was like, that's basically the whole fortune. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> Let's just give him an extra large diaper then, I guess. Did I try getting him a horse wiener? No. Sorry, we're fresh out of those. You have to ask Weewa. She's the only one that can horse wiener here. That's her tier three sound, by the way. <laughs> She's the only one that can do it. <clears throat> All right, so there'll be a statue ceremony here, and then we'll go to the wedding and get to loop 16. Oh, jeez, BGG. We was Discord roll even says horse wiener. <laughs> you can at horse wiener in Discord and it will ping her. <laughs> uh. She's the only one that can horse wing. It's true. Yeah. Totally not misinterpretable at all. <laughs> you 
you who? All right, so we have approximately 90 real seconds of standing here, staring at this just beautiful texture work that you see on this game that everyone mistakes for a PS1 game because it looks so bad. Yeah, it's a PS2 game, if you are wondering. It's not a PS1 game. And it came out months apart from Final Fantasy X, so what the hell was their excuse? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, those games are comically night and day as far as quality goes. Come on. Come on. We're almost there. It would destroy a PS1 trying to run it. Yeah, because the PS1 would commit suicide for the shame. The shame of it would just destroy the PS1. Let's go ice skating. You practice your ice skating. <laughs> I am way too easily amused. All right, it's just it's just part of who I am. All right. Couple seconds. Silly, silly statue ceremony. Let me go to the dealio. I should practice his moves the dancers are doing? Sure. So the upskirts, the whatever the fuck we're looking at, it's just like, why? She's like 12. Can we not? Can we not actually see that? I never realized they lit it on fire. That or it's just memory blocked it out from the trauma. That's probably that one. It's got to be that one. Oh, this dude's got fireworks! Carbon dance. I like that name. I saw you, Rena. Yes, I did. I did. Yeah. Uh. Burp. I burped. All right. I'm gonna try something weird. Actually, no. I already did that. Never mind. Let's just go. <clears throat> Let's just go. The shame and regret last forever. Oh. Great. That's wonderful. Thank you. For that. Can I play her music again? No? Okay. That was weird. I was just running by and it's like, you're below the princess's room. Okay. Cool. I'm glad we talked to that random Joe Schmo NPC before that told us about that to play music. <clears throat> I am going, yes. All right, let's get our ass beat by Snumpelophagus. <clears throat> uh. Bazard! Yeah, she's the winner of the FS MMA championship. It's so weird how he raises her arm like that. Very awkward. Like she just won a boxing match. Is he the referee? I just, what? Hi, Chobin. Who's going to bond with Chobin today? Who's going to bond with Chobin today? And in this corner, diaper princess. Bond with Chobin. Faux bonds with Chobin. Nice. <laughs> nice. Uh, I think it's this one, right? Love Grow. What is this? When did we get that song? This just appeared out of nowhere. <laughs> 
All right, let's do it. Let's butcher whatever this song is. <clears throat> Love grow. Oh God, this one's hard. <laughs> oh my god, this is like so off key. I'm confused. <clears throat> Alright, when your love grows, you sound like shit, alright? Tree waifu. Just keep it in your pants there, guy. Why why does this make no sense, this song? <laughs> A cacophony. <laughs> what the hell? Was that it? Okay, our love grew, everyone. <sighs> I know if it's growing. Hi, Thor. How's the PC, man? Good. I got an A. All right. Nice. That's the thank you, Kirby. For those of us that didn't know, Kirby's got your back. Our pants is where the love grows, everyone. All right. <laughs> oh, the sarcastic claps. What is a song? <sighs> Great. Tremendous performance. The melody seemed to be from another world. <laughs> yes, give a round of applause to your genius musician, Tree Waifu. You feel safer in the trash can. <laughs> All right, let's get our asses kicked again. Yep, okay, I'm coming. You're not gonna challenge no blue again, are you? Yeah. Of course. It's it's hilarious. You have any chance of winning? No. Nope. No, we don't. But it's funny. It's a highlight of the night. Yo, thanks, Master V. Thanks for twenty two minutes. Ding. Haha, <laughs> tree wife, you still gonna attack. Why can't you understand? The outcome isn't ever gonna change. Stop it, give it up right now. There's too much of a gap between your abilities. What is going on? And then Rummy and Claire come running up to the like lambs to the slaughter. Okay, let's die. Let's scold him. Oh wait, that's that's a debuff or something. Yeah, zero. Oh, we got this. <laughs> Blonk. <laughs> it just fucking cuts him down so bad. Oh my god. Boink. 3,000. Wap. And I are destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Time is run out, everyone. Are we ready for the next loop? <clears throat> boop, boop, boop. Oh no, I'm turning to ice. Again. Time will freeze and start to move again. Okay. Aha! <laughs> day, day one, loop 16. Here we go. Something went wrong. <laughs> Good. Good. Number MO6. By the tree wife you. I have insights into today's past, both memories and experiences. I don't understand it logically, but I guess it's a result of your odd powers. 
Ever since you reawakened, you become much more flexible, Professor Anal. A talking instrument? Are you from the Rommel clan? It's the first time I've seen one. <clears throat> I'm Patimu. I'm Dree Waifu's partner and sidekick. Be sure you guys look after him from now on. It's a new member of the party, okay? Professor Anal. Quit with the professor, okay? Just anal is fine. <laughs> well, then, for equality, let's get rid of all titles. It, sure, well, we'll start right away. No need to buy this now. We'll never break it again, tree waifu. So let's get going. Off in search of the truth. Ah, uh, uh, sure. Where should we start? Uh, the, and the game facts strategy guide that we're not allowed to use. Just anal is fine, PGG, okay? Just anal, all right? <laughs> Poor Rockhead, she's like, why did I come here? <laughs> uh. <laughs> all right, loop 16. Our goal, we're gonna try and save the bandit, I guess? Maybe? I, I, don't, I don't, I don't know. I, he got me. Ah! So awkward. It's just right in your face. What do you mean, finally? Anal jokes is like our bread and butter. Except instead of bread, it's a nice shapely ass. You can still use the butter though. Do, 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 do. Hi, right, Claire. Hi, dear girlfriend. Okay, bye. All right. Yes, I don't think this guy is going to help me. But I feel like I have to take him somewhere. I feel like I have to take him somewhere. Oh, I hate that I might have to use these guys. <laughs> like, it legitimately bothers me. That's it. Yeah. Thank you, Thor. Thanks. <laughs> uh. Let's see, do we want to take him and Bags? I don't know. I don't like never taking Claire because Claire carries the team. Let's just do it and see if it changes anything. All right, let's get her stuff. No, 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 I want that. I want that, and that, and that, and that, and that, and that, and, that. and loud noises! All right. Do, 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 do. Your bone is spinning. Uh-oh. It's a magic bone that begins to vibrate and spin like a batshit crazy compass. Good. Heimlich is trailblazing awkward sexual fortune-telling experiences. You'll have to let us know how that goes. I'm going to talk to the fortune teller again. Because I don't remember what they said. I don't remember what they said. Whee! Where am I? Eh, close enough. Whatever. Hello, what do you do? You tell me to talk to your husband. Okay, great. You're very useful. Thank you. Wait, that's the pen shop. Let's see if he says anything different with Professor Anal. And our team. Oh my god, you were rummy. Oh no. Your blood of me well working. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. At least some of the music in this game is decent, like this song. This is a decent song. Some of the songs in like the ruins areas are cool. The bandit music makes no sense. This growing love song I got makes no sense. Parks Lady is Rumney, Rummy and Magnumer is Claire. <laughs> you sneezed and it caused you to punch yourself in the face. <laughs> How the fuck did 
did you do that? Uh, ah, you have played Ephemeral Fix. <laughs> Oh my god. Alright, this man is cutting. He's carrying a sad burden. His friends, his girlfriend, you will bring something huge. Something large will be taken. Taken! Woo! What does that mean? That doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean anything. That means zero things. You're gonna take his girlfriend and his butthole or something. I don't know. All right, speaking of bandits, here we go. First thing, first day, first thing. Cutscene. Bow. Okay, they attack and they're incredibly, terribly weak. Hand over your money. Nah. Nah, I'm good. Ow. Ow. It hurts so much. Moth Swarm. There we go. I learned how uh, not to game over in a cutscene. Oh, you mean the... What was it? The reactor? Yeah, that didn't take too long to figure out. We got it that day. I just don't remember how I did it, but... I got through it. Show them your moths. Yeah, 11 damage. <laughs> Dude, anal is getting just torn up over there. Yeah, it was pretty funny when we came over there. I was not expecting that. Oh, it is a scan ability, okay. That's kind of cool. I was wondering what that did. Anal has ignored orders. Did it have width and height? <laughs> I didn't see that. Oh my god. They took time to do that. <laughs> They took the time to do that. Uh, now you're going to destroy me. Okay, we're just going to skip this. It's always the same. Every time. Oh, wait, we got to use our fog spear. There we go. This is my favorite item in the entire game is fog spear. I never not use them. All right. Uh. What? What? What the fuck? <laughs> Rick, why did you put that in there? <laughs> you like, yeah, you like the Joveralls there? Yeah. Yeah. Fucking overalls with jorts. <laughs> uh, no, Rag, I hate it. I hate everything about it. There's a kitty up there. Have you ever seen both of us in the room at the same time? Well, I know one person that has. <laughs> Yo, Reg. Paying it forward. Thank you so much. For the gift sub to the community. A gift sub when someone got the secret name. Yep, you did make that promise. <laughs> Thank you for owning up to it. That's really cool. Oh, man. Do, do, do. I hate... All right, here's another... Just nonsense design decision. All right, you ready? Wait, what the fuck? All right, sorry. If he's on his bed, you can't talk to him. 
Oh, well, he's not on bed anymore. Okay. Do you want Santa for me? I don't know what I want from either of you. Except that a fortune teller said that you might... What, what name is that? Oh, you don't know, do you? You don't know, do you? We'll have to show you. We'll have to show you. Squall nut. We're gonna put these in our nut bag. Power nut. My nuts of power. They're the most powerful nuts everywhere. Terramin. Sure. God, this camera. Camera of pure misery. Put in the wisdom nut. Put in the power nut. Three wisdom. Put in the squall nut. Squall nuts four. Sure. Use all of the nuts. All right. I've used all of... I've just nutted everything that I had. I used all of my nut. All right. Well, combat. Well, these are new. Harpies and Don. That's probably pretty bad with a bunch of uh, weak party members. <laughs> oh no, he's confused. <laughs> he got one shot. Oh dear. Well, this is fun. What? What is that bot doing right now? <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's confused. We might just need to run away. <laughs> yeah, get him. Uh, let's go. He's ignoring orders to run and he died for it. <laughs> All I wanted to do was show you SpongeBob. This might actually be a death. That's pretty funny. He's boosting the morale of the enemies. Something went wrong. Good. Good. Number 019. Ow, 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 ow. Scampers off with this team of rejects. Doodle doodle doo. <laughs> that went pretty well. Is this still here? God, how do you fucking open these? I actually wonder if I'll ever figure that out. Alright, you know what? I'm leaving. No more demonstrations. You'll get to see SpongeBob another time. Okay, I need something big for this bandit. What does that mean? We don't know. He's having girl trouble though, apparently. I, I Maybe I should just try to shadow him like I've always been doing. Oh, man, it's hot. I'm gonna turn on my fan just give me a sec. He needs to talk to Professor Anal, clearly. His uh his technique is lacking. Alright, let's go get some more fog spheres. <laughs> Sandstorm ball. Great. A free fog sphere. 
All right, here we go. Let's buy like, what's 8,000 for 10? Uh, sure. Honestly, it's worth it. It is worth it because I use them all the time. All right, so this has probably been the worst. You found money. You found it in a bottle. Oh, okay. This is probably the worst clue we've gotten from the fortune teller so far. If it even is a clue to what I should be doing next. I'm not really sure. Dutes. Dutes. Is that like farting or something? That's where my mind immediately goes. Like, is that farting? Is that what dutes are? Like, you're, you're flatulating into chat right now? And just spreading it? You just, just... I, I see. I get it, Mew. Mew. Yeah. Cats are very uh, emotive in this game. They say Mew. Good day, sir! Dumb yourself down thinking the level of this game gets stupid. Okay, so... First things first, you need to put a diaper on. Clearly. If you want to get to the level of this game. Which already means that I failed the game. We're not doing that part, so... Rip. She's not gonna be doing that. Sorry, no diapers for me. <laughs> uh, my OCD is kicking in because the, the pages of my notes are curled. When they evolve, they get Mew too. I... <sighs> Sammy's already got one on. All right, next. All right, what's the next step for getting stupid? I haven't been in here in a while, but I think this just had another one of those walls that was a dead end. Thunderbolt? I think those are new. That noise it makes when he lets moths out. I know that's what I think of. When I think of moths, I hear... Boy, this team is pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Let's make sure they both have the right... Defense, offense. Yeah, okay. They're pretty bad. I like the music in here. This music's not bad. Why are they be afraid of monsters? I, 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 don't, I don't know. I don't know, man. Because they literally just want to murder you for no reason. Probably. An ocarina. Oh, this is where we first heard the ocarina. You guys want to hear the ocarina? It's so beautiful. If you haven't heard it yet, oh my god. Your ears will bleed happiness when you hear the ocarina. I think I'm lost. Nothing was found. That's that's the pretty much a that phrase is pretty much a microcosm of this entire game. Don't do it? Oh, you gotta hear it. You gotta hear it. Alright, if you ever wanted to know what an ocarina sounds like, here you go, I got you. I got you. Here it comes. That is the hype train alert. <laughs> oh, I just want to use it like every turn. <laughs> Thor's like bleaching his ears right now. 
can't make a dent in it. Right. We know that much. We don't know how to open those walls. Pew, pew, pew. We gotta use the ocarina, clearly. Yeah, this is it. Check it out. Look where we are on the map, by the way. Like, way up there. And it's just another one of these walls. We have never figured out how to open these walls. It's kind of cool music. Let me in. Can I use a bomb? Damn. That was worth a try. Let's throw an egg at it. No? Alright. You know it would be shitty if it was like a magic spell that you had to use. That would be utter shit. The blade will fly towards your opponent. Okay. He's getting spells. One's own enlarged vision turns into a physical attack. <clears throat> you just learned last week that several does not mean seven. Is English your second language? That seems like a common mis that'd be like a common mistake if it was. <laughs> Anno is getting rucked. <laughs> it can mean seven. Yes, correct. Oh, he ignored orders and did a magic spell and it kicked ass. Well, fine. And now he's dead. <laughs> sure, whatever. <sighs> did he resurrect him after the enemy died? This game is so weird. Well, that gave him experience. <laughs> what the fuck? That was bizarre. Alright, let's get out of here. This didn't do anything, did it? I have to figure out how to get out of here. That's always the fun part. Alright, we're on the right floor at least. I think it's just south. He keeps ignoring orders. Which is fine with me. I don't really care. Uh, I'm lost. I think this is the right way. I think this is the right way. Well, I'm glad we made progress tonight because I don't know what to do next. <laughs> I don't have a clue. You gonna sing the map song? That's what I gotta do next? All right, I'll sing the map song. There's a place you gotta go. Uh, I think this is the exit. I hope. Where's my evac spell? Okay, we're out. All right, where can I go? Let's just hang out with the bandits. Like, sit in their house all day, every day. 
That's literally the only clue I have right now. Is just camp their house. That's it. That's all I got. I know it's very exciting. Hello. You you tree waifu, blah blah blah. You suck, basically, is what he's saying. He's telling me that I'm a sucker. Now I'm just a total sucker. For diaper love, apparently. And this is unfortunately our lot in life in this game. It's a pretty good looking piece. <laughs> Oh, I love it. Oh, my God. I love it. It's a pretty good PS1 game. <laughs> uh, I mean, you're not wrong, I guess. It would be pretty looking for a PS1 game, right? <laughs> Hello. Do I want something from you? All right. Let's just spitball here. Um, here you go. Um, actually, I don't know what to do. Love grow. Let's make her love grow. Maybe her love can grow too. You don't know. All right, here you go. The worst song in the game so far. Ow! <laughs> It feels like they just put the notes in a random number generator. They're like, yeah, just put it in the song. It's fine. It'll be great. <laughs> this doesn't even sound like a song. It just sounds like somebody tuning a guitar. this <laughs> oh bad great it says we did great just RNG it is her love bigger than yours Gunsy? Damn. I didn't do anything. We did not grow her love. What's your problem? I composed the song, all right? Bruh. Here it is. Look, I got an eight. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. Honestly, the point system, I don't think actually does anything. Someone told me this game has cheat codes, but all the cheat codes do is make this guitar mini game harder. I don't get it. Why? Why? For all the reasons in the universe, why would that be a thing? <laughs> oh my God. I'm not making that up. Somebody told me that. I, I don't think they were making it up. So I don't remember who said it. It was in chat, but. I would recommend you go check that out. <sighs> great. I'm great, everybody. I'm doing great. Why does this song get worse the more it gets composed? Religious ceremonies throughout the world seem to consist of semi-naked men in snake masks dry humping the air in unison. Yeah. That's that's accurate. That's that is a thing that happens in this game far too often. Okay, I played your music. You didn't care. Great. Alright, we're gonna stand here for 75 seconds. 
and see if it does anything. Hi, can I solve your problems? It's a mask on his wall. That's kind of cool, I guess. <laughs> Half naked men, but they look like they're desiccated. That's the thing. They don't even look like dudes. They look like they're desiccated, like they're corpses. So it's more like they're half-naked corpses dry humping the air, which isn't really any better. They look like re-deads. Yeah, yeah, from uh, Ocarina of Time. Yeah, they kind of do look like those zombies a little bit. But they look more desiccated. All the cheat codes are for the song. <laughs> Look, now they're just gone. They disappeared. Where did they go? And now the door's locked. <laughs> what? Where the fuck did they go? Oh my god. What is this game? I hate that they just teleport. Where did you teleport to? At least be like, yo, we're gonna go, you know, rob some folks. You know, just give us a little hint. Nah. Not today, fam. They just, they just disappear. I feel like I have to find where they go. In order to to uh, progress from here, because there's been a lot of times where I just don't know where they are. Uh, and this is one of them, so I'm gonna make a like a section for the thieves here. Okay. Oh, that was from D and D last night. I'm like, what the hell is Windwalker? Oh yeah, <laughs> thieves. Day one, six p.m question marks we don't know all right you must rest well thanks for hanging out door yeah that's true kirby yeah all right banditos tostitos doritos Beware of bandits. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not bewaring of them. I'm trying to find them. Where the flipping hell did they go? What is that down? Oh, that's where the shrine is. Okay. Are they up here? Probably not, but I'm checking. Tragedy! Nothing. Dang. Dang. They're not here. Okay. You are Zenoru. Congratulations. You're whatever that thing is. Yo. Old lady. Where's the bandits? She is the sexiest. Her name is Almeria. No. I don't need you to restore my health. I... I'm not missing any. Do, 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 do. You know, I have a very rational idea here is that we're walking where the bandits could potentially walk, right? But this game isn't rational. So I feel like it's a losing proposition, but I still need to try it. I need to find some semblance of sanity in this game before I lose my own. So, this is what we're doing. Oh, now it's nighttime. God damn it. Bye, Rock Hen. Thanks for hanging out. All right. So, the time changed. I'm going to go back and see if they're in their house.
I had sanity? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then Blue Sammy stole it from me. He took it. He won't give it back either. He said he wouldn't he wouldn't give it back. I don't know why he took it though. Just I guess he needs it for something. A forest of illusion. God, where the hell did they go? Let's try here. Are they robbing the woodcutter village? I don't know. If we don't find them, like by the time they reload, I think I'm just gonna, uh, what do you call it? Or by the time they return, I think I'm just gonna reload. Oh, I did the wrong ability. Oh, that's all right. Beetle has been defeated. I need to buy more live berries. I caused your click to me. Dude's getting trigger happy over here. <laughs> uh. <laughs> what the hell did you do, Reg? Uh. It's like three in a row. Deleted message. Dude, just do purge. You could just do purge, it's fine. You don't need to go crazy. No, earn it! Okay. Alright, Jesus, God. In it! You get in it! Okay. Alright, sorry, sorry. We need to find the banditos. Woo! Stop putting me in the same spot. I just love how this game like crackles. It's not my audio crackling, by the way, if you were curious. The game natively crackles from certain sound effects. <laughs> Whew. Do. Steak done. Commencing enjoyment. Yay, donut. Donut steak. Right? That's what you got? You got a donut steak? There's like a tent over there. I never saw that before. Where? Oh, it's an umbrella. Never mind. You donut think so. Thanks, I hate it. There's nothing here. Uh, sure. He says there's nothing there. Uh, what about this guy? I have two people who are high-ranking officials in this palace. And he's like, you can't go in here. Why not? What are you hiding in there? 
The general and the professor anal want to know. They need to know. All right, let's go see if that bandit is in jail. If he is, then I don't think he has any relevance. If he isn't, then it means something they do during the five days causes him to go in jail. Oh, this team is really bad. They keep dry humping me. I don't know why they keep dry humping me, but I don't like that. I don't know about you, but I'm not partial to being dry humped. You wish they dry humped you? Okay, well, if you, you know, try hard enough, maybe you can make it happen. Is my Fong Spear still working? It should be. Locked? Still locked? Yep. Okay. Oh, right. I can't go in here at night. Let me in. I'm the general. You're prohibited. You. You're a visitor. So what? So what? All right. Oh, let's see what they say. There's two of them in there. Eerie sounds behind that door. This place is eerie at night. Okay. Have you ever gone behind that door? Does he give out car insurance? I'm sure he does. Yeah. Blah! They're gossiping. And then he said, oh my God, is that so? Wow. What the hell? Why are they making them gossip? Give them actual, vo like, lines? What? Drowsy, drowsy. <laughs> ah. <laughs> uh, Because <laughs> the developers of this game have never actually talked to <laughs> Yeah, you know, you're probably right. <laughs> drowsy, drowsy. Where are these damn bandits? Power jump. Let's go to their house again, see if they're back. If they're back, I need to reload. That or they could just be sleeping, but you know, they're still not back. Where the hell are they? Uh, well, I don't know. I don't know. Their leader, Cool Ranch. I mean, have you ever noticed the color scheme with him and his girlfriend do look like a bag of Cool Ranch Doritos? Like, it's just the most awkward color combination. <laughs> I'll do number two, Reg. I'll do number two. I'll take bachelor number two, Reg. <laughs> wow, I'm really out of ideas right now. Hmm. No, that's not where I want to go. I just have a feeling like the bandits are doing something in this area.
No, not working, is it? God damn, where the frick are they? Are they here? No, okay. Let's jump to every fucking zone. Every single one. Just a cursory jump. See if it does anything. You never know. Maybe it does, right? I got Barry, so I'm not going to die. Whee! This is like the brute force method, because it's all I got right now. <laughs> That's like legitimately all I have right now. Just trying to brute force it. See if I can't find them. It's the hunter village. I didn't train north of the bandit camp yet. I don't see why they'd be up there. That's the method you have to employ for all the plot triggers. I haven't had to do it for all of them, but I have had to do it for most of them. Okay, I don't think they're here. All right, so we tried that quite cool. Let's go up here. Woo! What is this section? Can I go over here? Yeah. Just this giant. It's, honestly, that just looks like some cat took a shit on the map. Like, I don't even know what geographic feature that's supposed to represent. It literally looks like a cat took a shit on the map. That's what we're standing right next to is cat shit on the map. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. Good. Charging strike, super sea louse. Oh, well, doesn't that sound cute? <laughs> That's the sound moths make. Not power jump, jump slash. There we go. Oh, okay. He killed it. Just the dead end? I think so. It's Cat Poop Mountain. That's what it is. This is the dead end. Yeah, alright. Alright. Work our way down. How's the progress been? Oh, we woke up another NPC. So progress has been good tonight. We're definitely stonewalled right now, though. Right now, we're really uncertain what to be, what we should be doing. Whee! Just gonna hit every place I can warp to. I don't think it's gonna work, but I'm trying it. It's the only really... The only actual idea I have right now as to what I should be doing. I don't think it's town, but try it. Who's that guy? Oh, that's the guy. It's like, where's the statue? It's the statue of Dollar Store Sephiroth. Do, 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 do. There's a magician again. What is this guy's deal? What is it? Is this something you want from me? I honestly don't know. <laughs> what, 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 are, what are you doing? I 
I don't know if there's something I want from him. I don't have a clue. Alright, we're not getting any cutscene triggers. Not surprising. Oops. Alright, let's go here. I'm literally hitting every single zone to see if a cutscene pops up. Every single one. I forgot this part had different music. It's actually pretty cool. Guardian charm? That's kind of useless. Let me go here. I want a boat. Give me a boat. Ninety one in your apartment at one thirty AM. Whoa. Brutal. Whew. That's ruthlessly hot. That's some nasty heat right there. Oh uh, no, I don't see where to go in there. Whee! Cutscenes? Any cutscenes? Cutscenes. No cutscenes. It's really our only hunch right now is check every zone because we've triggered um what do you call it cutscene with the bandits before just by warping into a zone that they're at so the hope is that i can cause that again you know in a different section that is the oh shit i went in the same spot that is the hope Thirty-five? Oh, easy. You just put more clothes on. You can't take your skin off, though. This is how you felt when you played Mist in 1995. <laughs> I feel that one. <laughs> I did play it a bit, Monty, when it came out. Yeah, I don't remember much about it, except I was pretty young and confused by it. Because I had never played anything like it before. Clark, hello. You remember grinding away on this game years ago? Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, I would say this game is. Like, Mist is a good game. This one isn't. This is not a good game. Like, I think Mist was very cleverly made, right? Sure, it was a bit obscure, a lot obscure even, but it was designed with intent to be figured out. And this one seems like it was designed with intent to never be figured out. All right, we've warped to every zone we can warp to at this point, and it didn't help. So I don't think that's what we're supposed to do. We just don't know where those bandits are right now, though, do we? Yeah, I, I don't think Monty is saying that this game is like Mist. He's just saying that the, the confusing nature of it right now reminds him of it. Like, I don't think he's correlating the two games. He's just saying he's reminded of it. Okay, we will check the bandit house again. When did you uh, play this game, Clark? When was it you played this? This is my first time playing it, and I have to do it. I have to do it fully blind, so I can't look up anything. I can't have hints. I can't, you know, have people help me through it. It's just that's why we're seventy-six hours right now. Yo, what's up, Sky? 
How are you, dude? If only you would message deleted, this would be a lot quicker. You're right, though. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, how'd you know? All right, so I went everywhere I could go. No, I didn't. All right, hold on. Hold on. Let's go this way. How far into the game's plot do I think I am? I have no idea. That's how obscure this has been. I don't know. I don't have a clue. I know there's a bunch of dungeons I can't even go in, so it feels like I've gotten nowhere, but those all could be lumped into like one quest. It wouldn't surprise me if this game did that. These flowers are farting at me. And anal is ignoring orders. 2002, Clark? Oh, that's right, right about where, when it came out. Yeah. Because it came out, like, mid-2001, I want to say? I think? Or was it 2002 that it came out? I don't remember. Da, 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 da. All right, let's heal up. All right, we're good. Oh, that was weird. Well, I don't think the bandits are here. More to prove a point? I, I do. I don't know, man. I honestly, like, I normally would be able to indulge that question, but I'm. The point is that I can't give you a guess on that because this game was not giving me anything. <laughs> I don't know. It could be 25 to 75% done, maybe. Maybe. Your dad's going to get you a monitor mouse and a keyboard, and the internet's ready for you to go when you arrive. Oh, wow. That's really cool, man. Were you able to contact um, Brawler64 about your controller drift that you were having? All right, so now I've gone everywhere I think I could go in search of Dorito Banditos. Except for interiors. I haven't gone there. Nor have I gone to the mine. They yeah, responded. Okay. Makes me feel like I'm at the beginning. I don't know. Like, the point I'm making is that I just don't have any way of knowing. Because the so little about this game is divulged while you're playing it. Alright, let's go in the, the mine. Maybe they're in there, I guess. Like, normally when you're playing an RPG, the plot is progressing along. You're getting more and more closure to each individual thread. And you feel like you're getting somewhere. This game doesn't do any of that, though. It just doesn't. He's ignoring orders! You're trying to complete for the first time and 100% White Knight Chronicles 1 and 2. Those are uh, PS3 RPGs, right? I've not played those. Tomorrow, several days, aside from Twitter. Try, just keep trying both, man. Just, like, keep at it. All right, we're in the mine. It's got cool music. You don't want to say in case spoilers. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's very good. <coughs> that is considerate of you. We like to see that around here. 
You would be surprised or maybe not at how many people will just blurt out answers and think they're helping when it's usually the opposite. All right, let's check the uh, mine. Palmer speed runs too. Yeah, I know. I was sitting next to him at RPG limit break when he's practicing it. I believe the phrase he used to describe that game was aggressively mediocre. <laughs> it, 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 it seemed to check out from what I saw of it, but I don't know. Maybe it's a fun casual game. I have no idea. I've not played it. Is this the right way? Yeah, maybe? I don't know. This video game is confusing. I never did find the map of this place. It is almost 6 a.m. on day two. I don't see anything of import. Hello. Move. Okay. I'm gonna steal your treasure. A power nut. Okay, great. It's got flaws, but you want to keep playing? As long as you're enjoying yourself, right? It's really all that matters. Which one? Which one what? It's a regular stone. Okay. Alright, so they're not here. Uh, Where else could we check? We already checked the... Coal mine. Oh, I didn't check these ruins. All right, are you here? Dorito Banditos, doesn't look like it. Let's go inside. Nope. I think on day one, they just cease to exist and you can't encounter them. I've went everywhere. <laughs> well, I've went everywhere I can go. I can't go to these islands or this one or this one. So I don't know, maybe they're there. Maybe those islands are never actually explored. I don't know. That's not where I want to be. Still not where I want to be. RNG teleports. Wow. Gotta love it. Eh, I got stuck. Okay. Maybe they're in a bar? I don't know. That guy's really hammered. Well, now it's daytime, so I think our mission has failed. Let's go see if they're back. Parkour! That's right. You have to shout that when you're doing it. It's the rules. Now they're back. So wherever they went, We have no way of knowing. I think they just vanish like forever. And I can't talk to him because he's on the bed. If he's on the bed, he won't talk to you. It's really weird. Bandits sucky. Yeah, it's true. The bandits are sucky. Hmm. Well. I'm out of ideas. I am completely out of <laughs> ideas at this point. Um...
I'm pretty sure it's that bandit. It has to be, but... It doesn't have to be, actually, but it makes sense. From the vague clues from the fortune teller we got. If you're on the bed, you don't exist. Reg, why do you always... I'm worried about you. Okay? You always make these jokes about your marriage. Like, it's just this... Pure misery for you that you hide behind a veneer of fake happiness. And I just want to know what's going on, if you're okay. What the fuck? <laughs> what's going on there, man? <laughs> Do you need to make some serious decisions? <laughs> Play twice if you're okay. <laughs> Uh Take my wife <laughs> He's blanking <laughs> What happens on day two? Um Rummy goes bathing The holy ceremony at eight AM Alright, we can do that, I guess. What else we got, right? This is it. This is our life now. We don't have anything else. We could just see what these cutscenes are like when you have these two in the party, right? Maybe they'll be different. That's 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 a real spitball attempt, but it's all I got right now. That's really all we got. It's big walls in my way. Elf! Oh no, the elves have returned. Dude, that Anno guy always ignores orders. You keep your boyfriend, he's easy care, that's good. You can try the Grow Your Love song at the ceremony. <laughs> I suppose I could. Uh. Eat the floor row, it's an only fault. Moth swarm. Do it. Four damage, it's legendary. It's just so good. Alright. The scrubs are leveling up. Does that help us? Not really. No. It really doesn't. Is that a shadow? No. It's just poor texturing. I thought it might have been one of those secret NPCs. Alright, it's almost time. For the... What did, how did Thor phrase that? Let's see. Let's see. I need to find it. He went to bed, though. Oh, I can't scroll up that high. Damn. Feels bad. He had it right though. He had it dead to rights. <laughs> uh. Religious ceremonies throughout the world seem to consist of semi naked men and snake masks dry humping the air in unison. There it is. Yep. That's the one. That's it. There's Dollar Store Sephiroth. And Diaper Princess. Why does she wear a cloth diaper? Maybe she just has medical issues. It's possible. See, they look desiccated. They look like they're zombies. All right, I'm fast forwarding. Blah, hump the air, yeah. And she falls over, he doesn't care, and then walks away. <laughs> uh, like, I don't care if she's sick, who cares? Whatever. All right, so these guys didn't comment on that at all. Rummy's the only one that does.
you have Seamus, yes. The answer is yes, you have gone mad. <sighs> well that didn't work. What else happens on day two? Nothing. Nothing else happens on day two. Nothing else happens on day two. That I've seen. Can't do the restaurant anymore, right? General Bags doesn't have the meeting anymore. Um... What else happens on day two? Rummy bathing doesn't happen anymore. <laughs> ah, Jesus. Whoops. Shit. I want to go in that volcano. Is there like a secret cave? There's not. There's not a chance in hell. I guarantee it. Let me up there. I want to jump in the volcano. Maybe that's how you reset the timeline. Coal mine. We're back here. Magician is not there. What is your ephemeral fantasia name, I watch? Shelter. Good. Because <laughs> that makes sense. How are you, I watch? Your bot has been very aggressive today, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just randomly saw it in here again. It was started blocking people. I'm like, oh my god, it's back. All right, no, that's not working. Do, 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 do. Let's go to the jail. I don't know. It's a spitball. It's really, I'm just kind of throwing darts at a wall and hoping they stick. Boring being a jailer. Watchmen on the east side of palace. What are they watching? Indeed, what are they watching? These are always locked. Okay. This lady's in jail. Literally the whole loop, every loop, because she got too drunk. There's a bandit. I blew it, he says. What did he blow? Is he there on day one? Let's find out. You put it up for the lulls? Oh, we noticed. <laughs> uh, I'm going to load an earlier save. You ended up waking up to a very lewd sounding voice clips of a certain lady the other day. Oh, you must have been in Sky's channel. <laughs> How many people have you upset? I think you've blocked like two or three actual pyramids and like two or three not pyramids. It's been pretty funny. Like someone just randomly popped two emotes and then, and then the bot's just like, nope. Oh, okay. Sorry. Well then. All right, we are in loop 16, right? Yeah, all right. All right, so this is the start of the loop. I'm basically just saying this loop is boned. We're starting it over. So everything we just did is whatever. We didn't do anything, so. No new cutscenes, no progress, nothing of the sort happened, so. Let's go ahead and reset it. Um gonna get my items and money and then I'm gonna go right to the palace and see if that bandit is locked up 
Hello, Claire. Hey, dude. Do you say anything different? Uh, well, thanks, controller. What the fuck was that all about? <laughs> that was weird. if someone else used that email right before. Mm -hmm. I don't know what to say. Alright, Palace. Wait, I need teammates. You know what? No, I don't. Listen. My guy. No, what? Let's <laughs> Yo. Alright, cool. Oh, I see what it was. Because it was like somebody was using love emotes. And then someone would talk. And then another person would use like two. And so I think the bot saw that as a pyramid. Oh, this way. Do, do, do. Where is it? Where is it? There. All right. All right. Here we go. Doors locked. Fuck you. I can't see it, man. You give me luck. All right. Let's go in here. Day one, very start of the cycle. She's in here. So is the bandit. So the bandit is always in here. He is never not in here. They'll come save me sooner or later. I have never seen that bandit not in there. So I don't think he has any purpose. It seems like every day I've gone and looked at that. He's always been in there. I'm a little spun around here. Here we go. I think this is the right way. Yes. Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah. Just have a do by user name. That's fine. I'm cool with that. Because it does seem to do a lot of false positives. All right, I can't go in there. Let's go get some teammates and check on the Tostitos, Doritos, Banditos, Chiquitos, but not Cheetos. I don't have those, sorry. They're fresh out. When are you gonna fix the watch, Claire? Fix the watch, Claire. All right, we'll just use Rummy and Claire, I guess. Doesn't really seem to matter right now. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Beepo blanket. I like that emote, it's cute. Let's power jump up here. Do we get a bandit encounter? No. Interesting. Now let's head south from up here and see if that changes the bandit encounter. I've actually never done the bandit encounter alone either. Maybe I should do that. We don't need to fight those. Do 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 How with it? Let's try it. Bye. That's how we got progress with that painter guy, right? We had to be alone. I've got really bad luck. 
No, this is the same. That didn't matter, did it? It did not change anything. <laughs> I love that they just like disintegrate. going to destroy you are you this is bgg's favorite song in the game <laughs> yo quit cheating rag he's cheating See, he looks like a bag of Cool Ranch Doritos, doesn't he? Look at his colors. This is our forest headquarters. Stay away. Okay. That still didn't change anything. He seems like a cunning fellow. Yeah, I know. I know, I get it. That's why I. The, the, the fortune teller says a cunning person. seems like a cunning fellow. Yeah, I get it. I get it. What the hell am I supposed to do with that information? I get it. He needs something large and really big, says the fortune teller. Hi, I'm back. You guys like music? As long as you don't get in the way. That's it. That's it. That's all he says. Zen's flipped. She might cut off your head. Are you sure? What is this big thing that they want? Romance him? That's that's the name of the enemy, Chaos Kitty. P please, we, we won't be able to explain it to you because it's ephemeral fantasia. There's no explanation for it. It's literally its name. N O N. Am I supposed to compose a song? All right, let me play him a song. I'm gonna play you a song. I'm gonna uh, whatever. Just just play him a song. It's literally his name, Chaos Kitty. Yeah, it's N O N. <laughs> what the fuck is the correct response uh, for a lot of enemy names in this game? <laughs> great, you're doing great. I just, when I'm doing these, I'm cringing inside every time. I just. This makes me feel so awkward because it's just so weirdly mistimed every time I play a note. My ears aren't hearing what my fingers are doing in the same timing. <laughs> it's just throwing me off so hard. This is the reason why there is a command. Yeah. Do you think I'm not? I'm not. I'm good at rhythm games, Reg. You think so? You're too right, 
All right, here you go. This is this is for Reg and everyone who who wants their ears to bleed. No, that's a map. There we go. Everyone's favorite. Let's go. Let's show them our woods energy. I think my hand is going to cramp up after this. <laughs> it's all over the place. <laughs> Oh my god, I hate it. I can't do it. Like, what is it? It's just everywhere. <laughs> Damn it. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, we're the best. <laughs> D. <laughs> Bombed it. Oh my god. Your ears are bleeding. I mean, I'm crying. <laughs> well, I don't think this game wa this guy wants me to play any music, so, you know. I don't think it does, but I'm gonna try one more song and then that's that's all she wrote here. Which one did I do? Did I do impression? Let's do this one. This is like a you could play an instrument in this game and it seemingly doesn't have any meaning the score you get. It just I think I could literally put the controller down and it wouldn't matter. Like it would sound hilariously bad, but Playing that flute. <laughs> Where are these string instruments coming from? And the piano? scheme in this it's just murder of my knuckles I'm gonna use my accu ball after this <laughs> and why is this sock so long Piano is you, okay. Yeah, they make guitar freaks, that's right, yeah. That controller works with this game. Okay. I don't think it's gonna do anything, but let's hope it does. Come on. <laughs> Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Listen, 
What's my problem? Yeah, I want to know where you disappear to. So I can, like, help or stop it or... I don't... I don't know. I, I don't... I don't know. She's flipped. Be careful what you say. I can't say anything. They don't let me say anything. There's always three empties, a revive potion, and three regrets. All right. So that didn't work. Let's go back. <clears throat> Keep going to the same spot until it takes me where I want to be. Mm -mm -mm. It's three spots and it has missed the spot four times in a row. <laughs> Come on, let's go already. If I had just run, I would have been there by now. There we go. <laughs> Did I figure out a hard drive yet? No. Uh, Eagle Falcon says he was gonna look, but he couldn't find any, so I don't really have any options there right now. He's got a lot of hit points, wow. I'll take him and Claire. I really wonder if she's ever gonna finish that dumb watch. One twenty to three forty range. What's the size? Is there like a size capacity for it? Because I think what I have is like 60 or 80. No, I know what what I'm saying is, okay, let me rephrase. Um, for OPL, is there like a, a size capacity? Like if you go over this amount, it doesn't work or it might not work. It's one terabyte. That's pretty big. <clears throat> Wonder how much those cost. Jeez. It's not like an urgent need. 1.5, you're willing to do legwork. To me, that just says one. <laughs> to me, I see one is what that says. Let's see. 2.5 millimeter hard drive, right? Oh, those aren't too expensive. Oh, those are Seagates, though. Seagates suck. Seagates are butts. I could get a Western Digital for, like, 50 bucks. 50 bucks is a lot, but... No, it's a 2.5 millimeter, like, laptop hard drive. Because I can put it in my PS2. And because my capacity right now on my PS2's hard drive, it's the official hard drive that came with Final Fantasy four or eleven, is like sixty gig or something like that. It's teensy, you know. And I can only put a few games on there. It's like sixty or eighty gig. All right. Um. Well, we know the bandit is having girlfriend problems. I wonder if they ever go hang out in any bars, you know? Maybe when they're missing at night, they're just chilling in town. Like just chilling in a bar. Let's try that theory. Maybe they're actually just having a night on the town, you know? That's all I got right now, but it's a theory and we can test it. It's a testable theory. There should be 6 p.m. in game in just about two minutes, and we're near two bars, so that's kind of ideal. 
All right, cool. We'll head to this one first. Yeah, I'm. I don't need an SSD for my PS2 because it can't use the the read write speeds of a solid state. It just it wouldn't be able to use them, so it's just a waste of money. So I would just get a terabyte. But I mean that's fifty bucks, you know, just it's a lot. Like just blowing fifty dollars right now. I could do it, like I have it in the bank, but I always try to keep to my budget, you know what I'm saying? Like unless like the, the budget blows up, I just I try to stick to that because I don't want to be irresponsible with my money, especially when I'm just purely self employed for finances. And I did recently just buy some stuff. Like I got a Mog and, and Lickety a new cat fountain and some new toys. And um, what else did I recently get? I got the brackets for the PS2 and I got a mic arm and a cheap USB mixer for Barry for D&D &D and like recordings. So like I just, I, Recently just made investments, so. <laughs> That's so appropriate right now. <laughs> it is the right song. <laughs> well, thank you, whoever you are, for 31 bits. Uh. It's this song. <laughs> no, Kite, we don't need your help. You don't do anything. Most of the NPCs, like the teammates in this game, they don't do anything. I'm not really sure what their point is. Where are you going? I'm going to train to build up my body and be better General Bags. He's right behind me, dude. He's right there. At some point, I want to be able to start looking at eBay again, you know, to uh, get some more uh, retro games. I haven't done that in a while. It's been a couple months. The last one I made was, I lucked out. Did I tell you guys about that? I was looking for copies of Final Fantasy IV Complete on PSP. On eBay, let's see Final Fantasy IV Complete. Uh, it's gonna be PSP. Why is it giving me video games and consoles? There we go. Yeah, they're all like, wow. They're all like a hundred plus dollars on eBay. Well, I found one. Um. For PSP, by the way. I found one at Walmart for like 30 bucks. And I was like, nah, -uh, there's no way. So I took a stab at it and it was still sealed. <laughs> it was legit. Like a still sealed copy of it for fucking like, uh. Oh, it looks like you can find them for a little cheaper on eBay too. They're like 40 bucks. Oh no, those are Japanese imports. Okay. Well, anyway. Yeah, I found it on at Walmart of all places. And that was the last like retro thing I I purchased. Do -do -do -do. <laughs> all right. So the bandits aren't here. This is the point where they disappeared from their hideout at 6 p.m. day one. All right. So they're not here. Maybe they're somewhere else. I'm hoping they're just like having a night on the town, you know, and I can just get some cutscenes. Something. You just throw me a boat here. Let's go. Walmart had a PSP game in stock. Yeah, so I think their their actual like online sales have actually integrated every store like in the country, so it'll check every store stock when you do a search. 
And some store in California had it still sealed. So... I was like, okay, I'll try this. Sure enough. It was legit. Sitting on my shelf over there. I haven't unwrapped it yet. I don't even know if I'm going to. Because think about it. I could just play the digital version on the PSP, right? And then preserve that. It's still the same thing. The, the fact of the matter is my PSP won't even read UMDs anyway because it got so banged up in, uh, in its storage and transit. You've lo forgot about this game. You don't remember if it was loved or not. Not. It is regarded as one of the worst JRPGs ever made. So no. This game came out like months apart from Final Fantasy X, if that gives you any reference. Just visually, this game doesn't even look like it belongs on a PS2. So no, I, I, I'm not saying it's wrong to like this game. I'm just saying, generally speaking, most people didn't like this game because of its very poor design. Um, but there's definitely folks out there that had nostalgia for it. You know, they remember playing it when it came out. They were probably pretty young or just, you know, it was just a game that hit the right notes for them at that time. You only rented it back then because Konami was the logo. Yeah, and Konami was pretty good back then, right? You know, they had like Metal Gear Solid, Silent Hill, you know, Turtles games, stuff like that. Uh, Symphony of the Night. You know, Konami was legit back in the day. Boy, have the mighty fallen. <laughs> $70 can get you a good one terabyte. That's, yeah, I'm just not going to be making that purchase. It's just not... It's not a good expense for me right now. But it's good to know that it's not like 100 plus. I was worried that they were going to be like that much. So it's more in my wheelhouse of, okay, I can budget for this, right? All right, are there any other bars? Yeah, there are actually, I think there's restaurants. We can check. Don't any enders, Suikoden. Yeah, Suikoden, yeah. So again, it's another really good one that they made. Yeah, they were really good back in the day, weren't they? All right, are the bandits here? You're not a bandit. You're just like a family having food. Okay, well, maybe you are a bandit, but you're just a bandit family that's having food. Oh, come on, there's people out here. <laughs> it's like, who's that? I want to talk to them. Uh, you can get less capacity for much cheaper. Did we ever figure out what the full English library of PS2 games? How much space that would take? I remember we were considering that at one point. Mm. 2.5 terabyte untrimmed. Oh, yeah, all right. Do, 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 do. I don't think this is going to take me where I want to go. Banditos. Donde? Are they in this restaurant? Would you want the whole library? Yeah. For our retro roulettes that we do every once in a while. It's been a while since I've done one. It's been a long while. Capcom and Nintendo are still delivering high quality nowadays from the ancient companies. I would say, or I would argue that Square Enix is as well. I mean, come on, look at DQ11. DQ11 is top quality, like top tier quality. But I agree about Capcom and Nintendo as well. Capcom's been like they've resurrected. They were bad for a while and then they came back. All right, I think there's no. This isn't a restaurant or a bar. Let's see what's over here. Or we go here. All right. Well, I don't want to be here. There are trimming techniques you can use to drastically reduce the size of many games. 
Konami makes more money off pachinko machines than games. Right. Like, they're purely business. They don't give a fuck about games. They just want to make money. Like, I can't... I don't blame them, but I also do. Like, you know, it's pretty easy to be like, okay, yeah, they're going to make more money and grow their business better this way, but they've shit all over their bottom line. And, you know, their, any customer loyalty they had... RPGs aren't popular? I never said they were. Do, 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 do. But as far as retaining a large portion of their quality from the 90s and early 2000s, I still think Square Enix has done so. All right, Doc, man. Thanks for stopping in tonight. We'll see you again. Beat Mania 2DX and Pomp and Music. Are those rhythm games? They sound like rhythm games. I don't really play rhythm games. I'm so bad at them. <laughs> Case in point, God, do I love Crypt of the Necro Dancer, and it just frustrates me to no end how bad I am at it, because that game is so cool. Whew, feels bad. <laughs> <laughs> it just feels bad, man. Uh. There's an inn there. We could check the inns. I think there's inns around here that we could check. Maybe the bandits stay in an inn. I don't, I don't know. No, I don't want to go that way. I think it's over here. I don't actually remember. Let me check one of my maps. I have a map of this place that I annotated. Because this game is so confusing. All right, get projects. And then this is Bazaar, right? Yeah, all right. You're going to buy one of those instruments. All right. All of SE's innovation is poured into 14. I wouldn't say all, but a lot of it for sure. I mean, if that was true, we would have never gotten DQ11 and the absolute ridiculous stellar quality that it is. Crystal, yo, were you streaming, dude? Nice, man. How was your stream? Okay, there's an inn, like, right here. It's just... Oh, I gotta, like, loop around. All right, I gotta go north and loop around. Thanks for the host, Crystal. How was your stream, man? How you been? Is DQ11 innovative? No, but it doesn't have to be. That's a discussion we actually talk about a lot. You don't have to be innovative to be good. And DQ11 is is literally the proof of that. <laughs> it is the proof of that. Because good God, it is one of the best JRPGs I've ever played. And that's not really innovative at all. It's an innkeeper. Okay, what about in here? Who are these folks? Just people staying. Eth ethnographer. Okay. I don't know what that means. That guy's asleep in the chair. All right. Well, we found an inn, but no, this isn't it. You're talking about innovation. Oh, okay. We were talking about whether or not the old companies are still good. I've heard Vagrant Story is really good. I want to try that someday. I got to get a copy of that. That's, that's one of those games that's pretty expensive still to obtain a copy of. Every time I look, it's like f at least $40 pretty steep hello she's mad that I didn't stay here okay well sorry I guess who are you you're not a bandit man where are these bandits at Mm 
<laughs> Have they used the Octopath engine in anything? I didn't know they used it in anything. <laughs> you had a good birthday, so you're going to hit the hay early because you got to work tomorrow. Oh, come on. <laughs> All right. Thanks for, the, thanks for the host, man. It, I guess you had a birthday. Minecraft to end off the night. Well, thanks for stopping in. Happy birthday. You are now 72 years old, right? Yo, is that a Phil? Is that the philosophers? You guys know Phil? Phil apart? Lived in a monk monastery for a year to learn Wing Chun. Streams on Twitch, makes YouTube. Follow him. Hello, Phil. How was your stream? What were you doing tonight? We got Impact there. We got... Feels like 72, Crystal. I'm sorry. <laughs> Go through. What's up? Arango. DK team Lincoln. How you doing? You guys want to see our uh, little raid message here? Play RPGs. We play retro games. We do D and D every Saturday. That sounds good. Hit the follow button. Have a little taste right here. Congrats, Crystal. Disc 3, Final Fantasy 9. Hell yeah. that crystal sin thanks for the sub gift man paying it forward thanks dude we'll see you around man all right is it final fantasy nine uh it's three or four discs i want to say it's three or four discs I recently did Secret of Mana here. I did a no attack magic challenge. It only took 18 hours. Um, the game has no story. But it is still really fun to play. And it's buggy as hell. It's buggy as hell. It's got no story, but it's still really fun to play. Um, especially if you got two or three people to play it with. Plug in that super multi-tap, get three controllers, and that game was awesome. It is the best. <laughs> this is just a damn good time. Yeah, I really want to try Vagrant Story. I've heard a lot of people really liked it. So I'll definitely be giving that a peek someday. Talking floppy disk? I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know how to answer that. <laughs> sure. You'll say, yeah, sure. It's 200 floppy disks. Why not? Yeah, the ring menus were really innovative, weren't they? That was definitely something you didn't really see much of in games back then. I remember those. They're kind of a pain in the ass to use today, but... I think they really sped things up for that game to keep it as close to the action as you could. If you never played Secret of Man as a child, you get stuck a lot and get frustrated. I can't speak to that. I definitely played, I, it was one of those games that I bought with birthday money. With tax, it was $80. <laughs> $40. <laughs> 
fucking game. People complain about $60 games these days. Games were like 75 bucks back in like the 80s and 90s. <laughs> Holy shit. They were, and that's without inflation. With inflation, that's like $110. <laughs> it's like, oh, oh my God. One thing that did trip me up, Seamus, and anyone that remembers Secret of Mana is replaying it. The ring menus are... I think there's just one issue with them. is that they go too fast, and you overshoot all the time. That was the one thing that really tripped me up during this most recent playthrough of Secret of Mana, was I kept overshooting. They just go too fast, or it's, like, too sensitive. I don't know. Like, I think if they had just tuned it up a bit, it would have been much more responsive. Yeah, I like to do that too. I always try to uh, examine a game through the lens of when it came out. But I still do so objectively as well. So, like, I can recognize objective flaws in a game's design. But compare that to, you know similar titles in the same era. Hmm. I'm not having any luck finding these bandits. This is really a real struggle. I mean, they legitimately might have just disappeared. What was the last $60 game that I bought? Probably something on Steam. If I had to guess. Maybe. It also might be on Switch. Something on Switch. It would either be something on Steam or Switch. Unless you count retro games, Sam, and then... No, even that. I usually wait for deals. Twenty bucks? Oh, that's a steal. I think Mystic Quest is underrated. The game is so basic and easy, but man, it's fun and has a really good soundtrack. It was sixty euros back in ninety-seven, and that's definitely more than a hundred dollars these days. Yeah. Yep. 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 Wait, is that euros or pounds? I don't know. The, I don't know. Is it the same? Is it equivalent? I'm not really sure. I don't really know currency uh, symbols that well. Let's see. The last game I bought on Amazon, if I can find it. I'm actually curious now. Let's see, for this entire calendar. Oh, uh, Animal Crossing. That was the last $60 game I bought, was Animal Crossing. Yeah. In uh, March, Animal Crossing New Horizons. That was worth it. L is pound sterling, usually a bit more worth than euros. Okay, cool. Gotcha. I understand. Yeah, I love Mystic Quest OST. It's really great. Yeah, games definitely were a bit, I mean, like mysterious is a word you could use for them, but crapshoot is another word you could use for them. Because there was just countless games out there that got no coverage of any kind. You know, like this is what they had back then. You had word of mouth, you had displays at department Banana. stores, you had, Banana. um, Hi, Spaz. How are you, dude? You had, uh, is, what is a game magazines. The question is, who cares? For name C. Thank you, Spaz, so much, dude. 13 months. Um, rarely you would have commercials on TV. Rarely. That's when you knew a game was big, is it have actually had a commercial. That didn't happen very often. How do I talk to this person? I guess I don't. All right. 
Um, but you had stuff like, you know, Nintendo Power, uh, Game Informer, Electronic Gaming Monthly. But a lot of stuff like that... Um, A lot of stuff like that, like a lot of games just got no coverage. You know, if they didn't have a market for that stuff, they wouldn't get any coverage. And you'd just be like, what is this game? Maybe you could rent it, you know? And if it was good and it didn't really have any marketing, then it would only succeed on word of mouth. When you bought Mystic Quest, it had a mail-in coupon for a free guide. Was it like a strategy guy? That's cool. You haven't seen any marketing for it? No, there wasn't any. This was like one of the worst RPGs ever made. So, I mean, it failed before it even started. really weren't a lot of TV ads rel relative to the amount of games that came out for games. It just wasn't common. It was only like the big stuff that got that. Or it was like the big companies that could afford to do that. But there was just so many games that got no coverage of any kind. The earliest memory you have of looking up game previews online is screenshots of Soul Calibur and 98. What system was that on? Because I never really played those games. Modern marketing includes stuff like bashing on big games because you can. It includes it, but it doesn't feature it. A free strategy guy? That's really cool. You're saying games nowadays can't be niche because of how internet makes it go viral? Yeah. For the most part, that's true, yeah. It's a different beast than back then, yeah. That point you're making, I agree with. Like, if it's good, then it won't really be niche because people are going to want to play it because we'll see it all over the place. Like that word of mouth that happened back in the day with games that didn't get any marketing, it's still happening that way, but it's just far more exponential because of the ease of communication that people are able to talk about it. Watchman on the West Wall is always dozing off. We have never seen him fall asleep once. <laughs> <laughs> Not even once. I don't know what that's all about. No, it's not nonsense, Seamus. Because if any of those games end up being really good, we'll all find out really fast. And that's just not true of games back then. So no, I don't think it's nonsense at all. What are you doing here? I want to go in there. You can't enter. Yeah, okay. All right. Like back then, there was games that were really good that just never really got popular until like the internet started taking off. One of those games is called Earthbound. <laughs> <laughs> that game flopped hard until the internet started really taking off and people just gradually just started sharing all their stories and experiences with that game and then it became like that whole cult classic thing that shit just doesn't happen without you know how viral the internet is this these days alright so this is the soldier at the west side who's apparently always falling asleep. We've never once seen him fall asleep. That's really strange. I mean, maybe we just camp here and see if he does, you know?
Clearly always asleep. Clearly, Red. Clearly. <laughs> Earthbound had come out for a game like that that was poorly marketed and came out today, it would have succeeded way faster than Earthbound did. Just because more people would be able to talk about it together. It's just a simple numbers thing. I got it when it was new too, BGG. Because I had rented it and I already knew it was good. I didn't know what the marketing was like for it. I just rented it. I was like, wow, this is a big box. This is cool art. I'll try it. I rented it. And then I liked it so much I got it. So. It was like a luck thing. Short summary, if a game is good nowadays, everyone who's interested in this hobby will hear about it. Yeah, pretty much. It's just not as true as back 20, 25 years ago because not everybody, not as many people had access to the internet. I mean, how many people just look at stuff like that on their phones when they're traveling or in the bathroom or, you know, waiting for something? That wasn't a thing back then. It's just a simple numbers thing. You remember seeing Earthbound at the store your brother managed? Yeah, it came with a big box with a strategy guide, and that strategy guide was a big part of the experience of that game because it was designed like one gigantic, kitschy travel bro brochure. It was awesome. It was so funny. Doo -doo -doo -doo. You're the daily Reddit gaming news. Our, our games... Our games is the one I use. Gaming is a mess, but games, our games on Reddit is pretty good. The, I, the gaming subreddit itself is, woof, <laughs> woof. Ugh. It's full of like arguments, basically. Ugh. And our games is just full of like, here's a link to this article. You know, it's like, it's very factual. Yeah, that's the one I read too. It's pretty good. Not every good game today is well known. No, absolutely not. But their chances of success are far higher just through visibility. Unfortunately, another thing that counts against games is again, just the sheer numbers thing. Purely math. There's so many games now that we have to be way more selective about what we put our time into. Our time has grown to be worth far more than the games are at this point in the industry. And we literally have to be super selective about what we get now because we don't have enough time to play all the games we want to play. Nobody does. You just don't. <laughs> our time is literally more valuable. That's why like indie games that are cheap can succeed so well. Did I make any progress? Uh, yeah, we got, um, Professor Anal, but now we're very stuck. Like, we have zero clue what to do now. There's just absolutely no clue. They're good because they do summary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our games is a really good place to find actual news about video gaming and not, like, opinions and arguments. <laughs>
Yeah, I have those Magnemer. Yeah, they're pretty cool. I love the packaging that Working Designs did for games back then. They did it the best, I think. Always came with really interesting, like, uh, <clears throat> additions or whatever you call them. Like cloth maps and soundtracks and things like that. Well... I got nothing, folks. I have no idea what to do in this silly game right now. You think that because of all the games that come out, it makes it harder to stand out? I think it only makes it harder to get that initial boost. But if something is good, it will succeed. Hello. She still just says, what's your problem? I, my problem is that you're vague and you don't say anything other than what's your problem. That is my problem. That is my problem. So I guess you, my problem is, is her. All right, let's try another song. Um, sure. Let's do this one. Why not? Vanquish? What is Vanquish? I don't know what that is. I try to keep my ear to the ground to stuff that I know is in my wheelhouse now, which is like RPGs, retro-inspired games, certain indies, and D&D &D stuff. Because everything else just kind of goes over my head. It's just I just don't have time for it all, so I've just tightened my focus on everything I look at. Do 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 do. Okay, that didn't do anything. You, get up. Get up. We have to talk. We need to wake your ass up. And both, like, both literally and metaphorically. Yeah, I did get another character slain. Yeah. Yeah. No bad notes, did I? I didn't pay attention, right? <laughs> I wasn't even looking. Eh, whatever. The only times I ever really saw like opinions about games in the 90s for marketing was in game review magazines. Like that's really it. And that was kind of a source for me to know which RPGs that I wanted to play. Like, I knew as a kid I wanted to play RPGs, and that was it. So I get, like, Nintendo Power and Game Informer. Uh, and Game Pro was another one. Just to see what RPGs were coming out. Um, and they'd, you know, they'd review it and be like, here's your scores, blah, 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 blah. A lot of the times I wasn't really paying too much attention to the scores as much as I was looking at the pictures and seeing if the game looked like something I would enjoy. I was very visually oriented even back then. Check my P.O. box sometime tomorrow after 8. Okay, so we'll probably get it Tuesday or Wednesday and then unbox it Thursday. So I'm going to make sure I have my notes updated. Thanks, Ace. I don't know what you sent, but I'm excited for the surprise. Thank you, dude. Whatever it is, it's generous. We'll probably go Wednesday just to be sure. Um, because I have one other coming from Ryu Olsen. That way I can just pick them both up at the same day. The magazine days? I like some of those magazines. I wish I still had them. Um, sorry, I just was letting my roommate know uh, about the two boxes. Yeah, I just, I really liked them. You know, they did, they did a good job in a lot of those magazines of just making them fun to read. You know, they'd have like letters to the editor, they'd have like them send in fan art, um, they'd keep, they'd do like high score competitions. A lot of art went into those magazines, and that's what I really liked. I liked the presentation of them. Those, they were just fun to read. 
God, this game just crackles audio so bad. Review scores are useless. I feel like review scores are more since they're always almost always crowdsourced now. They're just like to get an idea. Like that's it. Like I, I, I can look at Steam review scores and get an idea of whether or not the game is worth looking at or not. Usually. Usually. Unless it's a visual novel. For whatever reason, visual novels almost always have crazy inflated review scores. I don't get it. So I can't pay any attention to those. But <laughs> I don't understand that. It's so weird to me. Um, but um, for the most part, games on like Steam, the review scores give you at least an idea of, okay, this might be worth looking at just to see if you want to try it. I do know that when games get review bombed, usually it hits the news. Not like, you know, TV, but like Twitter and people start talking about it and Reddit and stuff like that. And it usually ends up generating buzz around the game anyway, so... Those days are over, yeah. They are. It's weird. But it's easier now to get the information you're looking for, so it's a trade-off. I do miss the presentation and the art, though, in those magazines. They were really cool. Yeah, I don't trust review scores for visual novels for the most part. Of the ones I've played, though, they're pretty good. The The scores are accurate. Like Valhalla? I think that game is like 98% positive score or something nuts like that. It's earned it. <laughs> it's freaking earned it. That game is legendary. That game was awesome. I don't think I will ever play a, vol a visual novel I like more than that one. That, that's like a 12 hour game or 15 hour game that took me 61 hours. Cause we would just sit around and talk while I was playing it. It felt like we were all hanging out at a bar just talking. That game made us have, all of us have that feeling. It was crazy. You remember new games being announced in magazines on big new EGM cover? EGM was pretty good. Yeah, I liked EGM. They're supported by a more dedicated fan base. Right, but the thing is that means that they're way more biased. Like, it just it feels like they're so hyper niche, but that they ignore the bad a lot of the time. And it's I just don't trust those scores for the most part. Let's see what Valhalla got on Steam. I'm curious. Steam. Come on, Steam. Why are you going to be slow? Overwhelmingly positive. 97% of the 18,538 user review reviews for this game are positive. <laughs> 97%. Normally, that would make me really suspicious, but I played that game, and it earned it. <laughs> and I don't even really like visual novels. It's not, like, it's so way outside of my normal genre of games I play, and that game was awesome. Oh, yeah, I've, I've heard of that, Cuckoo, the whole thing about Crusader with Kings 3, yeah. Yeah, RPG Maker games are like that too on Steam. I don't trust any reviews of any RPG Maker games. Do I have a link to it? Yeah, one sec. We, it, this took us like 61 hours to stream, and it's like a 15 hour game. I play music from it all the time. Especially during the intros to streams. Like the music in it alone just puts you in a mood. It's just a vibe. It's really good. Like here, this is probably my favorite song from the game. Just the whole soundtrack is just 
amazing. I'd rather hear this anyway than this game. <laughs> Let's see, what time is it in game? It's like nine in the morning. All right. So, I don't know. It's basically a futuristic cyberpunk story. Um, and you play as the bartender, Jill. And you just make drinks for all these different people to come in. And they are all very believably written characters. Like, they're not just one-dimensional characters, like NPCs you would see, like in an RPG. They're all very well-written, detailed, well-fleshed-out characters. So the game, like, never stops being interesting. Just do the song command, Phil. That's from the game we're talking about. There's just a billion bad ones. Yeah. Yeah. Now, one thing I really like about this, um, yeah, 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 Phil. Yeah. We streamed it. Like, I think it was like eight streams or something like that. Yeah. Eight. I think it was eight. There you go. Garrowad Music, all his stuff is content ID free, so you can stream it. I, I asked him directly, because it was like, I need to, I play this song music all the time. Can I play this on Twitch? He's like, yeah, it's all content ID free. Go ahead. I'm like, yes! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah! <laughs> You have an inherent bias. You got no complaints about a review having bias. I don't have a complaint about a review having bias. I have a complaint about an entire genre of games almost always having that bias. That just makes me not want to pay any attention in the reviews because you don't really see that in a lot of genres. Okay. Where can I go? I really don't know. Mm. Visit the bandit, I guess. See, he's still, I mean, he's, I know he's still there. That's the thing. He's not going anywhere. But yeah, I see that with visual novels. I see that with RPG Maker games. I see that with um, like two Toho games, like anime games. It's just hard to trust those reviews. And yeah, I just don't really see that with that level of volume in um, other genres. You have to go to trusted sources for VN Rex, and that's like your thing, Ace. Like you are like a VN, a visual novel gamer, like story driven games like that are your thing and if ace is saying that like man i gotta i, I if i want to know if a visual novel is good i go to ace dude's not really gonna be biased about it he's good he knows he has his biases of what he likes but he also knows how to separate that from like just from like this is what this game is it's what this game is so yeah yeah this 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 whole game just has a banging soundtrack it's pretty crazy they love their 80s drums. Let's say that. <laughs> All right, let's get 10 Fox Fears here. These are going to be always useful. I wish this game would let you just turn off the music. You guys want to see our options? Here you go. Sound. They took up this whole fucking window for this. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh... Oh, well, what are you going to do, right? If you find a visual novel, you may be interested in Pogase. Yes, yes. He is a trustworthy source. Jeez. 
God, this game. This game. It's such a purely comedic hot mess. <laughs> I, just, I can't be mad at this game. I just, I just, I can't. Like, I can't be mad at this game. I, I just, cause I'm just constantly in a state of utter bemusement and how it continues to fail at literally everything it does. Almost as if they've tried to do that. <laughs> just, what the? Oh, uh, man. What are you going to do, right? Anyway, I know what I'm going to do. It's 3 a.m. We're going to call in at night. And we're going to play this again tomorrow. Hopefully, with, I will come up with some ideas on what to do tomorrow. So I hope to see you for that. I hope to see you for that. We're going to raid somebody. I want to say thanks to everybody that raided me tonight. Subs. We got some subs. We got some bits. A lot of good conversation. That's really where it hits. That's really where it hits. The good combo. Thank you for that. Um, all right, let's go show some love for someone out there. Um, who did I raid last night? I think it was Sky, maybe. No, last night. Who did I? It was. Who was it? I don't even remember. Whatever. Um. There's not a lot of lit names on my list tonight. Ooh, it's a little, little scant. I'm gonna have to go start digging for uh, more people to host again. Who did I raid last night? Did we, did, does anyone remember? <laughs> It's a fucking day. Whatever. Let's go watch some rando. Oh, he's playing Final Fantasy VI? Hell yes. All right. I'm down. This is a first. This is this dude's first Final Fantasy game he's ever played. All right. We got to go see this. We got to go see this. Sky Stone Fly is playing Final Fantasy VI. It's his first Final Fantasy he's ever played. Dude has never really played any Super Nintendo games, basically. So... This is this is hot shit. I love seeing this. Penny Bears rolling in for. We weren't awake last night. It was D and D last night. That's why I'm like, who did I raid after D and D? Rolling in for a blind. Retro. All right. All right. Here we go. Copy paste that, folks. Slash me for color. Take up the sub emote if you don't have a sub uh, badge. Let's go spam this chat. Let's see some blind Final Fantasy. This will be cool. We'll see you guys over there, and we'll see you tomorrow for more Ephemeral Fantasia. Ace, it, I thought it was Monday, man. I swear to God, it feels like Monday to everyone in this chat right now. It's so weird. Yeah, time is weird. All right, let's go. <laughs>